on the rebel screen. Here's my grandson that is in fact not their grandson. Go let to pick my grandson. They are teenagers. It isn't possible. Don't let them be your grandpa. Oh, yeah, looks like they're on the This game just came out, right? I'm hitting this game at the peak of its popularity, right? Hi. Welcome. Oh, Don Glossius, hope you're doing all right. Hello. Love the video. Thank you. Yeah, if you haven't watched my video, go watch it. It's on Yubtub. And um, we're going to we're going to old ring. How about that? How about that? This is a spoilers stream. I wanted to wait till I was 100% done with the game to uh, stream it. Because uh, I have a lot I want to say about it, and I want to just be like, everything's on the table. So uh, if you don't want any spoilers, this is the wrong place to be. Spoilers in the chat. Uh, whenever the VOD is out, the, the spoilers in the chat, in the comments. Um, so this is that's what this is. I want to make sure you know about that, and you're fine with it. Um, Mario Odyssey, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. The all-knowing, yes. So uh, we're going to... We're gonna hop in here. We're gonna run around. We got we got Dan and Gam. Maybe others. We'll see. Um, Gam played it on PC, so we won't be. He'll just be in the call. Dan and I are gonna run around multiplayer, and and we're gonna talk about the whole goddamn game. Uh, pay for the hype train. Appreciate it. Um, did I do a Splatoon? I did. I did do a Splatoon. We did a stream of Splatoon when it came out. Uh, I played a little bit of Splatfest. Uh, Friday night with some friends. It was chill. It was nice. Done those last five hours, well, I can join in five hours. Bubbles will be here in five hours. If we're still going. Shouts to Bubbles. Thank you, Bubbles. Um, Don't say it. No. Are we using the multiplayer on? No. So I'm playing on PS5. That's why um, only Dan and I will be running around. And um, I really want to play the, uh, the the seamless multiplayer mod. I just I need to get a new computer first. This thing's getting a little bit long in the tooth. So it is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I played on PS5. Um, can we start with how I spent like six hours unable to level up and without torrent? Yeah, yeah, that's um. You know what? I, I should might as well just unmute the call because uh, we're gonna we're gonna just basically hop right into it uh with a few things first. Um, campaign success. Hello, hello, coordinator hello gentlemen. Like, oh hey. Oh. Um, hey, hello. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. It's alright. I was just I was just talking to Dan about an interesting email I got. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I can come back. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. Could you could you give us like five? Yeah, sure. Okay, I muted myself. <laughs> uh, what is this? Space succubus. Long time, one month. Why watch first time viewer? Have a good game. Thank you, Vietam. Hope you're doing well. What is this? Oh, oh, oh! It it that took me longer than I'd care to admit. I was like, why why is there a picture of me and your point? Yeah, I get okay. Look, it's Barry Creamer. That is an old picture of me. No, what do you mean? I look the same. <laughs> oh, the passage of time. This is a beautiful thing. Uh, hi, Shiv. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, but, 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 same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. You know what? I might as well just wait. <laughs> Top of the call. Top of the call. Top alerts. Thank you all. Um, just so then I'm not like talking over a conversation because we have these thoughts to share. More beard, different hair. Yeah. Ye foul published. This is the bell to ring. Who's the real Barry? Um, so, um, I'm gonna get cop alerts. Here's what's on the docket. So you know what we're doing. Step one, I'm gonna get cop alerts to say hello. Step two, um, I'm gonna force you all to sit through a slideshow because I wanna go through the screenshots I took while playing through the game. And um, I think Dan might be streaming in a bit too, and I don't wanna be doing that while he's streaming, because that'll be the opposite of anything for his 
for his his stra his stream. Um, so pretend that like I went on a vacation and I'm forcing it to sit on the couch and I'm like, next slide, a PowerPoint. Yeah. Um, hopefully it won't take that long. You know, man. And then after that, Dan and I are gonna hop into multiplayer. I'm gonna roll a new character, and we're gonna run around and die probably. And then I'm not gonna. Um, uh, well, we'll see. We're playing it by ear, but uh, uh, I'm gonna roll a new character. We're gonna run around in multiplayer, and then if we're like, oh, I want to talk about and show a later game area, I'll just load up my end game character. I figured that might be more interesting than like loading up an end game character and being like, I have nothing left to do. I could go to like this optional guy I didn't fight and was like, fuck that. I'd rather just run around and and mess around and see how it goes. I can come back. Oh, thank you. Oh, appreciate it, game. Um, oh, hey, I'm, I'm back now. Oh, hey. hey. Welcome back. Oh, I was just, just talking to chat. Oh, what were you talking to about? Chat. Okay. Uh, talking about how uh, I'm going to force everyone to sit through a slideshow presentation. Uh, here's the time. Uh, is, here's I'm the excited, time I yeah, saw. It's uh, like a holiday. Yeah. Here's the time. I, this is me with the the um, uh, the Parthenon. This was this was our tour guide. He was really nice. His name you know, they say if the Acropolis was Parthenon is that um. Yeah. They, what do they say? That, uh, <laughs> What did they that, say? No hey, this! Oh. Not talking about butter. You're not gonna believe. Are you gonna do a Fallout Belden video? No. No. The purpose of today is to get all the thoughts out of my brain that are spoilery. Um, the purpose of the video was like, I want to share all my thoughts about the design of the game without getting into specifics. Because I feel like I had a lot to say without getting into specifics. That video would have been twice as long if I was like, in this specific instance, this happens. And then this mm -hmm. was this. Um, I gotta say, as an aside, it's been fascinating now that I finally, finally finished the game. Um, watching all the videos that I skipped because I was like, I don't want to see spoilers. There's videos that are like five, six days after the game came out. They're like, here's a breakdown of all the endings and all the optional content. I'm like, how? How is that even possible? Like, yeah, I took long breaks. It's what, it didn't take me however many months to play through it. I took, if you go, I made a, a journal, the exclamation point Elden Ring. If you want to read or skim through 89 pages of rambles and it's broken down by date so you can see exactly like when i played it um there's like month long breaks in there i'm excited to go through that i i, uh, I was yeah <laughs> i, I, I reread it I, to I, fix grammar issues and i'm like i'm an idiot <laughs> <laughs> I, I went through it because i was like yeah I, I, i'll i'll read through it Thank and then you. i was like i'm curious one of the funniest fucking things you can do, I did was control F and then search my name. Yep. <laughs> because yep. I know I knew my name would be in there for yep. certain reasons. Yep. And every time it came up, it was hilarious. Every time. Just like, I, watch Gam stream a little bit and how the fuck did I miss this? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you know, fun fact too, I noticed, I didn't write it down in the journal, but I noticed when, when I was watching you play Gam, that I was like, you're using a talisman I haven't seen. It's like a weird little green <laughs> bottle or something. What is that? It was one of the last things I got was the little turtle talisman that increases your stamina regen. I got that so one. early on that I don't even remember what r region I got it so in. So it's it's it, it's like northeast Limgrave where there's um, a spot on the map where, where there's like the tibia mariners zooming around and stuff. There's a little um, uh, 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 stone sword statue gate and then he goes down some stairs and there's like a room with turtles. And then you open up a door. And when I first oh, got yeah, there, I, remember that. I got there crazy early, marked it on my map that I was like, I don't have enough stone sword keys. And then I never went back <laughs> because I was like, what? Why do I? I left a chest icon on the map. And I was like, I, did, did I mark a transporter chest? I don't remember what was there. And I just never checked. So nice. yeah, the dog talisman. Yep. So anyway, I, you, should, you should have kept a legend inside your journal. Except the the what I used certain markers so for kind of like, changed this a bit. Icon means this. It was a little bit fluid for the first dozen, couple dozen hours. Um, is it Rosh Hashanah? Is it? Happy New Year. I don't know. <laughs> what does my calendar think? Um, oh, Everyone tonight. Go to is it a Jewish holiday .com. Is it? Yeah. Tonight is Rosh Hashanah. Hey, Happy New Year. <laughs> um, anyway. Bloodborne 2 Electric Boogaloo. This is not Bloodborne 2, for reasons we can get into. Let me get copper oh. alerts. Um, <laughs> this game is not Bloodborne except for the Millennia fight. That fight is Bloodborne. Is it? Yeah, it is It is a bit Bloodborne. Also, yes. Um, Rosh Hashanah uh, begins Malakith. at sunset. Oh, very. Um... 
See, I was over leveled uh, for Malekith, so I beat him second try. I didn't even I mean, really. I beat him first try, I think, oh, or geez. second try. Damn. But well. I, 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 listen, it's the bleed. What was my build in the end? Uh, I will. I can share all that in a bit. Actually, if you open up the dock and scroll to the very bottom, <laughs> um, Elden Ring. If you go to the very bottom of that, there's screenshots of like my, my final build because I thought people might want to see that. Um, so apples and honey, Judaism is awesome. Yep. Apples dipped in honey for a sweet new year. Um, in between streams, uh, Johnny Honey resubbed for 51 months. Thank you. Also, Elden Ring was recommended that I stream by three bees in a trench coat and Snow Beetle. Thank you. Smash Shot, thanks for 100 bits. Two things. I left a rather lengthy comment on your second Return to Monkey Island VOD. Talking about the ending. You don't have to read it, but I hope you do. Was reading about the original secret of Monkey Island. Apparently, the guy dressed as the bridge troll is supposed to be George Lucas. It's made more clear in the remake graphics where you can see his flannel shirt. Huh. I definitely never thought George Lucas when I looked at that troll when he takes off his, his thing. Huh. That's neat. Uh, Cyberspace Cat, thanks for 41 months. It's been 84 years. Looks like I'm staying up after all. Let's go, pot lads. Let me solo her, except please don't. Um, Sandra Servbot, thanks for 18 months. Year and a half. Very mild to Chris Galtke. And it's year three. That's almost the year. Thanks for the streams and video, parentheses. S. <laughs> Listen, maybe I'll release a second video this year. Wouldn't that be something? It's only uh, almost October. It's fine. Is the doc necessary to understand the syllabus? No, the syllabus is self-explanatory. Will aggressively the blows test? the show far. What was that? Will this be on the test? Yes. 29 attempts for millennia. Yeah. I did it. You know, there's a lot of words that start with D-A-N. <laughs> <laughs> there's the... Yeah. Gamp <laughs> came I was like, oh, that's a, that's a good idea, Gamp. Let me do that. <laughs> How many, danger. How, danger. how many times danger. do I say I'm in danger, smiley face? Like, There's a lot of dangers. <laughs> so, control F Dan with a space at the end. That might cut out a lot of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. space, yeah. Uh, how much of our final grade? <laughs> so this grade is 80% of your... This this stream is 80% of your grade. So pay attention. Whoa. Yeah. Don't fuck it up, Chad. Yeah, we're talking to you, me. Ma doesn't that fuck... Whenever you take a class and you check the syllabus and it's like, oh, the final is 80% of your grade. You're like, cool, so nothing else matters and that's a fuck ton of stress. Yep. That's the worst. That is the worst. I I never understood that because, like, the, the, the most amount that, like, an exam or whatever would be for me would be, like, at most 60%. And, like, that's, that's and even at that, most. Even that's, like, And oof. even that, that, that wasn't, like, a regular. The regular mm. would be, like, maybe 40% would be the final exam at yep. most. Or maybe 50. 50 was more regular. Mm. School grading is a scam. I, it's ever mm -hmm. since I first sat down and thought for more than three seconds about it in like sophomore year of high school, it's like, wait, this sucks real bad. Cause if you fuck up in the first week of class, you might be at a, like a deficit you can't recover from. Because you'll I... perpetually be chasing this percentage that's increasingly out of reach. Hell yeah, isn't that fun? It's like, well, in... shit. <laughs> I, Hi, um, I, 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 I had a, when I started doing uh, university, I very quickly started, instead of going, I'm going to be the best I could possibly be, and moved to, okay, this assignment, like, I developed an entire spreadsheet to figure out what my, like, whether I'd passed a, a unit or not already. So, like, I would I would put in, input my assignment scores and everything and be like, okay, currently I've got, like, 60% worse, so that's a passing grade. Okay, so I don't need to fucking study at all for the exam and I can focus on this unit's where I've only got, like, 42% so far, so I need to get at least you know, at least 20 out of 60 on this exam in order to pass this unit. Yep. So I should focus on this one. <laughs> God. It's like, school isn't about learning. It's about passing school. <laughs> yeah, school teaches you to be good at school. Yeah. Boom! Roasted! Anyway. <laughs> take that, school. <laughs> learning yeah, good, great system's bad. Take education yeah. system. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... it's what how, are you gonna do? It's an unsolvable problem, because how else do you standardize? Did someone learn a thing? So... It's tough. Anyway, uh, Queen of Science, thanks for 49 months. Have a good ancient circle. Old ring. Furthster, 32 months. It me again. Have all the fun in your stream today. Thank you. Air Rock with a hammy. Thank you. Flavia with 20 months. Hello, chat. I'm experiencing changes in my body sensitivity due to HRT and wow, it's weird and overwhelming. Best of luck. Hope it's all going well. Thanks for 20 months. Loaf of Brett, thanks for 49 months. Hype. Game done with 50 bits. Fluffbot with 38 months. 38 heckin' honkin' months. Smash with the 100 bits. Uh -huh. We're playing Spamptim's favorite 90, 1997 game, Commemorative Ring. 
This game should have come with a commemorative ring. <laughs> it should have. Oh, man. Uh, can someone mod this so the Elden Ring looks like one of those fucking shitty school rings? <laughs> <laughs> just see... Uh, 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 Lord of 2020. <laughs> you see Radagon, like, working away at his anvil, and it cuts over, and he has just got this fucking blinged-out <laughs> ring. Class of 2007, baby. Oh, fucking hell. Ugh. What happened? We're only just starting. It's a ring pop. That'd be good. Hey, Offlex. Oh! Or it's, a, it's one of those fake spiders that's on a ring that you get for <laughs> Halloween, and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> the Elden Ring. Uh, what did right. you guys get? Uh, you will see that when I go through my slideshow in about five minutes. Um, Starkey Stefan, thanks for 47 months. Project RF, 17 months. Space Succubus, 35 months. And the link to the Raspberry Creamer. Timothy Brickett, thanks for 26 months. Queen of Size gifted a sub to Jinx Tinks for the 35th month. Siegmeier, thanks for the soup. Can't stick around. Really enjoyed your video. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on Elden Ring. Back to Vodlandia I go. Farewell, Siegmeier. I'm not surprised, but I'm a little bit sad that there was no Siegmeier in this. Or like someone that resembled yeah. him. Although... Yeah, there, there's there's like a, a chunky guy who's kind of similar, but he's, he's no he's no joyous lad. Yeah. There aren't a whole lot of joyous characters in this game that I've met. Oh, um, it's a talking about everyone's game. Living La Vida Loca. Well, that's why Siegmeier's so good, because you're like, oh my god, this guy's living. Look at him go. Oh, man. Alexander, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Alexander's I, definitely I an exception. at the end. The, one of the only NPCs where I was like, man, this was a nice, like, this this quest ended really nice, and I'm really happy, like, she's all happy and everything, and then at the very end of the game, they're just like, yeah, no, 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 it's not gonna end happy, buddy, everything's gonna go fucking terribly, and I'm like, god damn it! Which, which NPC? Why, why can't we just let Roderico be happy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She made her she peace. She was happy, and then I decided to ruin everything. Hmm. <laughs> EG, EG is like if Sigmire was sleepy. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't have the like, the comfy vibes that Sigmire has. He's not jovial. He's just kind of yeah. content. Man, I was so excited when I met EG. That was so fun. Uh, Definitely not a state of sex for Jobin 10 bits. is excited, but he's, he gets depressed too. Also, Bach. Bach is a character that I did not meet. Um, oh. Until I was capturing footage for my video, and I was running around, and I heard something like, "Hello, hello, can mm. can you hear me?" And I was like, "What? Who?" And then he's a bush, and I was like, they, "What?" Yeah. Because apparently mm -hmm. they they patched they the, the radius, radius that you can hear him from. So I went near there, but not close enough to trigger it. Um, and so then I went back in my. Did I finish EG's quest? Did you... I don't know. Did you did you finish Box <laughs> quest in that case? No, I don't know. So, okay, so I, I, I talked to him, and then uh, he went to the coastal cave, and he was all beaten up, and then mm -hmm. I met him at North Liernia, and he was like, I can be mm -hmm. your your seamster. Please, oh God, whatever you do, don't alter your own garments. Let me do it for you. Um, yeah. And then I met him again in... Altus Plateau? Not in Altus Plateau, in Landell. Landell? Yeah. Um, That's where he stays. And he was just the same. So I don't know if there's more to his. Did you? Okay, there's there's one more thing you can do. Uh, so you know the you know those items you get that that um prattling pace play like voices. Yes, yes, the prattling pace. If, if you if you play the one that says like uh you're beautiful in front of him, he 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 starts like almost crying because it sounds like his mother. What? And because like his his mother was like the only one like in his life that loved him so um it's like if you play the you're beautiful he's like oh like did you hear that hey i said <laughs> i wasn't gonna boot up my like my mother my end game character but i kind of want to try that real quick before we do yeah, other do things you, you're See gonna cry yeah well, that's fine um you, you want to know what happens if you don't do that and you do the other thing <laughs> Don't, don't, Dad, don't! What other thing can you do? He's a good boy! I didn't know because the game was new. <laughs> uh, he was like, I wish... He learns about Renala and he's like, Oh, I wish I could be reborn and have a, have the body that, you know, wouldn't be cursed like this, uh, you know, demi-human. And I was like, Yeah, man, I got a larva tier. Fucking go visit Renala. So I missed then, all of this. So then he goes to Renala and... Becomes a human, and then the next time, like, he won't say anything. He's just crouching as a human, wearing his little hat. 
Mm -hmm. and then you see him the next time and he's dead. <laughs> because he doesn't have a great rune, so he can't survive the process. Oh! Yep. I mean, I just yep. thought he was just like, nope, I, I made a mistake. Yep. Nice cape, I, thanks. I, I made the mistake. <laughs> Uh, also, fun fact, when I was making my, my Elden Ring video, I showed a screenshot of my current save file. I had to equip a different helmet, because this is what I've been rocking, and I was like, this might be a spoiler. If, uh, if <laughs> yeah. people see my face looking like this, be like, what? Be what, all fucking ad what Avenger happened? the Sith over here. Yeah. Just, there you go. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -la, ba -ba -ba -la. Anyway, uh, I can't seem to, to say anything else to him. I guess I can try to use the... No, 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 just use the item next to him. How would you even know? Because I don't know. I, I guess you could figure it out. Like, if you listen to his dialogue, he talks about his mother very early on and talks about, like, she's the only one who thought he was beautiful. I just call him beautiful. Nothing happened. I think I messed up. Wait, I heard a voice. What? What the fuck this game? Fuck this game. He didn't even react to it. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> this is the worst game I've ever... <laughs> I... There's a reason I didn't talk about NPCs in my video, because it would have just been me being mad. It's like, it is so easy to miss stuff in the earlier From games, and this game is so much bigger. So yep. just, oh, how is this oh, possible? Oh, okay. It, the item does, if you read the item's description, it ends with unconditional love, unrestrained assurance. It must have been a mother speaking. And because he at one point is like, mother... You're supposed to be like, oh, yeah. clearly. You could probably piece it together, but like, that's a real stretch from so. Yep. That seems about right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get him killed. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. Did I hear my mum? <coughs> Fuck. What's the deal with the eyes? We can get to that in a sec. I, I wasn't planning to boot up the game yet. Melina mentions it. I think I might have, um... Pissed off Melina and had her leave before I met Bach. So yeah, you been... probably did. I mean, look at your eyes. Yeah. You killed him, dear? Also, dear, how'd you like Shovel Knight Dig? And game. I say you guys are both streaming it. Um, I like it. I, I had... Um, there, there are some things in that game that make me go, this, I mm, don't like this. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I had are, the same experience. There were several times where I'm like, this feels counterintuitive to the game design that they're going for here. Hmm. It's like, and it frustrates me. Please. Like, you want me to hurry up, but you also want me to slow down. Which is it? I can't do both at the same time, but you clearly want me to. Yeah. I almost got to the bottom, but I got fucking angry at it too. Yeah. I don't know what I said yes to. I, I wasn't fully paying attention. <laughs> Barry. Yeah. No. This is why I didn't stream this game. I would just be like, huh? What did I do? Oh, well, I called him beautiful. Uh, well, because he is. Bok, ready to he is beautiful. Bok is beautiful. Listen, he's like one of the only NPCs that can have a happy ending. Mm hmm. Let him have Maybe it. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe he was turned into a bush. You're beautiful. <laughs> Bok, ready to make okay, so once you say you're beautiful, then that's it. You can't send him to Ranala. Yeah I, yeah, I think I think so that's you have to say he's ugly to get him to go to Ranal and give I him the bed. I did not say you have to, you he have was to feed ugly. into his insecurities. I was just like, oh, this guy, he hates the fact that he's a demi human. Maybe he wants to be reborn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you read my my uh, uh, my Elden Ring journal or skim through it, rather, um, there's frequent moments where in hindsight, I'm like, wow, I fucked up that NPC quest line. Um, one I almost fucked up and I somehow unfucked and I don't know why, is I first met Selen's body when she's chained up in the, the little prison area. Oh, And yeah. I killed her. What? I killed her body. Okay, well, and, and then that's for a, kind a of couple, okay, because you kind of meant to. And then for a couple dozen hours, I was like, how come I don't have a, 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 a sorcerer who can teach me new sorceries? This game sucks. Mm -hmm. So you didn't even find her astral projection. What? When I first got to where her astral projection is, there was no one there, and I don't know why. Probably because you killed the body. Probably, Probably because I killed, killed the body, body, Barry. So, um, at some point the body respawned. I'm, I guess I might have atoned for it, and then the body pops back. I don't know what happens, but I was able to... She said, well, yeah, but she's like, fuck you, I hate you. And I was like, well, okay, you're dead now. She had it coming. Fuck you. <laughs> she didn't have it coming. 
Uh, well, we've all done bad things in our life. Yeah. <laughs> I tabbed down, tabbed back in, and doing so, I attacked when he was right there next to me in a cave next to the Grace, and he died, and it auto saved. Yeah. You... Oh, wait. So that means. Wait. So you... did you finish her quest then? Whose quest? Selen's? Um, Selen's. I got, I got her a new body, and then I don't think anything happened after that. <laughs> well, oh, Gam and I oh, got her a real nice body. Go back body. to Renala. <laughs> go back to, to Renala. To Renala? Okay. Also, apparently uh -huh. we're just playing the game now. <laughs> um, yeah, yep. yeah, we're just playing yep. the game now. You need to go back to Renala because there's one final fight you need to do. <clears throat> there's a fight? What? Oh, yeah, there's a fight. What? And you have to pick a side, buddy. What? Yeah. Can I talk to her? Pick a side. No, no, no. Go outside. Outside the big door. Outside. There should be two summon signs. What? What are you talking about? Because you know the guy who's been hunting Selen this whole time? What the what the fuck? Mm -hmm. How long mm -hmm. has this been? Be the side, side a with Selen or side against her. Be summoned to assist I'm a, I'm a... Selen, or yeah. be summoned to challenge Selen. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What? You, uh, I forgot his name. He's the dude at the um the festival. It's, He's uh, been hunting Selen. Like oh yeah. Or oh, the guy with the fancy pants. Yeah, fancy yeah. pants. Yeah, Jaren. Yeah, fancy pants. Jaren. Jaren that's it. He, he's been hunting Selen this whole time, and like yes. you now get to sight like, him. He's like, you don't happen to know any mages. <laughs> How yeah, would you like, know to walk back out through these doors? Uh, if you listen to the dialogue, you would know that this is where it was culminating. See, the problem is most NPCs in this game, once you do a thing, they're like, all right, I'm off to the north, and then they disappear. And it's like, what? With Selen, it makes sense where she's going, though, because her whole fucking yeah. quest is about Raya Lucaria. Fair, but then also it's like, and at no point magic. I'm like, I, I would run through the entire area and never think, let me go back out through the boss doors from Ronaldo. Yeah, it is it is kind of ridiculous where it is, but like, well, come on, buddy. Take Literally Millicent. I never met Millicent again after I, I cured her. She just fucked off. I'm like, I don't know where she is. I I finished her quest, quest and... Line. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it, it's sad. Should we pull this? I don't know. I can't. I don't know which one to do. I don't uh, know if there's one better than the other. Do you really right, want to pull it? Do you want to be sad or do you want to be sad? Uh, I want to be sad. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing a FromSoft okay, game, uh, Dan. I want to be sad. You want to be sad? Okay. okay. Side with Selen then. Side with Selen. Side okay. With Selen. Side <laughs> with right. Selen because that's what I did and I fucking I hate this it's game. It's it was the biggest fuck you. It's so good. It is. It's the biggest FromSoft fuck you. All right. There she is. <clears throat> There he is. Oh no, magic. Am I over leveled for this? Yeah, a little bit. Ow. Ow. There he is, there's Jareth. What are you doing? The Goblin King. The Goblin King? The guy from Ow. PT, if you whisper the name. <laughs> Jaren. <laughs> Jaren. I'm just Jaren. gonna. Jaren. Goodbye. Come on, stop rolling! Why are you rolling? Ow. I'm good at the game, I swear. He's a little raccoon. Great. Return to my world. We did it. Thops? Early sorcerer merchant. Who the fuck is Thops? Tony Hawk's is the guy Steve. who's in the church, and he was like, I wish I could go into the academy, but I don't have I, a key. I oh. love Thops. Oh, yeah. I don't know where did he you went. Did you give him a key? Yeah, I gave him a key. Oh, I, he's probably doing great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably fine, buddy. <laughs> Don't even follow up on that. Oh, yeah, so, yeah I'm sure he's fine. Selen, oh, yeah, go, go inside. What did you do with Renala? Oh, she looked to your left. Um, or was it right? Renala's still here. She's just oh, hiding. Yeah, just, just, give her, just give her a talk. Is she hanging out with the yeah, Radagon just, just statue? Yeah, just talk to Selen. Yeah, just talk to Selen. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Selen. Do I have another boss fight? Yeah, oh, yeah. she's over here. Where did you no, 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 no. This is the happy ending. Come. Art thou not hmm. Hmm. He's near the water wheel below the school, where the abductor is. What's no, up, no, 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 no. What? No. Did he get abducted? Hey, what's up, Selen? I'm gonna turn up a minute. <coughs> Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat returned, mm -hmm. the Academy can There's a grace. How much a chimney costs? So that we. If a chimney could cost chimney? Shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice. Will, you stay will I stay at the academy? No, I got I got gods to kill. I know it's yeah. impossible. It's free, it's on the house. To be the next Elden Lord. <laughs> do think of me, of your teacher. 
on the eve of your crowning, you will always be oh, that's my nice. darling pupil. This oh, is nice. She's getting everything she wants. Yeah. yeah. Is an anvil gonna fall on her and crush her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It makes a real big cartoony bonk sound too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just it lands and then just squishes her down, just yep. like, yep. like when you and then, when she, you, and then she just waddles away. Yeah, when you select something in Photoshop and just squish it, it's not even like getting wider. Just yep. mm -hmm. uh, okay, great. Hey, uh, real quick, bud, can you just rest at that uh, grace for me, real quick? Wait, hold on. She's giving me a symbol of, of her allegiance. Hmm. Good. Ooh, good. a glintstone, Chris. Do you recall what one? That's nice. That glimstone Chris. is the amber of the Yeah, yeah, Viz, exactly. <laughs> is the study of the stars <laughs> and the life therein. Mm -hmm. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Well, I've got good news Lay for you. I'm not really Elden Lord, but I did kill Elden. everyone. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, okay. Oh, one last thing. One last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, I'm not going you to. Can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. Hmm. Oh, I can learn sorceries from her. Oh yeah, this seems great. Yeah. Let's buy some of these real quick. Cool. Thanks. What is it, my apprentice? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest real quick. I'm just gonna angle the camera rest. towards she's, she's her. She's probably got a lot of studies to get to and stuff. So. Yeah. yeah, she's probably got a lot of studying oh, to well, do. Oh, but... Ronaldo's back. Hmm. Um. Oh, there's... What? Oh. Oh, hey, Selen. But... <laughs> Did she turn into a meatball? Master, therefore I failed. I... <laughs> hey, Selen. She's, she's doing great. She's doing great, Barry. Why did this happen? <laughs> do, you, do you not know the lore of those balls? I don't remember. Um... Uh, I don't know if I have a thing I could read. The helmet, if you have the head. Oh, I just got hers. It was granted to a scholar who excelled as a minotaur, which, um, but isn't there a, uh, a talisman that's like a ball of those guys? Graven and mass talisman. Yeah, there is. The primeval current is a forbidden tradition to glimpse the sorcery of those who cleave to its teachings. The act of collecting sorcerers to fashion them into the seeds of stars is but another path to scientific inquiry. So they just got all mushed together because they were studying too hard? She's the one responsible for those balls being made. Oh. But then why did she join the ball? There's a reason people don't study, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> hey, buddy, you ever heard of the uh, Tale of Icarus? <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Happy ending. Happy ending. Push her. Okay. Can I murder her? No, no, I mean, no, you she still chance. sell stuff. Yeah, well, I bought all her things. Yeah, still... All right. She just won't talk to you anymore. Because she you can't, uh, you can't even attack. Never right. Oh, I can't. You're right. I can't attack. Well, great. We got the Katamari you ending. <laughs> you can't. There goes the trophy. So, so normally uh, in box ending, if you just look like between her and uh, the Grace, there's just a body laying <laughs> on the floor of that box. <laughs> so, like everything you do makes this room more sad. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This is the sad room. Great. Um, okay. Let me finish getting caught up all our so we could actually mm -hmm. start streaming. <laughs> it just got on a bit of a detour. That's just how this game goes, though. You're like, oh, I'm going to go here. But wait, what's this? Okay. Oops. There goes five hours. Uh, 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 definitely not a status. Thanks for 10 bits. Woo. Small woo. Kurzak, thanks for five months. How you doing? Appleton. Soup. Monsieur LeBerry, how does the evening find you this day? It's going good, thank you. Autism uh, Dragon, thanks for gifting a sub to Rowdy Styling. Cuddly Crow, 56 months. Elder Ring spoiler mode. Just got to the final boss of Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula with friends and our seamless co-op run. One of the best mods we could ask for in a game like this. Makes me want it in the other games. I hope it just becomes a thing that they do, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Um, Omar Mustard, thanks for 26 months. Was very tempted to play Elden Ring, and then I randomly saw someone fighting an enormous spider that looks like two human hands merged together, and I thought maybe not <laughs> Elden Ring then. <laughs> to be fair, they're not. I mean, I'm not arachnophobic, but I'm like, oh, I don't like spiders, and I didn't have any real trouble with those hands. They suck. I, 
but I only had trouble with them when they were on the walls. That's the only time when I'm like, uh, 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 no, there, there's no one spider, in particular bad. in the mountaintops of the giants that's huge and just hanging oh, out yeah. near Grace. And I was like, I saw is him that before far he fucking away landed on and me. massive, or is that closer than I think? Oh, it's far away I, and I massive. <laughs> I saw him before he, I, I like looked, no. I went around no. that whole arena and like look, uh, saw him on the cliff and everyone was like so disappointed that I didn't get jump scared. Oh, by yeah. Here, I'll, I'll, like, I'll show you, you the guy assholes. I'm talking about. He's by, he's over here. If I remember correctly. Thank you. Uh, Omar must have thanks for 26 months. Uh, Ed is everywhere. 13 months, lucky sub. So there's a grace over here you can get to. And you're like, oh, cool. Sweet. And then, uh, where is it? Oh, it's around the other corner here. Um, there he is. <laughs> and I was just like, huh? That seems really big, huh? Doesn't it? Mm. How big yeah, is it's he? It's a big one. How big is he? There's go, a bird there. Say hello to him. Oh, he smushed the, the bird. That's fine. Yeah, paint that. Yeah, they, they kind of suck but I feel you kind of get numb to them. There's an area that's almost exclusively these guys, and, uh... No. Yeah, it, uh... Eh. No. Bah. I think I still have a rune arc active from beating the game. That's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah I think they, they don't go away until you die. Just saying if I die here, it'll be my first death in a while. Eh. Hello. The finger castle makes you immune to them. Yep. Yep. Okay. Why are you running at a low frame rate, sir? What is happening? He's like glitching out. Why is he not? Eh. Too big. It's just too big. Big. Yeah, he's a Ridley. P2. That'll get him. I don't want to fight you here. Get the fucking troll to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. God, his moves take so long. <laughs> He's too big. That's what's hard about him, is it's like every move takes half an hour. E. Actually, I don't mind the big ones. The ones that have magic rings, I find much more annoying. I like I like their Frieza point. Their Frieza point, yeah. Very... What? Sir, your hitboxes are wrong. Anyway. He's too big. He's just too big. Did you find the finger? Yep. I didn't use it though. I used it to see like what the finger flick move is and was like, that's ridiculous, but nah, I've been using the the meteoric ore blade for like the second half of the game, basically. Every time I found a new weapon, I would be like, oh, I wonder if this is better, and it's not. So I was like, okay, fine. Uh where did I leave off? Bitter coffee bean, thanks for 27 months. To help me tolerate studying for my chem exam, I'm gonna fill my brain with the poo brain of this stream. Best of luck. Making life fun. 33 months. And a tier two. Katamariost.mp4. C was here. Thanks for four months. Those hand spiders can fuck off. Assault Flamingo. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes. Happy subby tembi. Little discounted sub. Thank you. Uh, Smash Rant. Thanks for 96 bits. The fact that you're having you're having fun at the misfortune of the NPCs in this game makes me think of the new Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared TV series. Makes me want to see a Souls-like oh, yeah. game based on Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Horror aspects would be the same, which would be more cartoony puppety. That feels like streamer bait. It's like Elden Ring, but everything's a puppet. <laughs> it's like... That's absurd. Uh, Scallion Onion, thanks for four months. Need a hand? Oh, you. Thank you. Um, Astel's Mace is Bastard Stars. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I just I just would like be like, oh, cool thing, tossing it into storage. I just tossed everything into storage. I didn't use a single Ash of War in the entire game, and I'm sad. Look how many I have. So many fun ones. So many cool things I wish I could fucking use. And every time I was like, oh boy, a new weapon. That's actually an upgrade. It's like, oh, you can't use Ashes of War on this. Every fucking time. Literally, since the, like, second weapon I was rocking, every weapon I've been, I main throughout the game, didn't let it's me use Ashes of War. upgrade the base weapons, Barry. I did upgrade them, and they were still worse than the new shit I got. But the customization makes it better. I want to customize it, but I don't want to do less damage. Because, you know, what's more reliable than a cool thing is doing lots of damage. 
So they damage schmamage is what I no, that's not what it's I it's just it's <laughs> immensely frustrating me that like it feels like every cool thing. And I and I don't even get it because I, I when I looked it up originally I was like why why can't I use it? It was like, oh, because this has a unique skill. And I'm like, but some of them don't say unique skill. Like the Meteoric Ore Blades has Gravitas. It doesn't say unique skill, it just says skill. But you can't use it on there. Um it, it's basically if it if it upgrades with a somber smithing stone, you can't change it. Basically. That makes more sense and I wish they told me that. Yeah. It was just like, oh, if it's unique. Um, okay, yeah, because I did, uh, uh, try to mess with these, and I was like, yeah, I just, I don't fucking know. It just made me sad. I was like, look at these cool things. I wish I could do. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real cool now. Oops. Eh, eh. Um, they're basically legendary weapons. Yeah, I never really made that distinction in my brain. I was just like, it's this or this. I didn't think about it that much. Uh, let me be a real cool guy. Yeah, there you go. That's a good look. E. Multicolor torches. Wow. Yeah, I didn't find those. I didn't find a lot of things. Anyway, I'm getting distracted again. Dufflesaur, thanks for converting your prime to a tier one. Hey, happy Selby Tumby. Appreciate it. Um, okay. I'm gonna... I played Elden Ring and I played like five hours and it felt like I had no idea where to go and what to do and everywhere I went, I couldn't progress. Is this normal Elden Ring or do I suck at the game? Um, that is kind of normal. Um, the way that the game is set up, you know, you start all the way down here. Um, and you got a thing pointing here and it's like, go this way. And there's a fuck you guy right here. Um, which I took to mean, oh, I'm not ready to fight this guy. I tried him a couple times, was like, nope. So I went to the, the church here. And this church here has tons of useful stuff early on. This is kind of meant to be your early game hub. And a lot of people saw the fuck you guy and went somewhere else. Um, which is fair. This is not a game that holds your hand for better and for worse. And uh, it is, they, this game strong arms you and going, it, you should be running past things. And uh, a lot of people are like, no, this is clearly where I'm supposed to go. So I don't know. Um, but no, it's it's a tough game. And uh, there's a huge step to get over in the early game just to be competent. If you've experienced with the other games, that step is much more manageable. You're like, okay, here's how it works. Um, if you're new to these kinds of games, it can be a lot. You have to, it's not a action adventure Zelda game where enemies go down like two or three swings. You have to really be careful and, and fucking up is punishing. Um, but yeah, they surround you with a bunch of fucking bullshit right in the beginning, so. It can definitely feel like, oh, I'll go to the, the lake. No, there's a dragon. I'll go north. No, there's a guy on a horse. I'll go to the west. Uh, there's, like, octopuses or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, you kind of just you have, have to... Unless you have bleed. Well, that early in the game? <laughs> yeah. Favorite boss? Hmm. The, the blade that I used for the entire fucking game, I got in, like, the first area in Limgrave. Yep. Damn. Well... <laughs> I didn't really mess with any anything fancy until I got the, the Meteoric Ore Blade, which <clears> has bleed on it. It's a bummer they repeat it so much. I don't know. I don't really mind a lot of the repeat content. A lot of people have been dunking on this game being like, they just reuse the same things over and over. I'm like, but they do a fair amount to mix things up. I really don't mind it. There are only a handful yeah, of times where it, I was like, it, this it, shit again. Um, mainly the, uh, the, 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 what are they called? The, the tree spirits. There's like the putrid tree, the tree spirit, spirit, the ulcerated. I yeah. hate avatars. that fight. Not the avatars, the ones that are like snake serpent dudes. And they just spin oh, around yeah. and spew out bullshit and slam down and grab you. And I'm like, you are too big for this room that you're in. And why do I have to fight 500 of them? I hate them. You, you, <laughs> I hate them so much. You've, 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 you've gotten all the, uh, 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 Legendary talismans. Yep. You? Yeah. Yes. So the, the, the fuck. So you yeah. know about the final room with mm -hmm. two of them. Oh, you mean? Oh, there's, I just there's, did that. There's three of them, Gam. There's three. Oh, they. Sorry, three. That's right. Uh, I didn't see how many there were because I just ran in, got the saw that there was one, and saw how big the arena was, and then read a message that said "Be wary of group," and was like, "Yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna grab the item and run." Yeah. No, I I grabbed it and bailed. Um, that was something I looked up after the game because I never thought to come back this way. Same. I never thought to go back that way. They give you nothing. If you kill them, they give you nothing? Yep, nothing. That's Absolutely. stupid. 
That's stupid. No, I was like, I don't even fucking care. The two Crucible Knights? Oh my god, yeah. The Crucible Knights I, I hated. I love them. But I learned to love them. Yeah. I, 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 I absolutely, unconditionally love the Crucible Knights so much. They, they, are, they are the funnest little litmus test for like how well you're doing in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I feel like they are a very punishing fight. Precisely because they don't give you any opportunities to heal. You know, every yeah. time you go to heal, they're like, let well, me just stab you with my five foot long sword. Um, un unless you're, you, you're, you're paying... They're, they're one of those enemies that I love because you need to be paying... They're, they're ones where it's like, hey, if you just pay attention, like, this is an enemy where we're going to teach you how to pay attention to enemies mm -hmm. and teach you how to, like, hey, you don't even need to... Like, you can't rush every enemy. You can't fight them all by just running. You need to pay attention to their attacks and be patient. Mm -hmm. And it, it feels so rewarding to fight a Crucible Knight and then kill one without even getting hit. It is the most... Oh, best feeling in Elden Ring, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I am playing extremely poorly right now. <laughs> no, you're doing great. I'm like... Doing, no, doing great. So doing great. So. Yeah, no, it's, listen, it's fine. Um, I don't know why I'm running back here to be like, look, this sucks, and then I'm going to leave. I just don't know. Unnamed trans girl, thanks for 19 months. Sup, nerds. Internet company screwed me over. I didn't have internet for a month, and I broke my leg at work. What did I miss? Welcome back. Jeez. Been through the ringer. Welcome back. Hello. Yeah. It's the streamer break here. It is. It's all oh, right. This game is fun and has 50 billion things in it. Um, they're classic souls enemies with a predictable and distinct set of attacks. Yeah. I think that's part of it, too. Is like, once you've died a bunch. I mean, it's true of most enemies. Slash all. But it's like, you learn their attacks. Um, they have very strong tells. Some enemies are a lot quicker and a lot more subtle. But... I don't know, there's, what, 16 of them in the game or something, so... Do we do the slideshow yet? Nope! I'm getting distracted. I don't know why. I just, for anyone that hasn't played the game or seen this exact thing right here, I just want to point it and be like, this is bad. I don't like anything about this. <laughs> oh, the kind of Gmod the, physics through the screen. The, yeah. The, I hate the, the street spirits. The tree spirits? The only time I can think of that I did a catacomb or a dungeon or whatever, and then didn't immediately beat the boss, not first try, just like, you know, I got to the boss of a catacomb and then didn't grind it out till I beat it, was the uh, War Dead Catacombs? Yeah, here, this one. The, the this is one? Yeah, this is the one that's filled with, like, ghost soldiers fighting each other. It's a crazy catacomb, and the final boss is an ulcerated tree spirit. And I surrounded this with skull icons, and I was like, fuck this. I'm gonna wait till I can stomp it. it made me so mad. But, um, yeah, if you come over here, there's, uh, there's one of them. I actually don't know if I ever finished it. In a very tiny room. Yep. I think I went in and got all of the items, but I don't think, I don't think I fought the boss. It oh, sucks real on, bad. Check right now. The tree spirit exists in unfinished form in Dark Souls 3. It's unused content, I think. Oh. Yeah, no, so that's one of them, and as you run around, two more hop out of the sand. Or ash, rather. Mm -hmm. And then on that stump over sand. there is a shiny, which is, um, if you're trying to get all the achievements, you need that. <laughs> so you get to just run through, and then run the fuck out. Uh, and now I've learned if you kill them, you don't even get anything good. You just... Yeah. It's just, yeah. What's the shiny? The shiny is, um, real good, actually. It's this, Archery's Favor plus two. Raises max HP, stamina, yeah. and equip load. Just an all-around good thing to have. So, you can hug the left wall and avoid aggro, but then you have to loop all the way around. I just ran. I ran along the right wall there. You destroy them with dual blade Um, But yeah, it's 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 especially weird. I never thought to come back here because when you first come through here, the city's not destroyed. Well, except this area is already kind of fucked up. <laughs> but uh, you can just go through some doors there down there. Um, and I never thought to come back in from the side. Anyway. Six months ago and I got the platinum. Hey, listen! I, I've i almost gotten the platinum. I'm just missing... Um, I'll show you exactly what I'm missing. I'm missing How two of the finish? endings. Because this, for anyone that asked, I got the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. I might have not realized what I was agreeing to. Um, and I'm missing mm -hmm. uh, one other trophy 
which is uh, the dragon you fight for Fia's questline. Because I fucked up Fia's questline. Uh, oh. I didn't fuck it up. I didn't I'll... progress it because I never talked to her. I was wondering mm. if that's the one that you... Because I remember you saying that you fucked one up and I'm like, what? Oh, I fucked a I lot mean... up. Um, time to play again. Yep. I am still pissed that the only NPC quest that I absolutely fucked up is the one NPC quest that I really wanted to do. Which one was that? Rogier's. I fucked up Rogier's too. He just, he showed up in round table and he was in a chair covered by bugs and he was like, I'm okay. And then he died. And I was like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I did. You're unlocked and in that ending finish was. Milson's quest. Yeah, except I don't even know where Milson went. Cause it's like, she's like, see you later. And I'm like, fucking where? <laughs> this map so, is so big. So, okay, okay. You <laughs> might still be able to see her, but I don't think so. Uh -huh. Um, long story short, she looks lo a lot like another character, doesn't she? Does she? She's got red flowing hair. That's like half the cast. No, it's not. <laughs> Did she should be in the Halic tree if, if you... Did you give her an arm? No. Oh, well then she'll... She, should, she looks she'll like Millennia? Yeah. Where yeah, is she in Altus like Plateau? Millennia. Uh... Oh, fuck. I, one of the first, one that's on the highway. On the highway? Highway Junction? Like, she's yeah, one of Millennia's see, daughters. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. With the rot. Yeah, that one, I think. She's near the... Okay. I, no, I, church, so, yeah. so I went to Gallery Shack in Kaled, and then I got the golden needle, and then poked her with it, and she was like, I'm better. And then she went to Gallery and was like, okay, goodbye. And then I was like, I don't know where she went. Left oh, of that. Oh, she's, um... Yeah, she's not at that tree gazing? She's... Yes, that, the, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, like, tree gazing, that one, actually. Oh. She's, she's looking towards, she's on, I just remember, she's on a cliff looking towards the poison castle. Towards the poison castle to the north? Yes. So that's where you get her an arm. Huh. Yeah, I have her Oh, be. what the fuck? Hi. Oh, we're doing Millicent's quest now, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What? Have a talk. Have a talk to her. Okay. So the thing oh, is, I, I don't know if I missed her when I first came here. I think she just wasn't here yet. And How I just did you possibly didn't... miss her? She's so obvious. <laughs> yeah, she's so obvious, Barry. Yeah, I know. She doesn't blend in with the fucking Like every NPC in the game. Um, if I still have my sword arm, I could have aided you. Yeah, I got an arm lying around. Yeah, you know. Um, I had to look up her quest line. I didn't look up, I, I looked up a handful of things and I mentioned them in my journal when I did. Because specifically there was, it's like if I progressed really far and then went back and did an NPC, I was like, I don't know where they are. Um, the, the world is too big. Um, like one was, um, Hyeta, the one that you give the grapes to. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. the... The great lady. Yeah. yeah. So I, I progressed her up into Liernia, and then she was like, I need a grape. And I was like, oh, well, I have this special grape. And she was like, not that one, a regular one. I had like the, the final one to give her. And I was still missing a regular grape. And I was like, where the fuck is it? It was at the Revenger's shack. There's a guy who summons there who didn't trigger when I went there earlier. And I don't yeah, know why. He, he only go, he, he, th there's four of him, the bell hunter dude. Not the bell. Not hunter. the bell hunter. It's no? the guy it's, it's who's the guy from the castle whose daughter. Oh, yes. wait, yeah, letter. that's right. Yes, the guy from the fort oh, Morn. Um, I have to. Except I did, I did Morn hunter. Castle like extremely early in the game, and I have no idea how he didn't spawn. And there were bloodstains everywhere, and messages being like, "Watch out for the battle," and there was no yeah. one there. And I was like, "Huh?" Um, so he drops an eye, and then I was able to give that to Hayat, and she's like, "Okay, I'm off on my quest," and then she disappeared, and I was like. I'm like basically at Langdale. Where the fuck is she? So I just looked it up. I was like, I'm not gonna she, find yeah, her. Yeah, she just fucking appears all over Leonia. Yeah, she was. And she next appears at a church. Just magically goes to the bottom of. How does she oh, fucking barred. get to the bottom of Landell? <laughs> How? Uh, she's good at rolling. Because like off you get into that place by falling through the fucking ceiling, breaking the roof, and she it's like, oh yeah, ways. she's just here, and it's like, wh maybe what? maybe she came up through the the roots with the ants. Yeah. She went up that way, and the, the, there's an elusive wall there. There used to be a bug where, she, where he, he just wouldn't ever spawn. It sucked. That must have been what happened to me then. Because I was just like, 
I don't know what I did wrong. So, um, I'll give her the arm. Here you go. Have fun. Thank you. I, I would not look at her and be like, oh my god, it's Millennia. I think. Like, fuck me, I guess. I was just like, oh, she's got red hair. possible for me to wield a sword again. Well, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's obvious. It, like, I wouldn't say it's obvious. It only becomes a little bit more obvious when you get to the Halleck tree and she's there and she's like, I feel like I've got a quest. Mm. And you're like, where's this going? I, I guess so. There's a secret exit to the archery roots from the Francis. Yeah, that's, that's what I was referring to. Because when I first got to the um, the roots, I saw that up above, I was like, there's a branch with ants on it. How the fuck do I get up there? And I spent so much time trying to figure it out and I gave up. And then when I found that elusive wall, I was like, God damn it. It was just coming from up there. Ah. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield... What is this? This is Millicent's quest line. Then I, can mm -hmm. in battle. I hate mm -hmm. this game. I hate this if game. Arms, it might be mm -hmm. perhaps she can aid me in battle. Yeah, she helped me with all the bosses I've already killed. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so now so, where does so she go? Now go to the windmill village. Okay. Yep. Uh, and the, the, the top one, the, oh. the like highest one. Okay, where the, the boss the one was. Where, the one where uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah, the gray spawned after the... killing a godskin dude. Yep. The, the, the skinning godskin guy. Who, um... She should be standing right around. There she is. Why does she go here? Why would you think to check here? Good question. <laughs> this is why it's like, for someone someone like me that was like, I'm only gonna look things up when I'm really, really desperate and I'm just like, I don't wanna fucking check everywhere. It's like, how is this absolutely ever supposed to be possible? She mentions, she mentions North. She was here. North is like the volcano. <laughs> it's fucking Northeast. <laughs> we meet yet again. What, you wanted to go? I will be at these coordinates. Yes! 38 degrees north. Here's a here's a sextant. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people. It overlooks the allergy where she wants to go. Except if you're playing through the oh, game yeah, linearly, you would not know that the halog tree's over there. I didn't realize that until just now, so yeah, that's... Also, it's always foggy like... as fuck. <laughs> That's something where they thought of it after fucking designing everything. It's like, oh, we can make it overlook the Halleck tree. It's like, but the player won't know about the Halleck tree yet. Yeah, It'll also... look cool when they realize that it's there. Oh, cool. Color banding. My favorite tree. <laughs> it's like... I did come here once when it was clear. Although maybe it's like this because I because the air tree's a little bit on fire. Um, I could barely make out something out in the distance. I was like, there's something over there. And I looked at the map and was like, I don't fucking know what I'm looking at. So... Anyway, um, how's she doing? Oh, she's all right. She's good. She's just feeling contemplative. Yeah, there's a messenger. Love ahead. Yeah, also I would find messages like this out in the out in the middle of nowhere. It's like, oh, my love. And I'm like, I this must be a quest line. I don't know. Sorry, I, meant, I didn't mean to snap in your face. That's rude of me. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. <laughs> Okay. Was a little bit rude, right? Yeah, sorry. What if I... Eh. What if I... She's now she's the church in the Halleck tree? Hey. Yep. Hey. Cheer up. Did I meet Raya? I did, and I also fucked up her quest line. Because... <laughs> I don't know how! That's the fun! It's like you, it's like so, like someone just disappears, and you're like, I don't know where they went. I don't know if I fucked something where up. Where she goes is pretty bullshit. <sighs> It's fucking stupid. I had to look it up because I was like, I don't, I, I, I was at that point where I'm like, I don't fucking care anymore. Just tell me where she is. I was like, yeah, I never would have fucking found that. Mm. She's the mountaintop of the giants first. I don't know. I don't know where even to check. Millicent? Millicent, yeah. Is she? I don't know, that's what they said. That was easy to fuck up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I went I to know. um the Volcano Manor. I, it might have been after I killed Rykard. Actually, that was something I did want to check, because I never did it in my game. I learned that after you kill Rykard, Tanith goes down there to say hi to him. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. She's kind of fucked kill up. her, her Crucible Knight attacks you. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> she's she's uh, she's having a little snack. She's hungry. Yeah, yeah. Have have yeah. Have a t attack her. Oh, you. Attack her, Barry. Go I on. I'm talking to her. Our Lord's uh, give her, give her a little lost. smack. And not easily, not easily consumed. consumed. I, <laughs> Riker herself's like, it's a living. Find purchase 
Will Fucking you know Tuesdays, huh? I wish to be your <laughs> serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Devour the gods together. Together. <laughs> Dear, <laughs> I wish one day. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, he's so goopy. All right, you want me to attack her? Yeah. All right. Um. Come on. She's easy. Look, she's so weak. Yeah, sure. Be easy to kill. No. I'm just gonna pop that real quick. Kill the cannibal. Yeah. My lord, my god. Are you? Look, she was easy to kill. Yeah, it was easy. Invaded it's by Tanith's knight. Hello. Ah. Friend. Good old crucible night time. God, I love crucible night. They're neat. Whoa, I, what the I fuck fucking is that? Love that the first ever jail you'll ever see is most likely will be the fucking crucible night. Yeah. Ugh. I love it. And you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, and it's like, I'm gonna try my hand at it. It's like, no, I'm coming back. No, later. not the fire. Not the mama. That went pretty well. But also, I'm very over leveled to do this now. Aspects of the crucible breath. I can breathe. He <gasps> can breathe. <gasps> oh, she's back. Oh. You know we can't breathe? Tana. <laughs> you know, I didn't kill her, to be clear. <laughs> I didn't kill all her health. She just came back and then died. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. mad that was here. I had no idea. It's like, I never think, like, oh, let me go back to the boss. You know? This is such a cool arena, though. I fucking love this. Yeah. I almost Def wish Definitely were... one of my favorite, like, set pieces for a fight or, or gimmick fights. I almost wish there were more gimmick fights in this game. It yeah. feels like there's yeah. a lot of fights that look like they should be gimmick fights, but they're just real fights. You know? Yep. It's one of my favorite things in FromSoft when it's like, look at this crazy fucking fight. Also, it's like kind of a puzzle and you don't really have to worry too much about getting good. It's like a nice change of pace and there's not that much in this game that's like that. Let me get on top of your head. I was like, I missed that too. I missed that too. Missed that. Yep. One Crucible 9 seal for just standing off on the lone bridge and get to the magic gateway with the special gremlin key. Try that. How long do you need to even get a mop? <gasps> a mop! The Dragon Sekiro? Yeah! I love the Dragon Sekiro. Um, okay, okay, that's- that's- I don't care about Millicent. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Um, oh, but her quest is really good. Yeah, well, I'll do it in my New Game Plus when I do Fios questline and all that shit. Um, no, you won't. <laughs> let me just quickly- QUICKLY! Try to go through my, uh, my slideshow. Let me, um... Mm. Um, I just wanted to share the screenshots and shit that I Fucking took. Bell Hunter. There's only 153. The first screenshot I took was <clears throat> Fortnite. Because, listen, when I first saw this, I thought it was hilarious. And then I saw it 500 times. Um, and it was still hilarious. And it was still funny. This one was time for crab. That's good. Uh, bird, good. bird, comma, up. Also a good one. Dog. Edge Lord Ahead. A lot of these are going to be familiar if you played Elden Ring, because it seems like a lot of these kinds of jokes popped up over and over again. Uh, <laughs> could this be a up, comma, dog? <laughs> I don't know what he's just pointing at some ore in the ground. Ah, uh, there's a it turtle. Looks so full and stuff. Look carefully. Could this be a crab? Crack me up. Um, oh, this was fun. Um... Watch, watch what this this knight does after he kills me. Spoilers, he kills me. The fucking disrespect, man. <laughs> then where'd you go? No, huh? Oh. Where'd they go? They were right here. What, what was that? The wind? They're right here sucking ass. What happened? Um, be wary of trio except pair. Oh, pair. I was like, what <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Uh, first off, confusion. Yes, yeah, so th this is at the uh, the giant uh, jar in Kaled. Because I came here and yeah, I was just like, what? Took me I was like, what the fuck? Do you, you, he can't. He doesn't say anything. He's just like, hello, dot dot dot. 
And this guy was like, first off, confusion. I was like, what? It wasn't until I was talking to some of the guys here at the office. Um, I think it was Michael Barrett. He was like, oh yeah, he's got summon signs in front of him that you have to fight. And I was like, what? <laughs> I yep. just, I saw that. I literally went back to my notes and I wrote down, I was like, there's a lot of summon signs here. It must be a popular dueling spot. I like was completely <laughs> oblivious. Uh, so that mm -hmm. felt good. Um, and that also reminded me uh, at, the, at the same time I was talking to Gerard and he was like, oh, did you know if you meet up with Vare at the Rose Church in Liernia, he gives you a thing to invade other players. If you invade three other players, he gives you an item that lets you warp to a blood lake and there's all this other shit. And I was like, the fuck are you saying? It's like, it, like, like the conversations around this game are what I want every game ever to be like, where you're like, what the, f what? It's just, it, like, it reminds me of like being a kid <laughs> And like, and like games were these magical things that made no sense. And it's like where all those like schoolyard rumors would come from. It's like, yeah, yeah, you talk to the guy and then you do this over here and then it opens up this secret area. You're like, what? I was just like blown away every time I heard something like that. It was, it's, it's something I love about Miyazaki's games in general and it's so strong in this game. You just like stumble into shit. The fact that the fucking, there are like, how many, uh, transporter chests are there in the game? Not that many, like, right? It's like three. There's four, like it's like three, and two of them are like extremely in the starting area, <laughs> like just to fuck with you. Like there's the one that warps you to Kalid, that's extremely close to the starting area, and then there's the the Tower of Return at the the peninsula that sends you the fuck to Landell. It's like they're like just trying to fuck with you, and then the rest of the game you're like, uh, I'm scared every time you open a chest. It's fucking stupid. Ugh. There, well, yeah, there's the one dungeon with like a billion of them, right? Yeah. The fuck you chest and each chest die. Yeah, and I and then I, the entire game, I was like, it, there's gonna be a mimic chest, right? There's gotta be one. Nope. So surprised. You fought the Godskin Apostle after warping the Kaled? What the fuck? Jesus. Uh, is that basically exactly your thoughts? Come out regardless. It's in the arena. Thank you, Azir. Uh, oh, d d d it, it did kind of warp. Um. At the the very early stuff you can tell especially because the early couple of days or weeks are much more um they're not really play by plays excuse me it's like ran through all of Stormvale like I didn't like break down like I did this and then did that um later on I was like I might share it and I didn't like spend tons of extra time writing notes I was just more thorough I think in talking about specific moments and things for mimics in the DLC you know um this is my favorite uh genre of message in Elden Ring, when someone points at a thing that's directly next to it. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Grace ahead. Uh, this was fun when you first get to the Siofra uh, Ancestral Beast, and it's just dead. And so we left a message saying, I did it? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. This was uh, a little visual bug that I don't know if they fixed. I never went back to check. I'm sure they did. Um, I mean, you could right now. I could right now. Ah, look carefully. And then you could just kind of, whoop, see underneath the ground there. Level 20, didn't know you could how to get out of that mine, so I had to beat the Falling Star Beast boss with zero, plus zero mace after eight hours of getting two shot. What the fuck? Ouch. The Ancestral Spirits are some of my favorite fights. Just aesthetics. Yeah. Just when you first warp in, you see it standing there in the distance, like, profile. I was just like, this is gorgeous. Uh, tree. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, if only I had a giant butthole pointing at the tower over there. It's good. Uh, could this be a bird? Um, don't know what this is. Oh, this was a, a little bug I ran into. I don't know why I, it was just like, I don't know what I did wrong. I did something wrong. I'm mad you first tried the boss that gives you the other half of the Algerian medallion. Him and two ice summons can fuck off. Which boss was the... The men along... The elevator I knew for was the moment where I was like, this is the best game. There I go. I did a no turtle kill run. Other than a couple I killed at the start of the game, I didn't kill any animals. Well, I was... Except for the ones that you have to kill to open a door thing. Well, yeah, if it, whenever it's like a puzzle. Those are ghost turtles, they don't count. They don't count, they're, they're puzzle load-bearing turtles. I killed so many turtles. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I, oh. I kept seeing people with the turtle shield and I was like, it's gotta be a drop because I killed a jellyfish and got the shield drop. Hmm. But I think they changed it so it's an actual 
guaranteed uh, spawn. And uh, oh, yeah, it's because I got it. None of the turtles dropped their shell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How old is the string? Pretty old. I, whenever I found a message like this that was like, bug ahead, try jumping. I was just like, what? <laughs> and then, yeah, there'd be little visual bugs and stuff. I found a handful of these throughout the game. It's just, it's like such a weird, fun way of the message system working. Um, is there that Torrent is an ancestral spirit since they have the same double jump and effect animation? Huh. Yeah. There's a message that I left pointing at a guy. Because I noticed this before I realized that you end up flipping the tower. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, why is there a guy up there? Yeah. I was mad because at the very top level you get to here, where you're closer to the, the staircase up in the distance, there were a ton of messages implying you have to shoot the switch with a bow. And I wasted so many fucking arrows and bolts trying to <laughs> knock it down until I was like, fuck, I'm just going to leave. And I think I might have looked it up even to be like, what do you do? And I was like, yeah, no, you 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 come back with a different key item. <laughs> it's saying, okay. People are just assholes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, dog. There he is. Hang in there messages. Yeah. There he is. They actually teleport into the little animal ghost in their arena and the different attacks depending on which animal it was. Oh. Huh. You see the Reddit post someone uh when you kill the turtle pope. You can kill the turtle pope? You can Why would anyone do that? Why would you do that? The, the the post is literally like I did this so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't want to know. He has a lot of I think you get like nothing. Like <laughs> you get turtle meat, and then like that was it. A picture of Miyazaki crossing his arms slowly fades in. Um. Oh yeah. So I th this was common in a lot of areas, but you come to a place like this, and then on the left there's a message that says left, and on the right there's a message that says right, and that's it. Um, dog with the crabs. This message just had the word message and it, it fucking broke me. I don't, know, I don't know how it took me so many hours till I found this, but I was like, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> it's good. Um, oh, this is the, 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 the little like weird arch way of rocks you can take from the Karya Manor back over across. Um, and there's just a ton of fucking bloodstains. Someone said, didn't expect crowd. Yeah, this was just... I was just enjoying the fact that you can just... This rock is uh, Leonary of the Lakes, and this rock is Bellum Highway. And the the text doesn't know what to do. Uh, could this be a Elden Ring, comma, city? <laughs> Enjoyed that. Uh, likely Fortnite. Uh, di right, this was after the Mimic Foe, Mimic Tier battle. Um... And this guy over here saying, didn't expect weak foe, therefore time for introspection. And he was leaning against the wall. And I was like, fuck. That's good. If anyone doesn't know, you you fight uh, the mimic tier, which assumes your form and your current build. So whatever you have equipped. So you fight it and kill it. And you're like, oh, it was weak. Oh, shit. Uh, Be wary of liar. Well, what's the other guy say? He says, visions of gorgeous view. Fucking liar. Uh, Dog? Uh, I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the Mogwin dynasty. That's what the ghost is saying. And then this guy here goes, good luck? <laughs> it also cracked me up. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh, nothing. Just, oh. I, it, I, listen, it took me so long going between beginning of Siofra to fucking get into the Mogwin area, like a blood that I was like, I completely forgot like everything that hints that there's something over there. Uh, for me, it was the second I got here. I was like, what is that? I want to go there. And I kept waiting yeah, I for did a too, bridge or something. And then I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me... And then, I, and I, then like, later I teleported near there w with the gates. And I was like, oh shit, am I finally here? And it's like, nah, it's just a crucible night. And it's like, god damn it. I really wanted to get up to that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do a warp that's like almost over there, but it's further south. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, damn it. Um, yeah, I did the... Uh, after talking to Gerard, where he's like, yeah, you get to warp to a, a blood temple. I was like, the fuck is that? So I did some invasions and then went there and I was like, oh, oh my fucking god. It made me so happy when I got there. You know there's a gate in the consecrated snowfield, right? I later learned that yes, there is a, a consecrated snowfield warp. Uh, Sargato, thanks for the raid. Howdy, y'all. We're talking Elden Ring spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, you know, don't be here. How you doing? Um, this is a bird surrounded by messages, which is always a fun sight. <laughs> this is just like in the, the Siofra upper area, Nakron, 
and it's like around a corner. There's nothing back here, and there's just a bird sitting, and he's just surrounded by messages. Uh, does this game have an end? It sure does. Uh, lonely, so lonely. Bird up. God ahead. You see the bird flew away. Uh, dog ahead with the other one. Um, oh, yeah. I So I checked a lot of messages during my playthrough. I didn't check a lot of bloodstains, but every now and then I would to be like, am I about mm -hmm. to get like jumped by something that I can't see? And um, this was a situation where I was like, huh, maybe something's going to spawn in and kill me because it seems kind of big and open. So I'm just watching him go. And... Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Uh, friend! Crouching and then dung. There's usually someone shitting at the top of these towers. Goofy fall noise, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. If anyone hasn't watched any Gam streams, uh, I don't know which voice Gam picked, but it was the best thing I've ever heard in a game. One of Gam's damage noises for his character Indiana just goes, yeah. a phobia, and it snakes and it snakes it's and it snakes, so but funny. Every time. it's like I'm all in the plane, it's so good. So good. Sorry, God, it made any time like something bad would happen. It's like a sad, like a noise. There's a hammer. I'm willing really to wait for it. Hey, Zaro. I'm willing to snake Biggest for it. Biggest spoiler, I beat it. It's my first official Souls game when I did that. Congrats. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, sorry, what were we saying? Oh, I was just saying, like, it, it was the biggest mood lifter, because, like, I'd be, like, sad because, like, a boss is being annoying or something, or, like, a typical enemy is being annoying, and then suddenly it's like, ah! and it's like, ah, oh, I'm happy again. <laughs> it was, it would always crack me up whenever you get, like, hit by a club, so you're just, like, flat on the ground, and you're going, ah, like you're falling. It yeah. just <laughs> cracked me up so bad. Um, this message says no item ahead, and there's several big <laughs> shinies visible, like, right ahead. Uh, thank you, Arok, to you as well. Um, oh yeah, I got the Eternal Darkness spell. And then someone said, praise the edge. Which cracked me up. Uh, could this be a bird? Yes! Sorry. Good job. Oh, because there's a the butter- I was like, what am I looking at? Yeah, they're hard to see. There's some butterflies. Uh, like, just to the right of my- my character. So that's good. Uh, magic butthole is good. This is me being bad at the game. I can skip ahead a bit. Nope. <laughs> well, maybe not that Very much. Very bad at game nine. I know, right? I can't believe it. I just thought if you killed it, maybe you would interrupt its attack, but that's not how magic works in Elden Ring. No. So, that was good. Rainbow Smite, thanks for the prime. Hello. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I can't take this. Pointing at a big sword on the ground. <laughs> I thought that was very good. I'm like, for every 50,000 messages of a guy grabbing both of the suits of armor's crotches in Roundtable, I would get one of these. He'd be like, all right, this is why I'm still checking messages, because they're good. <laughs> um, this is after flipping that tower down, up, uh, ladder ahead. Yeah, I see it. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every time you see a message next to a horse, you, see, you expect a dog. And then I got fucking donkey. <laughs> Just, donkey. It was like, fuck. Uh, try a butthole every single time one of those shows up. You see it. Figured I might as well take a screenshot of it. Um, have to get to find out there was a grace you could use. You never interacted with the table? When you spawn in, it's like round table. And then you're next to a round table. And then you can walk up to it. I guess you don't need to rest at it to leave, huh? Shit. Publisher announcement though? Yeah. Oh, yeah, D oh, donkeys publisher. Yeah, I don't I don't really have thoughts to share. I'm very curious to see how it goes. Oh, that's why I screenshotted it. Cuz this person said try a butthole and then someone next to it said why is it always rump therefore seek grace. Which I took to be like he said modishing everyone like why is everyone always talking about putting stuff up their butts? Uh, snake. There are a lot of snake messages around here. There's also a tall ladder. Well done, Snake. Climbing up in the mountains. <laughs> you could use the round yeah. table? Yeah. Apparently people didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, the giant yeah, round table. Really the the game. The game. What? The yeah. moment I got to round table, I was like, oh sweet, this is this is great, because I can like I can put stuff into my inventory and 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 <laughs> buy I kept stuff reading and... like guides, because I was reading some guides for like NPC quests, and like it kept saying like, and then just rest at the round table and 
and like wait and then like they'll change level. what do you fucking mean rest at the round table what do you fucking mean i can't there's no grace here there's a gigantic so grace like, oh. yeah you can't stand on the table you walk up to any side of it and there's a prompt to yeah you have to walk up to the side of the table and walk up to where the grace actually is after watching azuli the witch fit wow it, that, that's why I love talking about this shit, because there's stuff that I missed, and I was like, oh my god, in hindsight, that seems super obvious. So whenever I did a thing where I'm like, I didn't even think about it, it seemed obvious to me, people are like, what? It's very gratifying for me to be on the other side of the coin for once. Uh, dog. For once, streamer does know. Sleep. He's sleeping. He's fine. Yeah, those are really cool vids. Uh, could this be a bird? <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a bird. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Uh, didn't expect Bloodstain try skill. I was like, damn, dude. If a boss is easy or if it's hard, I don't care. I hate seeing messages. They're like, it was an easy fight. <laughs> like, um, this was a fight where I literally, okay. Uh, eh. For context, I captured this. This is why I'm glad I played on the PS5 because I could just capture it. Be like, what the fuck just happened? I killed the boss and I was like, how did it die? Watch its health bar. Because I died to it once, because it's like, skeletons got me or whatever. How did I do that much damage with one swing? Because he, he's, he's very little health. They have basically no health. I had no, I, I was like, literally... How in the fuck? He's got shit health. He's got like 500 health. I had no idea. Yeah. I was so confused. But if he combos you, you're, you're like, screwed. I think that's what his, happened. His attack speed is super fast. I mean, at this point, it's been yeah. so long. I don't know when I... Uh, this was March 25th. I don't remember. But I clearly, I picked up my runes in the clip. It's like, I don't know. I must have gotten comboed by it. I walked in, it comboed me, and I died. And I came in again and was just like, oh, let me kill the skeletons first. And I was like, how did he die? What? He also freezes you. Uh, there's a chimney. Visions of plump sort. And then could this be a tree? All right. All right. Uh, this is good. So th there's this dog here in the field. A message says horse ahead. This says octopus. This says joy ahead. And then I found a message up on the cliffside looking down at them who says dog ahead. <laughs> and I enjoyed the entire sequence of events very much. Um, could this be a dog? Uh, hole, butthole. Uh, gorgeous view ahead. I fucking... Came in here, saw these Queen Ants, and was like, oh my god, this is awful. And then, gorgeous view. And I was like, well, they do drop Newman's rings or whatever. Newman runes? I forget which one. Um, I loved all the Don Quixote messages of the windmills. Uh, if only Sorry, I had a ladder. Rings? Fucking what? The Queen Ants? They drop, yeah, they drop like... Oh yeah, they do. I never realized. Yeah, each one of them. Sounds nice. Huh. You use the weapon on that dragon? I did. Huh. The one on, on, the, on the staff? There's the one on the dragon? Or you mean the one that's on the staff thing? Yes. Newman moment. Uh, if only I had a ladder get down there. <laughs> this is in the, the windmill village. Someone Newman. said Elden Ring, because there's a wreath on the door. <laughs> Tip, yeah. Thought they dropped 10. <laughs> Maybe it's rune, Elden Ring, runes 10, whatever the fuck. I don't know. We, whichever it is, it's, it's great. Uh, this I put in my video because I thought it looked like a fart. It made me happy. Uh, could this be a tree? Crap. I stand corrected. Uh, oh, this was me being mad. This is when I watched Gam's stream. And, um, <laughs> and if you look, uh, I can't, like, use a cursor or anything, but uh, on, like, the left middle, you can see as I tab between that there was a new grace that popped up. Uh, arguably the first cave in the game, and I missed it. Because I was watching Gam's first Elden Ring stream, and was like, who the fuck is he fighting? I thought he just started. Um, it is, it is basically the first cave. And then, fun fact, the drop for that boss is a flame drake talisman that gives you fire resistance. Um, I got, Very useful. I got that flame drake resistance talisman after climbing a volcano. And I was very upset that I did that without any flame resistance. And then immediately after getting the flame drake, the, the standard one, from that starting cave, I got the plus two talisman. And then I later got the plus one. And I was like, I'm mad, I'm mad. <laughs> and I just, I just documented like, this is what I did before I went into the first fucking cave. I'm mad. Anyway. Should've gone to the cave, Barry. I should've just turned left. That's yeah. what I fucking get. 
Uh, don't be mad. <laughs> uh, th yeah, precious item ahead. Be wary of message. There are so many fucking messages in this hallway here. And then this I fucked up because I Saluvis died and I don't know why. So, couldn't do that either. You're He's authorized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, He's I was happy he died, he but then I learned I missed a bunch die. of stuff. So. Yeah, I got the plus two uh, Viridian, the one that increases your stamina. I got the plus two before the regular or the plus one, and I was mad. Um, this was weird, because I killed this boss, and then I noticed, wait, there's windows? I'm deep underground. And then there was a message pointing at them going surface, and I was like, same. Have they always had windows? And yeah, they always have had windows. Whenever it's this style of dungeon. Yes. Sometimes it's Mac OS. But uh, it's just like, oh, I thank you, Cam. <laughs> My early Caleb Godskin screenshot take it later. Thank you, Hoffax. I will. Uh, don't give up, skeleton. Classic. I This was after... Um, I forget exactly which one. One of the catacombs that just, like, loops on itself infinitely and is just a nightmare. And then I finally got to the... The, the, the lever and collapsed on the ground. Uh, rump. Always have to have one of those. Uh, be wary of right. And then the next message said, be wary of center. <laughs> and the next message said, be wary of left, all the more no rushing in ahead. And I was like, got it. Thanks. Real quick, what are those um, cathedral things called? I keep, I, I was like about to look up a locations for them because I need to find one. And I just went, I just realized I have no idea what they're called. I just keep calling them dogs. <laughs> The, the, the walking mausoleums. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I called them oh, bell turtles. There's big dogs. Um, this I, was another situation where I left a screenshot, or I, I captured my recent gameplay because I was like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, very good, Uzumaki. Call them cowbells. That's very good. Um, I need to skip ahead. Um, yeah, I just like ran through here and then I died. Because I got too greedy being close to the edge. Which is fine. That's not what I was upset about. But then when I came back, um, the, the, the zoomy things just exploded. Yeah. And I was like, what? Huh? So there's certain ways you can kill them if you get two of them to run into each other. Right. Yeah. So apparently, um... At some point, I had done, I had activated a thing that sends another one up. It's the tower mm -hmm. thing, yeah, which I think was, uh, somewhere in here. Whatever. Yeah, I, I activated a tower, um, and then that apparently, uh, further down in the bottom left creates another one that then zooms up and crashes into it. But I, like, yep. didn't even realize what I did. I was just like, what? Yeah. And then the rest can, of this is You can is kill me. almost all of them except for the uh, the lava one. Like, you know, the one lava yeah. grave? Yeah, remember you that. You can ride one of them, but most mm -hmm. of the other ones you can destroy in certain really roundabout ways. <laughs> I was extremely roundabout confused. Is... I had to look it up because I was just like, I don't fucking know. Uh, tree butthole. Something ahead. Plump sort. Eh, it cracked me up. Uh, seek hole. Yeah, I got down here before killing Morgoth and was just like, how do I get through here? And this mm. guy said seek hole because he was, um, he was doing the thing where you bow on top of a, a, a NPC dead thing and then sticking his butt in his face and I don't know. It's fine. Uh, secret friend. There's a little turtle hiding in the little corner. Um, this was another bug. We're almost through the messages. This is in Lane Dell. Yeah, you can see this is when I was trying to invade other players to get to, uh, Moog. There you go. Moog. More, more bugs. Oh boy. Uh, didn't expect hope, but why is it always sadness? So when you get to the, the round table in Lane Dell, it was sad. Could this be a dragon, but likely rat? It's probably just a big rat. Just a uh, big rat. Do you see messages of NPC corpses and chairs being only for a game head? All the time. Constantly. Every possible combination of NPC and player sticking their face <laughs> onto a part of them. Um, 
These we only have to watch if people actually really care. Uh, this is the, uh, a lot of these are just clips of me beating endgame bosses. Um, this was when I first got to Morgoth, and I was like, "Oh, you can summon Melina to help." Well, I'm just gonna die and learn his moves. But then I beat him first try, and I was proud of myself. And then in the same spot, I beat uh, Horalu without using summons, which is it's like poetry. Horalu sounds like a fucking Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Uh, it's just the cutscene. He's just mad about stuff. Yep. Did you ever get Melina's dagger? I like it. It's neat. I don't think so. I made her real mad. So, I feel like I missed out on a lot of Melina stuff. But w the fun thing was that, um, so I did the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending. Be partially because I messed up and partially because... I was curious. <laughs> um, oh, and, that's uh, how you... I realized that's how you didn't know how to get rid of the flame. Because I fucked up Millicent's quest. quest line and didn't know where mm -hmm. she went. Yeah. When I say fucked up, I don't always mean that I made a mistake. It's it. Yeah, it's not irreversible. It's just like, well, they left and I don't know where they are. Because I'm not going to check every square foot of the game. Um, I did Psycho. Way, way later... Um, I want to say it was... Hey, thanks, Lude. Um... Yeah, I was like, went for the crit, and I was like, what's happening? Oh! And this is when I summoned my lads, because I was like, wait, is this going well? This might be going well. Yeah. Um, now I fight as Horolu. Uh, forgot what I was saying, but... Yeah. Oh, I, th I think the, 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 like, fake spawned in Margit or Morgoth or whatever. I think they dropped the something you need. Because one of the things I did That's when it. I was finishing the game, right before I actually finished it, was I just looked up. After rarely looking up anything, um, I was like, okay, I'm just going to look up all the talismans I missed. I'm going to look up all the sites of grace and catacombs and just, like, loop through and do everything. So, uh, my character's name is Grenben. Ever since I first played Dark Souls 3, which is the first Dark uh, FromSoft I really got into, um, I always make my FromSoft characters a green lady named Grenben. And then I did the ring. I was proud of my- I was like, listen, it wasn't the hardest fight ever, but I was like, hey, first try. Neat. Uh, I don't know why I screenshotted this. I don't know if there was a funny number. I don't know. Um, likely death. Um... This I just screenshot it because it looked neat, I think. Yeah. Huge impact. The first boss can pull some news and he's still challenging. Mm-hmm. Plus one stamina? I think so. And I'm pretty sure when I first got to him, I saw that single dude standing by himself and like where that giant battle happened outside of Landown. I was like, I'm not gonna fight a single dude, I'm just gonna run around. And then when I went back to fight him, it's like, what? <laughs> there there's a small handful of times that they do that. Um, I think in Altus Plateau, there's like a little ruin where there's a guy huddled in a corner, and if you attack him, he gets replaced by one of those giant beasts with chains, and it's like, fucking yeah. shit. <laughs> um, this was neat. Behold head in short up, and I was like, what are you talking about? It's, th if you look on the left half of the screen, there is a giant skull face, very, very faintly visible through the fog. Uh, I had no idea that was there. Until I saw this message, I, and was like, what? I, I saw a message that said, time for head. <laughs> but I, and I looked, I was like, what do you mean? There's no, like, dead bodies here. Then I looked where it was pointing and started laughing. You're like, oh my god. Boo. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, they actually mean it's time for a head to appear, not time for a fucking bloach. Oh, if they drop the, the larval tear thing, that means that they're reborn beings? Is that why? Oh, shit, that makes sense. Could this be a gorgeous view? Yes, yeah, gorgeous. Beware of monstrosity. By the way, no monstrosity ahead. Thanks! <laughs> um, yeah, this is when I when I said hello to the three fingers. I was like, I look great. I look real good. Merchant ahead. No! Dog ahead. <laughs> Dog! Uh, visions of death, but praise the message. Yeah, this is uh, in the Volcano Manor, um, where the, the godskin whatever guy is in the church. 
uh, which you can just walk right. It's one of those boss fights where the fog gate spawns in after you walk in. But there is a fog wall in the back doors, which you can see from here. So he was pointing to the back door being like, Visions of death? And I was like, oh shit. That means there's gonna be a boss. Um, offer rump and then praise the comfort. 6,500 appraisals for, hey, look, a chair. Ah, fuck. Um, no bridge ahead. I, I don't know why, but this reminded me of Dark Souls 3, the area where, um, where Patches fucks you over by dropping the little bridge that connects things. It just kind of had like similar, like, you're up high and there's like parapets or whatever. Just remind me of that. So I was like, no bridge. I was like, ah, is that a reference? Maybe. This is the sad. <laughs> Didn't expect. This was my message that I left. I was like, I'm sad. Fucking the, the, the sisters' graves up in the mountains. Uh, praise the friend and then praise the friend. And he's petting two ghost birds. This is good. So we fight the sword pup guy. Mmm, I think so. Try ahead. Is this what you're talking about, Gam? Same similar kind of vibe. Uh, close, yeah. It was it was that sort of similar vibe. Or it's like I but it was like perfect framing of like I didn't even look that way and see that there was a a, a head there, but then mm -hmm. the message pointed at it and it was like one of those perfect moments. Yeah. We're just, just not expecting just it. Everything lines up. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is underneath one of the giant one of the giants corpses. And he's just lifting his hand up going, try fingers butthole. <laughs> it's like you can't even tell what he's doing. It's just only in the context of where you are. Um, rah! I turned myself into fire because I made Melon mad. Uh, this is when I first got to Fair Missoula and someone was doing the twirl gesture. Circling around, then circling around. Uh, yeah, oh, that's what... Huh. This, right. So this, you can see that I was still rocking what what's his face's armor where you're just like a little round guy. And then I upgraded to a different armor set. And then was like, how long have my eyes looked like that? I had no idea that, um, I noticed the burn marks on, on my body after the three fingers, but I didn't realize it makes your eyes fucking crazy. Yeah, Lionel, thank you. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, w it took me like dozens of hours until I picked a different helm and was like, what? Shit, what's going on there? Yeah, there, there's, there's three instances of eye fuckery in the game. Are there? Where are the other ones? Mm -hmm. um, one, if you take, if you eat too many dragon hearts, um, and one if you do a if you if you do the blood god and meet with Mog in the lake of blood, you get red eyes. Ooh. Huh. Kinda cool. That's neat. Do the dragon eyes or blood eyes do anything or it's just purely aesthetic? I think it's just purely aesthetic, yeah. Because the frenzy eyes don't do anything, it's just like, well, this means you're on that path. Yeah. Presumably if you cancel out the frenzy flame ending, you still have the burn marks, but your eyes go back to normal, would be my guess. They override each other. Mm -hmm. You could try. Yeah, whichever one, whichever newest one you get is what replaces. Okay. You can change them in the round table. Oh. Uh, this was fun. So this is a place where you fight a mimic tier. So this guy was naked, <laughs> telling you mimicry ahead, because as someone, as people said earlier, it mimics whatever your current loadout is. So if you're naked, it will die in like two hits and not have any weapons. So I thought that was cute. <laughs> I I love that for that fucking fight. It it should have been really hard for me because I got a blood. A blood build, but I accidentally walk it into the fight with the wrong fucking weapon out. <laughs> so it had a, a just a dinky little hammer, and I was like, "Oh shit, I should probably switch my weapon." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, "Oh wait, whoops." <laughs> also, you can tell that I already beat the boss and then came back to grab the message because I was like, "Wait, I get it now." <laughs> um, I think this clip is me just getting one shot by Astel, which I later learned is actually a one shot, no matter your build. I was just like, damn, that's bullshit. Yeah. Nope, there's just a move Astel can do. Stars of Darkness, I think specifically, not the other one. Where uh, this happens. It just spawns in a million of them, and if it grabs you, you're dead. And I was like, well, this feels bad. Yeah, it's not fun. I've never seen that, that's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can only happen in like the last 10% of its health bar or something. Um, and it does, it does, like, I watched the video where they hacked in so much health that their health bar was going like basically off the screen and it still was like, bram, just there it goes. I was like, that sucks. Yeah, speaking of uh, ghost messages doing unsavory things to corpses. <laughs> that is a, a dead body that's laying like with its legs and it's laying out over the side. And... 
Oh, that was fun. Instagram grab moves are awful. Yeah, I don't mind a grab that's punishing, but when it's like, you're dead, it's like, huh, and that still could be a tough fight with, with certain builds, I feel like. Um, Bleed. Oh, this this was I actually was watching Gam's stream when you were doing this part because I wanted to see if the same thing would happen to you and it did But you were like, I'm fine. And I was like, damn it. This jump scared me so fucking bad It's not that bad and also the volume is low. So you'll be fine But after you kill this guy and you warp back. Oh, yeah. to the start of the dungeon It puts you next to an enemy that immediately starts attacking you and it's the meanest fucking thing in the game. I Hate it <laughs> It got me, like, literally was like, ha, ah, Jesus. I think I paused because I was, like, writing notes, I, like, I, misbegotten if I warrior. Right, I think him. I turned around, saw him attacking me, and I was just like, um, sir? Yeah, yeah, you were just kind of like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Dual dagger build. Oof. Yeah. I'll bet. Hey, it's my build. Mm-hmm. What am I doing? Get in there. So after this, this is where you warp, and then it's just like, hey, by the way, hope you like Octopus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is the one I'm thinking of then. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it, it startled me, because it's like every time you warp out, you're like in a cave or like near the entrance, and there's nothing there. It's just like, okay, I beat the guy, everything's fine. I was like, fuck, Jesus. Anyway, um, why is this always range battle and short dung? Yeah, these guys were very mean. Um, oh, this was, uh, yeah, this is fun. This is the way into the Halleck tree. Um, and this uh. ant was incredibly rude to me. In a way that's entirely predictable, I'm sure. He grabbed, and he went, see you later. Oh, he just, ouch. Damn. I'm glad that never happened to me. Yep. I was like, see ya. <laughs> guess I'll guess I'll try again. Uh I wanna go home, but if only I had a key. Just found like a really nice door in the Halleck tree. Uh yeah, uh, this was pointing down the Millennius Chamber. And he just said suffering ahead. And I recognized it from watching Dan's level one attempts. I was like, yeah, yep. same. That's how <laughs> I knew I was coming close, because I was like, wait a minute, I know what the base of this place looks like. Yep. I've it's seen Dan do this enough. Mm -hmm. It's coming. When I when I realized I was like entering the tree, I was like, oh fuck, I'm not ready. And I was like, oh, we're up above. Okay, we're fine. Wait, I can see. Oh, no. it was like, <laughs> shit. Uh, this is my my successful try against Melania. Five minutes of me playing very ca cautiously. If you want to watch it, um, the round friends with the horns. Which ones are you talking about? I spent so many attempts <coughs> trying the first phase solo, and I I literally never figured out any way to not get hit by waterfowl dance. Um, Same. The only way I ever avoided it was if she targeted my summons. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna bring in my summons and hope that they survive the phase two. Because, and I rocked the night maiden and the swordstress like the entire game. It seems like the the uh, mimic tier was more popular, generally speaking. But I love these two. They have range, there's two of them. They're sturdy. They got me through a lot of shit. Yeah, You'd be meeting the long distance focused. when it starts and then book it like hell immediately. It seemed like it didn't matter what I did. If I tried to roll through it, if I tried to back away and run, if I tried to roll through it, it's just like I would always get hit by at least the first one and then a few others. It just, fuck, it sucked. The thing that annoys me is that it, it, it it's a it's an attack that's built to to like they they're demanding that you you sit there and you pay it like you can't just panic roll through it because it's like it's designed to be like okay roll roll wait one second and then roll again like mm, that's right. what like but also there's like movement in it as well so it's like if you're just like oh shit she's doing it and then you just like spam rolling like okay I've missed I've avoided the first two and then the final one hits you and you're like. That's right. You have to wait a second. Right, and I'm. I'm I hate th it. There's a lot of enemies that do that. That they'll have like the one hit, the two hit, and then the last hit is like held for an extra beat, just to punish you if you're rolling in a set rhythm. Um, mm -hmm. And they, she even does that in phase two when she's floating in the air and sends those like spirits down at you. Like they have a really weird timing to them. You have to learn. Um, the waterfowl. It's like I always got hit by the first barrage, 
and then one of the later ones. And it's like, I would learn, like, yeah, there's, like, a timing to it or whatever, but... Yeah, so, like, that was, like, easily my best phase one against her. And then I waited till phase two to drink my, my physic, which was increased strength and, um, stamina recharge. But, yeah. I was rocking that shield one the whole way through. But yeah, I, the reason that I feel like this fight is like Bloodborne is because this is the first and only fight in the game that punishes you hardcore for using a shield. Because she just gets health back. That's why I compare yeah. it to Bloodborne. It's like you need to just avoid everything and then attack. Yep. Yeah, that's And fun. she also gives you the Bloodborne Rally. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> she lets you turn the game into Bloodborne if you want. Oh. Lady Maria 2.0. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't finished the War Dead Catacombs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have fun. But yeah, I mean, also as you can see, like that first phase, she was very, very friendly. She didn't do a lot of her bullshit. It was also a quick phase one, which helps. But yeah, I, I found I found uh, the, the the most annoying thing for me was was like if I can just power through phase one, if I can just I need to be super aggressive in phase one. So that phase two, I'd have mimic at like at least half health, mm -hmm. and I would have all my magic and shit, and we could just like during that phase where she does the big flower, flower bloom, I can just I could stand on the edge of it, take a little bit of rot, and use my fucking blade thing. So in phase two, I could get it down to half health by the end of that fucking first attack, mm -hmm. just because of bleed. And so it's like if I could just keep my mimic alive, and it can take the the waterfowl dance. So it's like in the first phase, you needed I needed to keep her in short range. Mm -hmm. So it's like I need to back her up against the wall because otherwise she'll just turn around and go flying. And it's like, God damn it, mm -hmm. do what I want, Millennia, please. Yep. She does not like to behave. It's just, it's nope. it's so demoralizing to feel like you're doing really well. And then she gets the upper hand for a bit and heals up like halfway. Mm -hmm. It feels real bad. And there go my summons. And I was like, no, that the timing on that bleed was everything. <laughs> it was like... My summon died, and then I killed her. And if I had to solo her, I probably would have died again. Let me solo Yeah, her RNG was so friendly. Like, that's... I, I didn't even feel like I got that good. Like, clearly, I learned some of her timings and stuff, but... A lot of it, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? And I just collapsed. Um, anyway. Try Fingers Butthole, because it's the Fingers Butthole. I love the Fingers love the Butthole. Fingers. Uh, th this is when I finally went back and got the, the, the turtle talisman, and there was a guy blocking the door saying, Behold, friend, who was a ninja turtle, which I thought was a very good touch. <laughs> that is a good touch. He's got the albinark mask and the turtle shell. Um, precious item ahead. Uh, where? Thanks. Tree! Uh, this is me first trying a uh, godskin duo. Um... I ran around the whole area first because I was like, this looks like a boss fight. And then I even saw another player being suspended and killed. And I was like, what is this? I didn't recognize the room. I'd only seen a couple very brief, like, Twitter clips of people being mad at the Godskin duo. And then I walked and was like, oh, fuck. I only had seven healing flasks instead of, like, 12 or whatever. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um. So, uh, uh. May so one thing to mention is that I got extremely lucky. The other thing to mention is that I did this after the Halig Tree and Millennia, and I leveled up a fuck ton doing that. And a lot of Faramazula felt like it was almost too easy. And I yeah, blame being uh, slightly overleveled. Yeah, is so fucking easy compared to the Halig Tree. <laughs> yeah. I really feel like I got the short end of the stick on but that But you one. can see, like, right here, like, I take down this guy, and it, like, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I turn, this guy backs up into me, and I'm like, okay, and he's distracted. Let me just wail on him. Except I didn't realize they respawn, so... <laughs> I, I just, all I knew was that everyone hates these guys. That's all I knew. And I kind of recognized the room once they spawned in. And I was like, now, what? Did I break it? Is there a face? What's ha I was like, where? 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 Okay, there he is. Okay, weird. And then I just kind of chewed him up. It's like I don't, I don't even yeah. really know what I did, other than had very good numbers and good RNG. I didn't think they were that bad. I also fought both of these guys individually many times, so I like knew a lot of their moves already. 
Yeah, if I first it was tried the them. First time you ever saw them, I feel like it would be a, I feel like it would be a much more impactful and harder fight. But it's like by that point, I'd killed like at least five of them. And then I'm like looking <laughs> around, like, like, is there more? <laughs> is there more? Yeah, it was, it was, it was like kind of like is that it moment? Because like I was expecting it to be like the fucking um, uh, the the cave with the snails. Oh yeah, we're just like the, where it's a god skin trio essentially. Mm -hmm. What and, level was I at? Like, yeah. You'd have to check my notes. I don't know. Um, I ended every entry with my hours played and my level at the time. Uh, yeah, I know that they nerfed the Godskin duo as well. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm the best gamer ever. I'm not. I was just like, yeah. how did I manage to first try that? Um, this fight is... Oh, this this is me first trying Placidusax. It's Arthanax. not... Pla Placidusax. Ask your doctor. If Placid Axe is right for you. Um, yeah, this... I'm 100... Yeah, I'm at level 175 here. So <laughs> that should give you some context for why I'm not having that rough a time. This was a really cool fight. I almost wish I died to it so I could have seen him more. Um, Pl Placidus Axe? That maybe makes more sense. Um, Placentus Axe. Yeah. Plus he's a cool, yeah, he's like a cool guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like panicking right because um, I had half of my healing flasks, and before this, an area in Fair Missoula has you running towards a dragon that's firing lightning down at you, and as I was running up to him, I preemptively chugged my physic, because I just assumed it was going to be a dragon fight, and then he went down in like three hits, because I guess he's a dying old dragon? I don't know. I'm assuming that that's universal, and I didn't do something to make that happen. Um, and, Which uh, one? The, when you're in Fair Missoula and you're charging towards a, a dragon that's firing red lightning down on you as you're like running through a little city area and then you go to fight him and he's uh, like really low yeah, I think he's I think he's one of the ones that you fight him previously and you don't actually kill him he just flies away so he comes back at very low oh level. yeah he's in the ultra spot though isn't he yeah. maybe I, I think is that, that, I think that might be the same one the music coming on the nuka circuit yeah He's a time traveling I, dragon. I, I don't think he was in Fire Missoula for me because I think I killed him in in Altspato because he goes somewhere else in Altspato. Um. Or is it as someone else? Oh that's no, when you kill an Altus. Altus. You do kill an Altus. Yeah, because it doesn't he... help that all the dragons are like the same. <laughs> yeah, I Except missed the crit one. on that. I felt bad. I hate when you knock him to a crit and by the time you get to the head, they're really getting up. It's like no. Um. The panic. Like, where is he? He's just off. What's he doing? Is he charging me? Yeah, he's charging me. Cool. He's doing a redon. It's very well telegraphed, though. I don't think I ever got hit by it. Um, he's the Plateau and teleports to the capital, then he's just like four times in crumbling. Oh. Yeah, because I, I met is... him in Plateau, and then I got to the area where you actually fight him and kill him first, and no, nothing was there. There were messages of, like, beware a dragon. Wasn't there. Uh -huh. Later, I found him where he charges down from the sky. And um, then he disappears, and then he spawned in where you actually kind of fight him. Um, but yeah, whatever. The, the one where you where you you charge in to fight him at uh, in Fair Missoula, he was already low health for whatever reason. And so, I, but I didn't know that. So I used my physic, ran up to him, and killed him in like two swings, and was like, shit. Then came here and had half my healing flasks and no physic, and was like, oh shit, this seems like a really tough optional boss. I think I'm fucked. And I was very surprised that I that I got him. You see, at this point, I'm down to one healing flask, so I'm just like, oh boy. Lanzo's a sheep. You got Lanzo's one in Alphys. Yes. This spell I drop is kind of garbo. Well, I couldn't use any dragon shit anything, because I never leveled up Faith or Arcane. This is when I got desperate and started throwing shit, because <laughs> I was like, right, I have pots. I think before the fight, I even was like, what pots can I make that might do damage? Because the one thing nice about this is that they spawn you in, so you can just see the dragon in the distance, and they're like, okay, you can prep. They didn't immediately drop you into the fight. No. I wish I could use the dragon spells, though. They look neat. Did, I'm, I'm going to be so mad if he didn't actually do his, his fun phase on you. He has a fun face. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Oh, yeah. This this is fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Lasers. La yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot happening right now. He's got a lot of health left, and I have no flasks. And I'm like, here we go. I'm gonna hit his shin. 
I had zero confidence. I was just like, I'm just gonna see how close I can get. Because, listen, it's, it's research. The further you get into a fight, the more you can learn their moves and shit. So you can get them next time. There is something about the first attempt, though, always being really good. And then... It's, it's like... I don't know to be afraid when I first attempt a boss. So I charge in. And then it sometimes works. And then if I get stomped in the later phase, then I'm like, okay, I need to play more cautiously, right? And then I get stomped repeatedly because I'm not doing enough damage. So it's like that mm -hmm. first attempt always goes, like, pretty well. <laughs> first attempt is God tier, second attempt is death with boss at 95%. Yep. And then it just slowly worse and worse until you're getting one shot without doing any damage. And then I... And I was like, fuck! <laughs> my heart! Did I find this boss or did I look up where it was? So... I found, I, messages guided me, basically. There was a message that was like, there's a hidden path here that led to the little stair step thing that leads down. I didn't realize it was a boss. There were some messages saying dragon and pointing, but nothing was there. And I was like, oh, there's a prompt to lay down? What does this do? <laughs> and, I, and I was like, shit. Um, this was neat after uh, showing back up. My first thought when I got to the Ashen Landa was, this is the end area of Dark Souls 3, except it's bright. Just gave me those vibes, you know? Just like a sea of ash that you run around on. Mm -hmm. It takes you to a dragon. First I had to call up to help someone with a boss, you know, well, and then you get overconfident, die in a bullshit move. That's why I don't want to, like, help other players, because I'm like, if I fuck up, I'm going to feel bad, because now they have to solo a harder yeah. boss. I'm for dung. You gotta poop. Um, oh, this was... I just... I first tried Gideon. That's not very... Interesting to watch. Um, to be fair, he's not that hard. He's not. Um, I love that Although his fight is a showcase of, here's all the cool shit you could do if you use spells. Yeah. Because I imagine most people are just like, give me a big stick. And to be fair, I increasingly leaned on give my big stick. Give me a kitchen knife. Yeah. So he actually, he actually gets different spells depending on which um, remembrances you've killed. What? Mm -hmm. So he yeah. will do a Melania attack if you kill Melania before him and stuff like well, that. Well, I did kill Melania. I don't know if he did an attack. Thankfully, oh. I didn't kill Melania. He, he can turn into the flower that does the big bloom. I don't think he did that. Oh. He had a magic fight with Gideon? That's awesome. That sounds that really cool. So cool. I feel like visually that would just be very chaotic. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's doing... Oh, no, he did. Oh, shit. Huh. Yep. And, and like the blood spray, he won't do that if you haven't killed Mob. Because you share the knowledge of the people you've killed with him. Oh. Huh. If you talk to him about killing demigods, he gets their skills. So if you kill them without talking to him, he just has like basic skills. But I then you don't so. get the, like the goodies from him that I never used because I didn't use incantations. Anyway, yeah, we, we got him. He exploded, I guess. Wow, he went down quick. I guess I did bleed on him. Or I just do... Yeah, yep, yeah, I just <laughs> bleed, took out a third of his health bar. And then he died. Goodbye. Um, Ever exploded the end. Power sensing Faith great sword, so I just flatten him with the jump heavies over and over. Nice. That's a bleed. Money's the first boss in the series to actually straight up cheat. She cannot be reduced to zero HP until after she finishes the slam from the phase change. So if you somehow manage to do a crazy amount of damage in phase one... Doesn't her health recharge for phase two? I guess it doesn't. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm. I don't know how someone got a message over there. That seems difficult. Anyway, um, this was me first trying... Oh, no, no, this isn't anything. This is a message. This was just a very good bloodstain. I mentioned I, I hit a bloodstain by mistake. And was like, what? Yeah, he's excited. And there he goes. Goodbye. She just stops at 1 HP. Hmm. Gotcha. This is me first trying for a Lou. Or no. This was not a first try. Never mind. This was... Um, I could tell I was approaching the end of the game, and I was like, I've been leaning heavily on summons, which I think you're supposed to do. I don't regret it. But I was like, I feel like this is a fight I can do without any extra help. So... I did it 1v1 without summons, and I patted myself on the back, and I was like, I did it. I don't think it's a very interesting fight to watch, Look but... At you. 
I was proud of myself. Panic, panic. He's a cool fight. I do like his fight. This fucking move. <laughs> Where he jumps and then like freezes in midair. I'm like, what the fuck? It's so goofy. Ugh. I feel like the entire game is designed around the fact that you have summons. There are so many bosses that are so aggressive. And if you have a summon, it's like, well, now you have time to heal and it takes the aggro off of you. Oh, I don't know if he grabbed me in this fight, but I died several times to him grabbing me and throwing me off into space. I think in my notes I said, oh no, he's Zangief. His face too, he just turns into Zangief. Yeah, whenever that happens and you're near it, it's like, oh shit. Anyway. Hooray. Having the penultimate boss fight be a Street Fighter character is a choice. <laughs> yep. He legit just becomes a Street Fighter character. You can jump over the eruption. I only figured that out uh, by watching other people do it after I did it. I think I figured out you can jump over some of Radigan's AoEs, but I didn't figure that out for Horlo. I think I just assumed it was like the floor was like too tall as it was like cracking that it would just carry up too high. But I've got Visceral and Beast was meant to have Torrent for it. If something broke, the arena how you voice tax all means, means feels meant for Torrent. I mean, if it was a bug, it would have been patched by now, right? I... Yeah, it would have been. I don't know. I think I that... I understand that feeling, but I think a lot of that fight is meant to be, like, judging whether you... Like, a lot of, a lot of its attacks are about trying to close the distance whilst also, like, avoiding it, the, the attacks. So this I, was... I think it's meant to be not quarantined. Yeah, I... My... My idea, having struggled for quite a while against this, um, it was fewer attempts than Millennia, but still was fucking rough. Um, Rodicon's music yeah. is so good. When, when the like the title screen music played, I was like, oh fuck, it made me so hyped. Um, my feeling about this is that this is meant to make you feel exhausted. It feels like <laughs> it's designed so you beat this difficult fight against Radigan and then get to Elden Beast who is by design, you, you are not able to just run up and chip at it. It'll always fly away and be on the other side and now it's gonna be over here and it's meant to feel exhausting. Is that a good mm -hmm. choice? No, it's annoying. I don't like the Elden Beast fight very much, um, but I... it feels like that's meant to make it feel like this is this arduous ordeal you're overcoming. Um, Which I like the idea of in theory, but it has the side effect of making the Radigan fight, every, t every time I fail against the Elden Beast, it makes me hate the Radigan fight and make it makes it not fun and amazing and a great spectacle. It makes it tedious. It's mm -hmm. like, oh god, I've already proven myself against this boss. Now I have to fucking do it again so I can get to the actual boss now. It's like, now Radigan's no longer a boss. It's just a roadblock. It's a very it's frustrating like phase one mm. that I'm just trying to get through as quickly as possible to get to the real fight, which is a wall I'm yeah, trying to climb. Exactly. It, Elden Beast is not that difficult. If it was a solo fight with a wall behind it, it would not be that bad. It's just the fact no. that you have to get through Radigan first. Um, should my Radigan stay dead? Well, yeah, it's that. that's, yeah. I know, stream delay. Um, the screen of white light. Yeah, I like that everyone calls it a flashbang. <laughs> you have to go to fight Radigan again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would add or subtract anything from my video. Having beaten the game, I know I have a, a thing in the video where I'm like, you know, I, I talk about how things might change once I finish the game, but the way I talked about it, you know, it's like, if anything, I have some criticism against the, the final little stretch here, but nothing yeah. that fundamentally feels, changes how I feel about the rest of the game. Um, it's more so like, you know, I, one of the things I mentioned in the video is like the, the way the game approaches certain builds and the fact that, you know, if you're like, oh, <laughs> I, I am getting stumped by this boss because certain bosses are super punishing to certain types of play. Having only played through the game once, I can already tell you, there's some bosses that will be way easier to cheese from afar with magic uh, and incantations, and there's some that are way easier if you're up in its face hitting it with melee attacks. So if you lean really hard into one build, certain bosses will push you and pull you in different ways. But the way the game is structured, you never have a wall where it's like, in order to play more of the game, you have to beat this boss. You always have somewhere else you can go. Um, the end of the game is the exception. That's what I mentioned in the video, presumably, and I was right. Um, it would be weird if I wasn't right about that. Uh, that it's like, why well, at the end of the game, if you have a build that doesn't work against Radagon and Elden Beast, you are gonna have a fucking time. Because you either yeah. have to crazy yeah, over level, or get lucky, or just grind it out. Um, 
And, like, Radigan is a very fast fight, so if you have a really slow-moving build, that's probably really tough. Um, they're really... They they're both deal nice holy though. damage, so if your build is based around dealing, I assume they're not weak to holy damage, right? So, it's, like, stuff like that, where it's, like, that that's unfortunate, but you can respec. It just feels like that's not a great solution. But, yeah. You know what they're else also not weak against? Bleed. Bleed? I assumed, because I never made either of them bleed. I just got it's, mad because uh, uh, right. <laughs> th this this was my best attempt at the time um, in that I got through Radigan with both my summons alive and I still had nine healing flasks. So I was like, okay, I'm ready. I can actually spend some time in the Elden Ring section. And then this bullshit happened and I got very upset. I don't know, Pool. It, is, it seems deliberate for some reason. I didn't- I missed the audio cue for this. And I got vaporized. So, that is my bad. I'm not blaming the game, but I did- this Still is sucks. after I'd already fought Elden Beast and Rat- clearly I'd beaten Radigan. So I'd tried it many times, I didn't first try Radigan. Um, so I had my, uh, Halig Tree Talisman plus two, whatever that does holy. So I was like, I had increased holy defense. And it's still basically goes, psh, you're dead. Like, there's no, like, ugh. It's tough. Uh, and this is nine minutes of me fighting them, which, uh, I don't know if people care to watch or not, but what were you going to say, game? No, I was just agreeing. Oh, yeah. yeah I, 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 I do feel a little bit bitter about the fact that, like, you can go through the entire game with bleed, and then suddenly at the very end, they're just like, actually, no. Mm -hmm. no, I, I think the difference with Which bleed like is like bleed feels like a bonus because it doesn't feel like I'm doing less damage but I'm building up to bleed so it's worth it it's like whenever I make a character bleed I'm like sweet that was a bonus chunk of damage um, and especially because I wasn't a dex build <laughs> I see, you can see I, even for as much as I played ragged I was still panic rolling around that I never really got the timing down but she had a bleed build and had a nightmares time. Yeah. Feels like going to do shit compared to like, luckily, chicken wings versus you. Luckily, I had a hammer because there because there, there are a few enemies who don't bleed and and they don't and you need a blunt weapon to fight them too. So it's like I had a backup weapon, but it's like it's not. It, it, it doesn't feel nice. Like yeah, like you were saying, you can respect, but like. It, to me, it's like, it doesn't feel nice to go through this journey of, like, building my character and, and fighting everything this way to suddenly turn around and be like, I have to change everything for this one character at the very end. Yeah. It's like, it, it, it feels like, what was the point of the journey? Yeah, I, I, it almost, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm in the minority, certainly. Um, the way I feel about it is, like, Elden Ring's a tough game. I don't need the final battle to be a test of my skill. I'm already proud of myself for getting to this point, frankly. Um, I'm fine with, like, if they wanted to do the exact same thing, but Radigan's, like, just, like, I don't want to say weak to every build, but just, like, equal, like, not maybe not quite as aggressive, you know? Just, like, soften him a little bit, and then turn the Elden, Elden Beast fight into a big spectacle. Make it a gimmick fight. So, you might not necessarily first try it after being Radigan, but it's not, like, Oh my fucking god, this bullshit. Of like, I was running from these things I can't avoid, and then he started firing little rune arcs at me and he comboed me. Like, that doesn't feel good after dealing with this. Um, mm. So it's, it just, it feels like, it, and like, it just feels paced weird as well. I don't know. Yeah. It just wasn't, well, I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan. And it's not just because it was hard, it just is like, it, this doesn't feel fun like a lot of challenges in Elden Ring are, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, gear up for the fight, I'm gonna get good. It's just like, okay, back to Rat again we go. Uh, yeah. Great Mouse Detective? Is that what you... I haven't seen that movie in forever. The endgame is a bit weird. I don't hate the endgame. I mean, I, I heard a lot of complaints over the months of people being like, fuck the endgame. I was dreading it, and I really enjoyed it up until this. I didn't hate this either. I was just like, eh. It wasn't my, my favorite way for it to play out. But, again, it's like so much what I loved about the game was how open it felt. And so the end of the game is always going to force you into a funnel. 
either that mm -hmm. or it never ends. So it's like, I don't know really what else they could do. That's why my... That fucking zoom, he just went around the whole fucking area. Um, that's why it's like, I, I just kind of wish the, the battle was structured differently. I'm not saying that the idea was at all bad. It's just like, I don't know. It's rough. Radigan. Yeah, I, I think I would have been okay if, like, Radigan. keep keep Radagon as the same or whatever, and then have Elden Beast come in and be like this, you know, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 equivalent, where it's it's just kind of a pushover, but it's more of, like, a thematic, like... It's more thematic, you, yeah. You, you found the core that's unprotected now, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you know what I, I, I would have loved? If they had just done exactly the same they did with Bloodborne. <laughs> Which is, hey, if you die to the, the... If you go for the true ending with Bloodborne and you die to that boss, you don't have to fight the other dude yeah, again. That, that's also... You don't have to yeah, do that. You I can do just fight the final that. boss. I do hate multi-phase different bosses. They absolutely could have just dropped you right into Elden Beast, and then when you die to it, you're back where you fought Radigan and he's dead. Yeah, that would They could have done that. <laughs> yep. That, that would have, it's like, oh, why didn't they think of that? Because they've done that with other fucking games. Yeah. That, that's, why didn't that's, they think of that? That's why I'm like, it feels very, very deliberate that they just wanted this to feel exhausting. And it does, but that's not fun. <laughs> he just yeah. he's yeah, constantly getting away from you. It's just, I want to be pumped up. I want to, I want to leave this game going, fuck yeah, I just beat Elden Ring. Not, oh, thank God I've finally beaten Elden yeah, Ring. Thank God it's over. Yeah, thank God it's over. Oh God, the rings. Everyone kept telling me I had to jump over them, and every time I tried, I fucked it up. I just rolled through them. Yeah, I just rolled through them as well, but everyone's like, you yeah. can jump over them. And I'm like, yeah. really? It's I like, hate every this. Every time I tried, I fucked it up. I don't understand. No, not, not that one. The smaller ones that the chase other one. you. I don't understand yeah, that one I, at all. I I thought I, I I realized I was like I think they're meant to like distract you and make you panic because yeah. they don't do much damage to you. Oh, they Elden do, like, Stars. Very we small about Elden Stars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh, is that what? Is it Elden Stars? I, I believe uh, that's his bullshit spell that just tracks you and fires projectiles. Yeah. yeah. There, there's the yeah, one that I, rains I down from the sky, them. which is tough, but. It's like, as long as you're moving, sometimes they clip your heels, which feels really unfair. It's like, I'm sprinting, and some of them are hitting me, and it's like, why? Um, it's the ones that slowly chase you, that it's just like, I'm just getting hit by all these. I don't know. I don't know yeah, how to like, avoid Yeah, summons these. a big orb, and, like, the orb floats around the arena, and it yep. spews out smaller little tiny orbs. I just, I just get, whenever that happened, I would just, like, stop, pretend it isn't there, keep an extra eye on my health bar and just like go there for it. There it is. Like, yep. just, if Passive. I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, so I'm immediately just like, okay, I'll run. And it's like, some of them are despawning before they hit me. Hey, Dan, and quick it, question. It's How just like, fuck did you do that in level one? So I literally saved my physics just for when he cast Elden Stars, because there is a, also, there's a the physics walls. in the uh, frost giant area where when you mm -hmm. drink it, you have like 15 seconds where, uh, damage will heal you oh and i so as soon as i saw him cast ellen stars i drank it and then he just kept wailing on jesus that's a good idea meanwhile mdh yep. is saying that elden stars is so impossible to dodge that hitless runner's only option is to quit out of the game and restart the fight yeah yeah you, you just hell. can't dodge it it's, it's just jesus it's just there um i i've do i dove in a bit into the lore since beating the game because, for example, when when I beat Radigan and this shit popped up, I was like, what is this? Yeah, this. When you're, like, getting clipped by your... And it's like, what the... What did I do wrong? <laughs> I was running. Um, I was like, is there some big conversation that I skipped over? Because I don't know what I'm fighting. I don't know what this is. It's called Elden Beast. It's in the heart of the, the air tree, so I can assume it's important. But... The Elden Beast. It was yeah. only, like, after I beat it and was looking up stuff online. I was like, oh, okay. Also, like, the remembrance kind of explains what it is a bit more. Um, but yeah, I've, I've watched some some videos since beating it that I avoided while I was still playing it. It is neat. I do like a lot of the, the lore and world building. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. Yeah, aliens. <laughs> they did it. Aliens, did metaphysical it. concepts. Same difference. Yeah. I did not. Josh. Um so I met the gold mask and he was hanging yeah, that's out. That's the worst quest. Um and I never knew what to do with him. He was just standing there hanging out. Um 
and I never met up with uh, Corwin after he left Roundtable. I didn't know where he went, so I never progressed that at all. Yeah, I saw that, and it was just like, be become the Lord of Frenzy and Flame. And I was like, uh, maybe, maybe I'll run around first. And then I saw that there was a grace, and I was like, okay, let me uh, do that first. Anyway, and then I became a big eyeball. The end. I'm that, sorry, you what? I became a big okay. eyeball. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that ending. Oh, yeah, you become an eyeball. It's a good one. Oh, sour and eat your heart out. It's just Bloodborne 2 wearing a high fantasy trench coat. Yeah, maybe a bit. It yeah, a little bit. Well, that's yeah. the other thing is, is apparently there are some ways you can get the Frenzied Flame ending, but if you do it after Mountaintop of the Giants, then Melina's dead. So I got to see her fucking eye and she's mad at me. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. Uh, and then this was my final build in the end, which is also in the dock. If you wanted to, oops, if you wanted to judge me for my decisions. So anyway, wow, that took way longer than I thought it would. Hey, Dan, do you want to play some Elden Ring? Oh, yeah, hey, you want to play some Elden Ring? <laughs> oh, Dan's already for finished. Literally, like an hour and a half, I was running around just collecting flowers for the, the summon thing, and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to stand still and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're um, good. I'm just going to roll a new character and roll right into it. Um, Hell yeah. Uh, who? No shields. Come on. So, no so Wretch? Yeah, Wretch, no shields. Oh, see, I actually picked a character this time, actually, because I I wanted clothes. You don't Dan, get clothes for a long a time if you don't pick red. You, you you can pick whoever you want, Dan. Oh, okay, thank you. Chat wants me to be a wretch. Barry's not though. Cam, do I have to be a wretch? Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to be a wretch. Okay. Be red. Hi, Lex. Thank you. Uh, let's be old. Let's be, um. That's fine. Do you, do, you, do you want to get the sound that I have? Yes. Um, hang on. Let me let me check my stats because I think you have to be a. You can you can sample through and you'll hear a, it. You'll you'll hear it. Yeah, I think it's type B uh, character. I think I, I want to say I, I mature. I accidentally voice made too. my character a woman. Mhm. Mm and then yeah, I think it's voice mature. Hang on. Look, how do I figure it out? I think it's mature Status? too. I don't know. I don't know if you can. Uh, you might have to go to. Oh the wait! Round table. If I go back to the round table, I can change everything, so I should be able to tell you exactly which. Wait, one was that it? I think yeah, that was. I, it. I think it's mature it. voice too. Yeah, I think it's mature voice too. Yeah, I'll double check for you. I'm at the round table now. Yep. <laughs> Yoda death scream. Yep. Uh, uh. Let me just fuck with the face real quick. Um. Uh, yeah, mature voice too. Yeah, you got it. One. <laughs> Parent age, 255. That's good. That's pretty good. I want to. I want to. I want them to look like they've eaten every lime. Um. <laughs> just real quick, we're just gonna. Yeah, yeah. Bro, are you gonna cause a fucking overflow on your birthday? I on my birthday. It's my birthday. 255. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna overflow it. Every lime. Every. That's why it's called Lime Grave. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna scrumph up their face as much as is possible. Um. Yeah, down. Down is good for a protrusion. Concave. Nose bridge height. Low. Bridge. No. All max sliders, right? That's the way of it. Oh god. Okay. Yep. There you go. Brow ridge. Inner. Oh. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Their eyebrows have <laughs> they've got like a visor. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Yep. So my biggest complaint about the Demon Souls remake by Blue Point is that they don't let you do this. They don't let you. They don't let you have fun. <laughs> No middle sliders, that's it. Thank you. Uh, that's all fine. Ice spacing, narrow. Remember, you, you, you get when you eat a lime, you're like, mm, mm. A bit puckered. There you go. Short. Nose position down. Nose tip low, nose protrusion. Yep. Can't have frenzy if you don't have eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's not wearing a helmet. 
Make him a blunt. You got Guybrush three put. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't wow. know you could do that. Um, nostrils. Let's go up. Small. Oh, there it goes. See you later. It's like when you're making a me and you shrink their nose down all the way. It's just like Qui Gon Jin. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's more Ada Lime. Yep. And your face just kind of collapses in on itself. When you when this is what happens if you don't hydrate, chat. Purse the lips. Purse them. Lips fullness. Absolutely not full. Small. Hi, Turgid. Oh, that, yeah, there it is. Hi, that's a lot of gifted subs. How you doing? Welcome. Holy Welcome. hell. Welcome. Well. Oh. Welcome. What? Oh. <laughs> His mouth has officially clipped through itself and is sticking out the other side. Look at that. Yours doesn't? <laughs> He's got a little proboscis now. Or she does. Mouth, chin distance. Whoa. Oh, lime eating Larry. Pretty sure call. this character transcends gender bear. It's true. <laughs> uh, chin length short, chin protrusion small, chin depth slight. Oh, well, never, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's more lime. That is, yep. Bar Elden Ring face just now. <laughs> Almost there. This is the most important part of starting a. Yep. Boy, mm, limes, huh? Mmm, yep. Holy shit. He was a humble lime farmer until the Elden Ring shattered. <laughs> and suddenly, he's Rise. thrust into a world. Tarnished. Ye lime stricken. <laughs> Ye lime Ye brow farmer. visored. Ye razor of lime. Just like that little bit. Hold on, I, I gotta get rid of his hair. Their hair. Um, Just so we can enjoy the full, the full might of uh that brow holy shit look at that that's just neat that's just neat god damn all right well um mm, beautiful locks of hair done maximum luster very shiny hair thank you sparse you know what actually no abundant hey yeah yeah that feels good We'll blend in in the mountaintops of the giants. Um, okay. Uh, no beard. Gotta, gotta admire that. That lime. A bandage oh, over no, the eyes. Oh, like his wife left him. <gasps> uh, eyeliner? Would you even know? Oh, huh. oh, you know what? That is nice. I do like that little, that little wing poking out there. <laughs> That's pleasant. <laughs> uh, okay. And... Eyeliner on point. Uh, uh, nah. I'm thinking nah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't know what to do. <laughs> it's like trying to uh. wrap a weird Christmas present <laughs> and you don't know. It's like misshapen. Uh huh. You're like, it's, uh, a, it's an odd shape. Bicycle. Yeah. Fuck. Whoa. I kind of have to. I think I kind of have to. Um, all right. It's Targaryen grandfather. Yep. No, not similar face. This is perfect. Zero notes. Okay. Um, body's fine. Uh, their name. What is their name? Um, Scrim. Limegrave. Limegrave's not bad. I, I, lime grave. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. Lime grave. I don't know if I'm gonna get better than that. No, you know. All right. Lime grave. Let's go. Uh, ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 ba. I redeemed the poll. What was it? For the name? Picture? I'm on it. Uh, what voice do they have? Hyper high pitched or deeper than the depths of depravity? Which guy brush would we resort to for the secret? Tell a story. I'm gonna tell you right now, one of those is not going to fit within the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to shorten it. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and shorten that a little bit. Hang on. Oh, rise. 
Wow. Sweet. Only two and a half hours into the game, we're starting up. Nice. We look fucking good. We look fucking good. <laughs> Jesus. I think our eyebrows are clipping through the bandage. Amazing. Damn. Um, I, I had to tuck out like... I, I had to... I couldn't even put in some of it. I just had to change it to Deepy McDeep. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be graphic slant? No, I'm gonna go for the speedrunner strat with this one. I love that that man that started out. This game starts out so well because that bridge, so many MGS3 references already. Mm -hmm. I'm a speedrunner. You gonna beat him first try? Yep. Wow, you didn't even try, coward. I tried. I'm I, coming, I, my limes. I I, fe I missed. I missed rolled. Uh, Lou Line, thanks for bits. How's the LD Skeldy? It's going. Oh shit. Family Guy death pose. My Penguin. Names. Thanks for three months. Oh my goodness, three months have been super good. It's been good. Super glad I've gotten to catch your streams. You're a real inspiration to me. Keep doing the things you do. Thank you. That's very kind. Martharos, thanks for 11 months. This game looks like Dark Souls. Always has been. Sue, thanks for 49 months. Just took a break from playing Wander Song. Fun experiencing myself after watching you stream it. I hope you like it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Curls McGee, thanks for 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Quality content. Allison DePaz, nine months. Let's go. I have faith in you. We're going faith. Faith build. Thank you. Uh, enjoy yeah, your ruby key. Faith in the limes. Faith in the limes. Don't Maximum worry, faith. Torrent. Um, Hoflax, thanks for no five stuff. gifted subs. To Cat Cat, Uber Dan, Leet, Mevzar, Lazcav, and Corable. Thank you. Um... Turgenave, thanks for 55 months. I'm conflicted with this game. I loved it. I basically stopped having fun fighting anything after heading to the land of the fire giants. One of her the mountaintops are rough. Sure to see I, 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 yeah. it's not my favorite area. No, my, my least favorite area is um anywhere with lots of fog. Even if it does fire, That's my least favorite area is everywhere yeah, with lots of I fog. I got real angry in the consecrated snow area. Yeah, I, uh, I don't enjoy it. Um, I didn't struggle that bad with the fire giant. I understand why people did. Um, I think I beat him like second or third try, but I mean, he's a group what, passer me? with chat. I don't know. What well, I don't know what I makes, didn't. huh? What then? What did you say? Are we gonna use <laughs> a group password with chat? Was oh, I was reading yes. from chat. Yes, sorry. I, I thought you, you, I heard Dan and I was like, what? I mean, I might have Dan. I'm playing on PS5. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, whatever playing. makes sense. It's only gonna just be for today. Um, so if you want, we can just hop on board, uh, Dan's community password, or we can make a new one. Oh, yeah, I don't have one set for this character, so. Oh, shit. Well, Whatever works. Uh, we could just make it Lime Grave. Lime Grave. All one word. Oh. Yeah, one word, lowercase. We'll put it in. Do you guys want me to join in? Yeah, get yeah. in there. Uh, multiplayer oh, password, it, right? You can't, it's not, it's too long. It? So, what? Lime Grave. Oh, Lime Grav. What about Lime Rune? Or Lime Ring? Lime, lime Ring. I like Lime Ring. Lime Ring. That seems bad. <laughs> I don't like that. Lime Ring. Okay. Lime, lime Ring. <laughs> lime Ring. The Limmering. Group Pastor, not multiplayer. Sorry. So, group, not multi. Oh. That's for other players. Well, okay, both, I guess. Lime ring for this one. Yeah, I didn't really mess with these. I, I, I set my group password to Bazinga, which was Dan's community password. Um, and it came up a lot. I saw a lot of people using it. And also, I got a prompt in my game when uh, Dan beat the game for the first time. That's awesome. A thing popped up that was like, someone has become the Elden Lord. And I was like... Was that Dan? And I think I opened up Dan's stream and saw credits and was like, oh shit, that was Dan. <laughs> That's cool. I got a tarnished furled finger. You sure did. We look fucking good. Uh, Turgenave, thanks for 20 gifted subs to Ian Bash, Nompi, Clevis, Edgar Ware, Ryan Z456, the CIA gentleman. Count Fraz, Light Up Vulture, Meatloaf McGee, 
uh, Just Julian, Hessek, Captain Zebra, Peter325, Rat the Talus, Arco Holly, Eeyore Joe, Sheem, or Sham1835, Keyhup, Sea Salt, and Conquer677. Thank you. That's a lot. He interrupted tutorial pop ups. I might do that. Turn himself in the line, fighting thing I've ever seen. It's me. I'm Milan. Time to kill Vare, is that what you said? No. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, tutorial's off. I know what I'm doing. No. Oh, come to the left. Course you oh I see your limeless. Yeah, I ate them all. Too many limes. So, what should we do, Dan? So, should first I you need to be able to make the, 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 the finger remedies, yeah? Yeah, I don't even have crafting, so let me hit up the church. Yeah, so you gotta get crafting, and then it, two gold flowers is what you need to craft them. Easy. So just, just find at least two. And I, I, I picked up extra so I can dump some when we actually summon. Cool. Just be the tree sentinel. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, why aren't you fighting him, Barry? Listen, do you want to be here all day? Or no, no we're doing it first try. Yeah. Uh, give me this. Dan could do it. Give me, well, how much does it cost? Uh, I think it's like 300. Damn. Yeah, just fight the tree sentinel. You'll get enough. Uh, you can kill just like a few guys walking around. And yeah, 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 it's quick. fine. Goodbye for now. Seamless co-op mod spoiled me. I almost forgot how real multiplayer is supposed to work. I wish I had this game on PC so I could do yeah. the seamless mod because... Seems real nice. Eventually. Yep. Someday I would love to do it. Hello. I would be terrified if I saw this running up at me. Eh. <laughs> eh. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Why do I smell limes? It's delicious. It's got the key lime disease. <laughs> Prack. Uh, you there? They're in a campaign against scurvy. Is the early flowers right? That's what. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, you need two. Surprise! What happens if you crit hit with the club? Oh, you just. just I'm used to them. stabbing people. Just... It is really. That's kind of unsatisfying as an animation. Just kind of. Just kind of bonk them. Just a little bit of a. Mhm. Mm just. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Raven. Ugh. Oh, a little crunchy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Give me the bunk. Give me the bunk. You on the bunk? <laughs> <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> shit. It's Hitman all over again. It is. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you for that. Soup. Uh, Ram. This is why Elaine's anti-scurvy campaign was so important. This message brought to you by the Iguana Health and Safety Board. Thank you, Rain. Phantom Gwen. Thank you for 50 months. Can I have a lime? Uh, fresh out. That's why we're here. We're looking for limes. Lime, Crafting kit. Goodbye. Uh, and now, yep, we can make them. Cool. I'll make another one. So where do you want to be? Should I get uh, 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 Melina first, Dan? Uh, actually, yeah, do, do that so you can just have leveling as an option. <laughs> I don't have to force you to watch me sing at a oh, side of grace. You know, it'd be silly if you went like four hours or something without leveling. How could you even do that? Because isn't it just like... the way it's easy I... when you start the game in Kaelid. <laughs> well... But there's sights of grace in Kaled, I guess. Well, it was the I didn't know you could fast travel. <laughs> yeah, that's. Did you? I didn't know you could fast travel. I didn't have a horse. I couldn't level, and I was in Kaled. Your experience is not unique. I've heard a lot of people saying mm -hmm. things similar to that, which is hilarious to me. It sounds miserable, <laughs> and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. But as someone fun. who didn't deal with that, it's hilarious. I, I was very proud of my chat. No one, no one, no one yelled at me, and I was like, 
Hey, as soon as I realized, I was like, I could do this all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, my, my flasks are, um, are Sprite, cans of Sprite. I got the, the lemon flask and the lime flask. <laughs> for, for really good FP. Mm, that's some good chat non-back seating. Yeah, well. that's that's impressive. I feel like I anyone am. would click on the stream and be like, why isn't he uh, fast traveling? What's up with that? Why okay, is maybe one sprite and one squirt? Fast traveling. I fast traveled easily. There she is. Lime grave. I need to refill my water, actually. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Yeah, you can watch a cutscene. <laughs> Be right back. Just like in the game, I have to <laughs> refill my Estus in real life, chat. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> I'll be with you. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I did I did technically in one of my playthroughs just never figured out how to level. So I guess that's that is fair. It's really obscure how to find this character. I offer you an accord. Who's this? I never found them in my uh, playthrough. Uh, I don't I don't know. I think oh. I think it's Have you heard <laughs> I'm back. I think she I think she calls herself Rena, but it's not actually. Hey, sir, but you, I can <laughs> Tommy Ronnie. To <laughs> no, Rena, totally different character. Different character. Totally different character. <laughs> yeah, Rena, Ronnie, oh. uh, dude, completely different. I Rana, about. Ronnie, Radigan, Renala, uh, R uh, R R Raggy. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at that. Good. Thank you. <laughs> we got to talk to our creative director. What are we? What are Ringo. We call right. Guys? Ringo. Ronnie. Renala. Renala. Rykard. Rykard. Are you sure you're our creative director? Are you are you Scooby Doo in a suit? I, no. Does anyone else know our creative director Scooby Doo? <laughs> Is it just me? Okay. No. Yeah. What are we gonna call the, the, the funny guy? R Radigan. Uh. <laughs> Bravo Radigan. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm at the uh the what you call it the gate front, Grace. Okay. <laughs> so I will. So I'm gonna put down. My my finger. <laughs> okay, put that finger and I'll, I'll eat a finger. Or I'll eat I'll eat and the then, remedy. And then you then you eat the the remedy. I'll eat I a remedy. I believe that's finger. that's all we gotta do. I, I, I yep. Oh. I think yep. Oh. Uh, let her solo me. Is that your that's name? That's me. <laughs> uh, uh. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. <laughs> I was like, I gotta think of a fun name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? I saw your character. Oh, <laughs> shit. You can just run and get killed by the giant. Um, I need clothes. No, you don't. So the fun thing about starting as wretch is you don't get clothes for a hot minute. We could, where, where, where can we get some clothes? I just figured we could kill these guys and maybe they'll drop some hats and stuff. I mean, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Which boss was my favorite and why? I, that's a good question. Um. I'm tempted to say Radon. I still love that, that fight so if much. If I didn't suffer so much with Radon's fight, that, that, it, it took me a bit to do. I feel like all my fair fights are ones where I'm like, that was cool and a bit of a challenge, but then I got him in the end. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was Radon for me. Radon took me a sec. Plus also like the, the fucking, like, the, 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 the power of just like summoning all these dudes and everyone running in. And it's like, oh my God, I know most of these people. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so, they're so cool. I've met them. Question, in that fight, did you summon Patches? I hadn't met no, Patches No, I had already yet. killed Patches, but I had learned about it. It's so fucking funny. He just fucking nopes immediately. Yep. I love it. Yeah. No, I didn't know that Patches was in the him. game. I, I'd heard people talking about him, but I didn't know if it was real or not. Um, yeah, I had to tell you where he was. And it was a cave I missed pretty early on. Ooh, okay. It was it was so funny because they set up... Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but the gate guy in... Stormvale? Or, or, Ghost or, or, or. Yeah, Ghost Go I was like, oh, this is this is the uh the fucking 
patches for this game because he because he yeah. trolls you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cool, that's it. And then I ran into him and I'm like, it's fucking patches. <laughs> it's fucking patches. <laughs> it's fucking patches. I that was <sighs> one of the first things I looked up online when I was like, I'm not gonna look up anything online. I'm not gonna summon in other players. Like this is gonna be my experience through the game. Um, I was like, why am I losing runes when I die? Is this a bug? And I looked it up I and they're like, hey, remember that guy? And and Bath was actually watching when I was playing that. And when I first met Gastok, Bath was like, kill him. And I was like, no. And Bath's like, he's hideous. I'm like, that's every NPC in FromSoft. The ugliest ones are the nicest ones. Yeah, and he true. wasn't ugly. He was clean. Yeah. Wearing white robe. I didn't trust uh, the minute, Bleed like, white robe. After, after that cutscene where he locks you in the door. I killed the knight and then just went back to the gate and killed him. And everyone was like, why the fuck did you do that? And I'm like, because he fucking betrayed me. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, suddenly I'm the bad guy. Should we go oh, say I'm a... the bad guy. No, I don't. Should we say I had a Bach? Actually, I could probably, oh, do, yeah, yeah, I could probably do a couple let's... levels real quick. Hold on. One of those There's, dudes what, had golden eyes, which is pretty do? sweet. Can, can, can you sleep the rest of this? Uh, the... Cool. Cool. <laughs> So, uh, that seamless so mod, huh? That seamless uh, mod. Bach is over at this tree, I think. If only you guys were on oh, we going? Oh, yeah, we're doing Bach. We're doing Bach. Let me just say hi to him. I danced the leave for me to level. I can't go to the Grace mm -hmm. if you're watching. Almost got him, dude. Got him. <laughs> uh, he's over this way. There he is. He's a sheep. Don't you dare hurt him. Get him. Stop pretending you can't see me. Eh. Precious boy, Bok. Oh, why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm oh, I can't, ugly, I can't summon I? him. Sounds like a voice from Fable. It does feel like it doesn't belong in this game. A lot of Lovecraft inspirations. Absolutely. There's a lot of, like, unknowable cosmic beings in these. <laughs> What'd you go and do that for? Hello. Mm -hmm. There he is. Anyway. There's our boy. I'll, go, I'll give him a healing thing. He could be a good, nice and cool. Ooh. I'll give him a healing club. Nom 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 You fucking name. <laughs> so mad about it. <laughs> I, lo I love that it says above it, Feld Finger, so it says, mm -hmm. Feld Finger, let me solo her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he gave me a mushroom! <laughs> Huge. Run. Why is it always mushroom? Why is it always mushroom? It always mushroom? What the hell happened to Bach anyway? He, this, he's just, he was kicked out of his club. <sighs> he was he kicked liked out of his club for being too yep. good. He was a good lad, and then he died for it. Um, no, he didn't die. He lived no happily ever him. after. So I guess a little after in the ashes of Lando. I guess it makes sense for us to run around for a minute until I have equipment. Mm-hmm. And then I need to like kick you out and then level up and stuff. No, we gotta go we gotta go kill the tree sentinel. Okay, yeah. He <laughs> might he might two shot me, so this is gonna be a... be fun. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah a little bit. Gam said I have to be a wretch and also, earlier said I can't use shields, so <laughs> we'll, s we'll see how that goes. Cause, cause fuck you, shield boy. Shields got me through this game, all right? And I don't care. Yeah, exactly. There's no wrong way what? to play this game. Fuck you. The There's wrong no way to play way. the game is to tell other people how to play it. Oh, actually, no, 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 the wrong way to play is here. shields. What's up? Oh. You, you pooped. Can you pick it up? Pick it's... up my poop? Yeah. Oh, 20 flowers! Hey. Your digestion I was running around is, while we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Your digestion is impressive. I'm gonna steal these skulls as I see them. Get them! It took me the a nice long time. The nice thing is, hmm. even, even though this isn't, you know, no uh, seamless mod, it is still so much nicer from a... Uh, Normal uh, Dark Souls 
co-op because mm -hmm. I can actually pick up like useful items. Yeah. And and actually get crafting materials and it was actually get item drops. When the day the game came out, Dan and I hopped online together just to be like, how does it work? I don't plan to do it till after I beat the game. But how does it work? And we were like, what? You can just like like things drop for both players and Yeah. And you can trade stuff and it, like a lot of things just work the way you would hope they would. Except for the seamless stuff. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, compared to other FromSoft games, it is extremely nice and friendly. But compared to the seamless mod, it's like, oh. Yeah. It is, is very much, we could have had. <laughs> it is very much like, you are in this separate multiplayer mode and you can't just do whatever you want. Yeah. Got him. These guys Got do him. not drop stuff, huh? No, I think they can drop clothes. I think it's just a rare drop. Mm. Well, we'll just be naked for a bit. I see where you're going. We're gonna get the the tree sentinel. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get. I have two healing flasks. We got them. Let's go. I got two as well. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yo, rain mounts. Hey. And Zorbok. I'm dead. <laughs> I got him. He's on the ropes. Good news is I left my runes in a very easily accessible location. Next to the tree sentinel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, next to the tree sentinel. <laughs> he, uh, he hit me like without even realizing he hit me. And it just one shot me. He's like, oh, what was that? Going for Dan. Was there something behind me? Oh, I see your <laughs> ashes. Was that the wind? <laughs> this way oh. Tarnished. Hey, look. It's Ran Raniala. That pointing. Who could this mystery figure be? A pleasure I am the word. I did tell and upon look at yep. the walk up mm -hmm. the Yep. And then what happened? I can call it. I wasn't sure I tolerance. Except you can't call the wolf in multiplayer, because that would be too fun. I doubt we how long will before the tar Mm-hmm. Oh no fun. She's gone. Let me let me grab my shit and level up and then I'll grab yeah, you somewhere. That. I'll, I'll throw my uh, sign by Vari or whatever his name is. Oh, okay. Right at the beginning there. Ah, mm. fuck. This is fine. There can't be two torrents. That's not lore friendly. Yep. Stop screaming. And go. I love that they added, like, legit stealth mechanics to this game. Mm. Being able to crouch... Great. Being able to crouch run and being silent doing so is, like... So nice! Can't tell you how many times playing, like, Dark Souls. I'd be like, I'm trying to tiptoe, and then a guy turns around right as I get to him. It just becomes a lot more reliable in this game. Uh... Sticky. I want some health, please. <laughs> Until I get armor, I'm just going to exclusively level up Vigor. So maybe I can survive another hit. All right. Oh, you're not wearing any armor. No. Um, I'm just going to... Well, I don't need that many. All right. Uh, I'm just putting down... I'm using my finger remedy. Yeah. A torrent and a torrent via a torrent. Oh. Let me solo her. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> crack and fall. Thanks for 57 months. Is it just me or does the wretch class seem like it should have constant vomiting involved somehow? No, they're fine. That's good. They're fine. I'm doing good. I'm good. Also, here, I, her solo I, I realized meet, I have uh, some stuff in my inventory just while I've been running around. Oh, yeah? I can, I can leave that and I can leave. You just pooped an egg. Oh, what? You could, I forgot you could just give me armor. Okay, there shit. All that's, right. all, that's all the bonus stuff I Th have. That's <laughs> already huge. <laughs> that is such a massive <laughs> upgrade. All right, let's get two shot. Let's go. Wow, you're going to cover up that beautiful face? Only temporarily. Solo her, comma, let me. Where am I going? I just went off in the wrong direction. All right.
Ugh. Probably should have seen if my weapons that I picked up were better than this. They probably are. Uh-oh. Big stick. Big stick go. Ooh, ah, uh -uh. Ooh, that smarts. Hello. Yeah, he do, he do smart. Ugh. No. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just gonna... Eat that one real quick. Nope. No. I miss having a shield game. <laughs> I'm That's able to, too bad, Bear. I'm able to play a lot more aggressively. You need to learn how to, you need to, how to play, play like a man. <laughs> I don't want to play like a man. I want to play to win. <laughs> Shit. You could use the shield if you want, Barry. If I find but one. If you, if, you, if you defeat him with just the club, I will be impressed. I mean, it's not just the club, it's also with Dan. Yeah, but. Let's Some be honest, say most I'm of the fight up. isn't about trying to kill him. That's what Dan thinks. Uh oh. Most of this fight is you trying not to die. I am going to die. <laughs> Good news. Yeah, that's the real I should have allocated my flasks. I'm not using skills right now. Well. Eh. I just realized this is one of the only bosses shot. where the horse doesn't have individual health. Uh, I think all the tree sentinels are like that. Yeah, all the all the tree samples, but like the Does he not like have a dark, critical dark hit? I don't think he does. Think That's he just weird. Died. Doesn't he? Most of the horse people I don't think have. I'm dead. Have... I'm gonna allocate my flask. <laughs> Did you just okay. run in and die? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be part of it. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> Even if you parry him, you can't crit hit. Huh! The draconic three sentinels do. Oh. Whoa. Uh, the uh, flasks, allocate, oh, one extra healing flask. That might be the difference, though. It could oh. be. Who could it be now? Who could it be? Put them the ground. Yeah, when they get knocked off their horse, and then you can, you can poke them. Um, Who can it be eating limes off my trees? Pa, pa, pa. Go away. Oh, I should be double-handing it. See. Oops. Yeah, double hand your, your club. I f constantly forgot that two handing was a thing until I would either do it by mistake or want to equip my crossbow with both hands so I could zoom yeah. in. Same. Crossbow all the way. You can block with this. How good's the blocking? Probably really, really bad. 41%. Better than nothing. Let's take a look. Oh, I can't use these. Or, so if it has the X, it means I can equip it, I just can't use the skill. If I don't have the stats needed, hey Scaredy. Hey Dan. Hey. If I don't have the stats to equip something, what does that mean? It means it probably does poo poo. It just like doesn't do damage and stuff. Poop. Yeah. Typic typically, yeah. There's some weapons like still actually put out good damage, but usually if it's an X, it's not worth it. Gotcha. Um. Are intentional invasions welcome or not welcome? Uh, I I would say because I'm not even wearing pants. If you want to come in with an endgame character and stomp us, I'll be mad. <laughs> well, to see now, the only have rule to, of invasion you have to be a you have to have just yeah. started. The day. Oh, you can't like okay. They have they have a, limp, a level threshold. They have to be well. Then anyone who yeah. just made a new character could could mm -hmm. invade. Uh, so. That's that's the one rule. Yeah. Woo! Sir. Eh. Also, you can't inflict any status there. You may be able to wield with two hands. Got it. So. No fucking belief. Might have been worth it for me to switch that great sword. It's fine. Yeah. Inva yeah, invade to just cheer them on with the bus. <laughs> like, stand on the sidelines <laughs> ominously. Just like four Damn it. people invading, just standing on top of the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, dude. Dan's doing pretty good. Yeah, I think like he's I got said, it. Like I said, 
This I, I can get This isn't it. about you trying to kill him, Barry. It's about you trying to stay alive. We, we, are, we can fight it. We can fight a different first boss if you'd like. Uh. We go in a cave. We can go in the cave that you're supposed to go in. The the cave that I didn't do until much much later. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, sure. Fuck. You wanna do that? Yeah. I so I think I think we'll need to run. Actually, into that cave before we can summon. I think is how it works. Oh, so I can like summon you from inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to activate it, don't you? Percent loss of damage you would, you can still use it. Gotcha. Because I think I think those walls where like torrent can't go, I think those count as fog walls. I could be wrong. I'm just gonna but... run in there. It's basically right here anyway. <laughs> it's got a red X on it now. Uh, just right to be uh, in my, one of my favorite running jokes from when we did Bloodborne. <laughs> We're just like, oh, oh, you go ahead, Barry. We're just oh, gonna yeah. admire mm -hmm. the architecture over oh, here. There's something weird over here, yeah. We're, we're oh, just this is an amazing this archway. Every five minutes going through that game. <laughs> oh, good time. Dog. Cave is blocked while multiplayer is running because why would you want to be able to enter a dungeon with friends? Right? Why would you? Can't imagine wanting to do that. How much the two and this? Couple points in strength? Yeah, probably. We'll just run through here and then I can probably do it. Okay. Do I have to activate right. the, the summoning thing too? I don't know. I'm just gonna use my remedy. The summoning thing just use, use the allows remedy. randos to, to, to come There in. you are. I, like I it don't. Allows you to see random summoning. I signs. don't fully understand how the summoning pools worked because I never used them. I never wanted to summon in other people. Um, yeah. My understanding is that like if you use the little effigy, it just puts a summoning sign at the nearest pool. But then it's like, why not just put down a normal sign there anyway? Like I don't know. Where, I don't really get it. I guess. Here, I'm gonna leave more stuff for you. Two inning is fifty. Oh. <gasps> more flowers. Yay. Thank you. Um, yeah, what is it? So, how would it... So it says strength 16. Does that actually change if I... If I back to... Two hand it. Just regular one hand it. Um, it just says 16. Yeah. So you... If, if you if you two hand it, though, you get a bonus. Like, you can... Oh. You can, you can wield, like, up to one point... Two five year stat or whatever something like that. Okay. But Dex, you have to meet the requirement for Dex. Gotcha. You get around that by two honey. Yeah, well, let's run around a dark cave and kill some wolves. Let's do it. The intent of the pool is to have a dedicated place for people to go if they need help, rather than counting on finding where people put signs. Mm. Just diving the fuck in there. All right. Get him. Ah. No. Shit. No, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You look Doing okay. Doing good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. These folks were just minding their business. They sure were. And now they're dead. Add it to the wiki. <laughs> don't, don't. Add it to the wiki of dogs that Barry's killed. Uh, they're not dogs, they're wolves. Get with the program. Wild dogs. Big dogs. Skinny dogs. Let there be head. Let there be head. Ancient dogs. Old and old dogs. What? Why am I doing it? I. I keep doing this by mistake. <laughs> uh, no hidden path ahead. Praise the message. Nine 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 appraisals. Uh. I'm pretty sure you can turn off uh, motion. Yeah, I just turned that. Uh, emote. Stomach. Yeah, all these this guy's parts were labeled when I came in here. It was like head, like leg. out of stamina. Stomach. Lover he, he, head. He 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 he. Boy, it's dark. I want to get a torch. So how does we this do work? Need, do you need a torch? Can, can you go in? And then I'm you just can follow. Check out this cool rock over here. <laughs> well, that's a cool. Damn. Yeah. That. As soon as you start, it'll be like. The critical battle is now active. No. Oh my god, Beast Man of Fair Missoula! I remember when I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, right. What could it be? Eh. Does he like fire? Boy, I killed this guy in literally what four hits fire? before. What's he doing so far away from Fair Missoula, huh? How do you
he get here? He just jump up. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. 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 Eh. Ow. Yeah, I'm not doing any real damage to this guy. Should probably put some points damage. in his strength. Damn it. This is some. Well, a flame drink talisman, that's great for the fire. Hey! What? Apparently there was an area that was made out of fire where you could use it. Oh. <laughs> Very slowly faded away. Whoop. Whoop. What infusion is Dan using? Whoop. I don't know. You got an infusion? I got no uh, infusion. Pineapple infusion. Ooh. Dan yeah, is short for damage. It's true. <laughs> That's right. It's a lot of damage. All right, so ready for Margit, right? Let's go. We, yo, we could, we could just go into the castle. You want to go in the castle? Uh, if we could beat Margit, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, we do have to beat Margit, I guess. Let's do that. Yeah, this is a this is a brand new character chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll no, meet this you. This is the at... character that Barry beat the game with. Yeah, this is my in-game character. Uh, should I meet you at Gatefront? Let's meet at Gatefront. Because that's the closest one I got. Uh -oh. Same. Yeah, go <clears throat> are you should yeah, go up through the gate front and then do the uh the Crucible Knight jail. Oh, uh, the Ever jail. Or instead yeah. of summoning you here, should we meet up where Roderico is? Cause they could just hop I... hop on horseback and zip up there right really quick. What? Right. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> be a lot easier, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, there's flowers on the way. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah. I think he'll jump down. That giant will never jump down. Oh, he jumped. Oh, he's jumping. Hello. Oh my god, the cereal's all over the table. Oh, also we can get a, a little seed. I'm the Ooh, thing. Free seed. Free seed. I hate that there's no use for them. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like, same. Let me Big same. Them for something. Like, or at least like let me sell them for like a shit ton of like runes or something. I'm kind of glad they're not sellable because then I couldn't accidentally fuck it up. Um, yeah. But I wish they'd like be sellable after you have like an excess. Like yeah. After you like this is the max amount you can use to upgrade and like after this you can sell them. Yep. Agreed. If there's someone just like, oh, you've used up all your seeds. Well, now you can do whatever. Yeah, sell them to a mm -hmm. devout follower or some shit. Yeah, that, the jail is what the game was talking about. I got yeah, jellyfish. Mm-hmm. You good? Does Roderick show up at round table if you don't talk to her? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Well, um... Poor Roderico. Oh, it's not called infusions? What are you talking about? The Ever Jails? I think are, are you ask, are you asking if I have an Ash of War? Oh, an Ash of War. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. My Make Ash of War is Flame of the Red Maze. Because I like it. Mm. <laughs> it's very good. Um, alright. The infusions uh are separate from the Ash of War, but is one of the my favorite things in the game. Hmm. Because, or I guess it's called infinity in this game. Affinity. Oh, the different scaling, you, right? Yeah, because you can you can put. That's why that's why I was like the the fucking legendary weapons. I I never use them because I was like these suck. These are boring mm -hmm. because I can't change my element immediately and stuff like that. Because you can you can change every weapon's uh, elements, what kind of damage they do, uh, what ash of war they have equipped. Great. It's great, Barry. I want to mess with them more. I'm just mad that they're restrictive. Um, I'm hanging they're out by Roderico. If you're a baby, Barry. <laughs> I am a baby. I'm a big <laughs> old baby. Down there. Uh, where? Oh, somewhere by. A it was in a bush. It was in a bush. Take a look. It's in, it's a, in bush. a bush. Summoning Dan Jones. <laughs> 
summoning down. I mean, we're doing D and D tomorrow, chat. I'm excited. Oh shit! I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Nah, nothing to be scared of, Gam. Specifically. <laughs> what are so you talking scared. about? There's nothing to be scared about. Nothing to be scared of, Gam. Hi. I'm so scared. Oh wait, hang on. Hang wait, on. Wait. I gotta. I gotta get my my my, my new fun one. With who? Um, nice. We could reenact. We were here. I can point, and then you can wave. <gasps> wait, wait. Let me, let me let me go like over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. I'll I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll go like on top of a rock over here. <laughs> what are you? Are you pointing or waving? I'm gonna point. Okay, I'm gonna wave. I like that I could still hear you say, hey. Hi. What's up there? Oh, fuck. I love it. Hi. It's like actually useful to be like, hey, where'd you go? Hey. Hi. Over here. Right. Um, we should be okay as long as there's no wolves raining from this guy. That's if we, we went south, we so actually we'll be fine. Is it? Yeah. You want you want to stay out of the wolves? Really? I thought, I thought it was No, right they're here. down there. I vividly Was remember exactly here? where they were because they fucked oh, okay. me up. <laughs> All right, I just remember they're vaguely around here. Yeah, they're down there. Boy, it sure is fun running around in multiplayer, huh, Dan? It is. I, I, Be a shame I'm... if there were wolf. What does the sign say? Surprise attack ahead. Be wary of wolf. Nah. No monster. <laughs> no mon. Sky What's wolves. that noise? Ah! No, no. Ow. Yeah. We love the sky wolves. We love them. My favorite Bond movie. Ooh. Phew. I got some thin call. beast bones. Nice. Oh, it was up, dog. <gasps> Finally. George R. R. Martin meeting were? up with Miyazaki. Just make sure there's up, dog in there. Mm -hmm. And he just goes, okay. <laughs> okay, there was no what's up, dog. <laughs> just put in a dog. That's up. Just nods to his translator. Write that down. Yeah. Hooray! Beware of updog. I saw your helmet and I was like, it's an enemy! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> He's wearing the same thing. I forgot George R. Martin worked on this. It's wild. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it already exists. I want to hear, like, exactly what his involvement was, you know? Like, what they can attribute to him versus Miyazaki's original idea. Wild mm. strikes. That's just waterfowl dance. Same thing. That's it? Yeah. We got it. You can get it real early in the game. No, 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 no. Millennia no. Don't toot your dude. He tooted and dooted. God damn it, he tooted and dooted. Oh boy, that's many gentlemen. Now I'm good. I got this. Let me solo them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I did my... Yeah. Oh, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Oh, it's a party. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, why did I jump? Woo. Man, we got Margit for sure. Look at us. Easy. Yeah, the real hard part's gonna be his barrier. Gonna yeah. die before Dan kills him. <laughs> Before we get up the hill. That's gonna be this whole fucking stream. Oh, I got some pants! Nice, yo. Huge. Let me see them pants. Uh, I don't know if I can put them on right now. Wait, I sure can. Ow. <laughs> can I change equipment at this time? Sweet. <laughs> George has a story outline. This. And FromSoft gave him feedback. He talks about in an interview. Sweet. Okay, we're out of combat. Now... I've got pants. Now I just need arms. And I'm not fat rolling. Ooh, Let's go. Those are some nice pants. This is Dan babysitting a toddler. A little bit. What are you, I'm level one or whatever starting level this class was. I'm now level six. I'm doing oh, I great. am level 20. I did level up. <laughs> I did start this when the stream started. I just spent an hour and a half fucking around, but instead of playing the game. Um, well, 
Goodbye, Dan. <laughs> Wait, I can touch this grace? You can oh, touch it. You can touch you can't rest at it. Uh right. okay, well that's well, um I kinda wanna level up though, is the thing. Is the thing. Hey. Well, I can make tons of Yep. We can level when we're dead. Gam wanted me to be and chat wanted me to be a wretch, so. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't jump. Don't, don't lump us on me. <laughs> can I interact with this grease? I don't think I can. Really. Nope. When you... When you leave my game, we'll just drop you right here. Or I was going to put you back. I mean, I can come run and get Well, this. yeah. I'm just curious. I don't know. Um... Well. Goodbye, Dan. Cut gonna, your finger off. I'm gonna cut my finger off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just immediately disappeared. Yeah. I just like slashed in front of you and like it felt like the fade animation was faster too. It was like goodbye. Ah. Uh level up. Okay, it, it it dropped me where I was standing last. So let me How much strength do I need to use this sword? Uh, I think it was sixteen was what people were saying. So probably Dang. Hey, but if I'm two-handing it... 12? How, how would you know? It's like 1.5 or something. I have enough at 11? Do I? Uh, uh, wait. Oh, would you look at that? The X is gone. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wait, so how would you know? It's... It, it, it's... It's one point... What is it? 1.5 your strength, chat? Yeah, 1.5. You add 5 strength so, by two-handing. Huh. So in that case, I think I'll level up vigor and a strength. So we get that extra one of physical defense. As a strength doesn't that dex. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hey, look, a summon sign. Oh, that's. I don't know what that is. But hello. That's the. Uh, no, it's a player who's oh, using the same thing. Oh, a new person. You're very round. How are you that round this early in the game? You probably just ran to get round. <laughs> you want to get round. Purple knight to I get guess round. So. Get up, get up, get down. Um, did you have to run back here, or did you put it? Did it put you? Here? I just, yeah, I just put my sign down. So. Well, so why aren't you just going around, Margaret? Well, when we just go around, Margaret? Because yeah, we gotta go kill. We we want to do I the mean, actual castle. Yes, I have finished okay. the game. That's why we're doing this. It took me a long time. I got oh, if you use the same passwords, you skip the level threshold system. That's right. Um, <laughs> that's right, because that's how I got R that's that's how RJ got me through a few things. Oh yeah. Yeah, that clip that, that clip where I've been knocked on my ass and then there's a laser beam that just fucking deletes an enemy. <laughs> that's fun. I I definitely wanted to get through my first playthrough. Um not doing that, but now that I've done it, it's like, well now I just kinda wanna fuck around. Should we should we bring in Rajier or no? Yeah, bring Rogier. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little bitch anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More fodder. All right. Uh, wh why? Why are you waiting here, Dan? Why don't we just? It's just. Uh, it's just wide open. My shoes untied. Oh, Go ahead yeah, yeah, mine me. too. Yeah. Hold on. I mean. Hey, Roger. You look good. Hang on, I just gotta tie my shoe real quick. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll meet you up ahead. It's just a big open okay. space, so I'm sure. Yeah, that's good. What? Well, well, don't worry about. Hey, huh? A cutscene? Nah. Skip. What? Hello. Yeah, get him, Rogier. Dan just doesn't join you. That's got a tie of shoes. Just like had had a loop, loop. If you help a, a certain NPC, you get a tying my shoes uh, gesture, which is yeah, takes a long time. It takes several minutes in real time. Boy, he really doesn't like Rajie. Why did I say anything? He doesn't like you. 
I don't he like doesn't like you either. <laughs> Ow. Oh, we have like two jerks. Yep. One, two, buckle my shoe, Ash of War. Yeah. Nice. Almost rolled off the fucking world. Oh, can we knock him off? That'd be great. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Just push him off. Raju, no! Yeah, he his quest line is over now. We ended that his quest. Fucking yeah. suck. <laughs> if you summon them and then they die, and it's like, well, they're dead now. Oh my god, the Millicent's quest would be fucking awful if that were the case. Roger is dead. Stop hanging out the edge of the world, sir. Oh, that's better. Ah! <laughs> stuck. Oh, it oh no! no. You, can, you can do it! I believe very. It. Ow. Damn, believe He's a little bit angry. Fuck. Yeah, Dark Souls 2, if you kill the boss and the NPC died, Fuck. you wish that it ended the line. I died. <laughs> Damn it. I wow, fucked up. Dan's corpse wasn't even fucking gone. Yeah, no. No, I got <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Oops. GG. Ah. Well, that went well. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Good fight. Good fight. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Round two, baby. What else can I make? I can make a fire pot. Sure. You know what? Ooh. Sure. And, um, yeah, some cookery. God, I, I have so much shit that I just never used. So many consumable items and crafting things. Mm-hmm. Margie's tough and a plus zero non-blue weapon boot. Yeah, Margie is tough. Even with, uh, Rajier's help. Mm-hmm. He's the first big wall. Now, for ten more attempts that don't get below 50%. Yep. Let's do it! What? 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 Huh? What? <laughs> That's what happens when you tie your shoe, Barry. <laughs> Is that a thing that you did, or was that the internet? Because you were just sliding around. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. You're like, let's go. You're just no animation, just sliding forward. It was really good. I, I wonder if it hadn't loaded me in fully yet, because I was just running. <laughs> no, it hadn't. The, like, animation of you, like, rising out of the, the circle hadn't, like, finished for Barry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I only ever really used pots when I was like, I am going to die. Um, so let me just see what pots I made that I can just throw at the boss as I'm dying. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Hello. Hello. Oh, my runes. I want those. No. Nice. No. I think not. <gasps> it is very fun doing these in multiplayer, though. After really only ever is. having summons. Nice fine. I just almost put myself into a bad position. Fire pod. I think I missed. Sweet. Where does share is then? Yeah, Good. he's fine. <laughs> Good. Why does he like hanging out the cliff's edge so much? Because he loves it. He likes to live life on the edge, Barry. 
Living on the edge. Oh, boy. Piss. Nah, oh, yeah. nuts. Oh, Barry has to do it, not you. Let me solo him. Ow. Nah, I'm good. Now you're just gonna do the same. Oh, I have no health. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whew. You spicy boy. How's it, good, Barry? How's it going over there? Oh, I, I got, I, I got, yeah. I beat him. He beat him right, and he, he crowned me Elden Lord in the credits roll. Wow. Mm hmm. Oh, I must have a bad stream delay or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Um. Sheesh. Yeah. No. Yeah, a bleed weapon would be nice. Hmm. More stats. Actually, you would know be what? Nice. I do have some bleed axes. Hmm. Oh, I didn't. My fire pot didn't actually fire. That's fun. Is this uh? Hello. I think there's just gonna be summoning Dan, but thank you. Unless someone by just complete happenstance is also using. What we what we make our multiplayer password lime, lime ring. Uh, Lime ring. I mean, that's a real popular one out there. It wasn't. People. People know what's up. Mm-hmm. Pots are the power of they limes. Are. I, I legit, in my Elden Ring video, I used it against a, um, uh, like a troll who was at the end of a dungeon, and I just threw a fire pot at it, and it did like a huge chunk of his health, and I was like, I did this for footage. I didn't do it because I thought it'd be good against him. I was like, I should be using pots more, huh? I think I used a, a perfume bottle once to test it. Because I was like, oh yeah, I've never really used this. And I used the one that turns you into iron. And it's, it seems like it'd be really good against certain bosses. And watching a stream on PS5, I also use it. Yep. Do it. Classically weak to fire. Here we go. Let solo him me. Mm hmm. Well, aren't you something? Ow. Ow. <laughs> Shit. I may have died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, me and Roger got this. You got this. Got this in the bag. Ow. I, bl I blame the axes. <laughs> they get you, man. Ow. Get him, Roger. I'll wait back here. Yeah. Yeah, let the sorcerer go fucking close range. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing great. He's doing great at getting his attention. Mm-hmm. That's what I need. Boy, I'm doing no damage. Yeah. That's a fully charged attack. There's like a little boop. Oh, oh, oh. me solo me they use a sacrificial technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you ow? Ow. <clears throat> I'm I'm just gonna let him kill me. This is gonna take an hour even if I do kill him. Why am we I could healing? Not summon Roger and he'll have less health. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> he's kind he's kinda not useless but like not helping. <laughs> wow. He just kind of stands there and dies. That's all he does. Yeah. He stands there and dies. My jellyfish did more line. in this fight when I did it the first time. He's a good guy. He's just hanging out. He's a friend. I could just jump to my doom. That's true. Just felt like I should just let him step on me because he clearly wanted to. Uh, This is the one. This is the one. He tanked for over half Margit's health. He did tank a lot of hits, but maybe we just need him to be a little spongier. And then we'll get him. You know, we could do. What is that? We could go kill a dragon and get 70,000 runes. <laughs> you want to kill a dragon and get 70,000 runes? Could, I mean, we could do that. Let's try that. 
Should I well, summon? I mean, like that's that's uh, we gotta at least try one more time. Right? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you mean do you mean Grail and Kaled? Mm hmm Would that take like an hour to kill with our current weaponry? No. I'll give you a, I'll give you a bleed weapon. Oh. But except we're gonna get um, we're gonna get Margate this time. Exactly. So. Not even worry about it. Hmm. Yeah. If I blew up in your white back catacomb. Oh. Seek friend. I did. Seek. Seek. Last. The catacomb with the Uchi? I forgot that the Uchi was in a catacomb. That sounds nice. Yeah, Uchi Uchi's a nice real easy. Yeah. 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 Fire pot. Eh. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, hitboxes. Why do you love this corner so much, sir? Hey, there's the bleed. Nice. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a passing glance. Warrior blood. Ow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He's real good at being a bitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Whoa. No. Get, get him! Get him, Barry! You got this! I'm gonna get, get him! This, I'm gonna get him! Ow! <laughs> no, no, he's doing the attack that keeps killing me. Would it help if I just... Yeah, probably. Yeah, how about, how about a little bit of... The Fetus Grand Pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. That's helping. That it's helping. It's more difficult as it continues. No, 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 no. How about, how about another little... Damn it. Oh. Thank you. Oh, so close. I know. Oof. Yeah, I got a little greedy. I just wanted it done, which is... I was out of health, so I was just like, I just need to get in his face. Um, This one for sure, though. Okay, we don't we don't need no dragon. No? Should I get the Uchi, though? No. We'll get the Uchi for the dragon. Let me quickly... I, can, I think I have enough souls for another level, though. They um, get a level. How much do they need? 793? Yeah, we got that. Right? Yeah. You can pop some lads, right? Yeah, I can pop some lads. Wow. Uh... Are they pretty popular? <laughs> yep, greed is bad. What do you want? I don't want to talk to you, Melina. I don't talk to, um... Tarnished, it seems you're really fucking bad at this. Go to the round table, hold. Ah, fucking... Very well. God damn it. You have to go right now. I don't, but I just want to get it over with. <laughs> yeah, just get it. Just do it. Yeah. You can just leave. I'm like, Melon, ah. just leave Dan behind. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. Oh my god, I touched the girl's hand. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, by the way, chat, in case you didn't know, if you immediately walk forward, it says rest the table of lost grace. <laughs> And then you can rest at the table of Lost Grace. Hey, yeah, Barry, but the first thing up. I did was jump on it because I was excited. Yeah, I was excited to be in a new place. I'm I sorry, I didn't fucking for look joy. for a prompt. Oh, fuck. I think I need vigor more right when now. When I see a table, I jump on it. Jump on and then you, yeah, and then I you're like, what? It. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, when, uh, when I got here and like, people were talking about the two fingers and stuff, I thought that it was just the name of their little club. I didn't think they meant it literally. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a good like reveal of like. Oh, <laughs> you see the two fingers the first time, and you're like, I see. Mm. I get it. It was it uh -huh. was it was literal. I get it. Well, um, fifty hours long. I could rest at the table. Yeah, people are saying that they never learned. They didn't know. Hey, look, it's fucking Gideon. All right, whatever. I'm getting Kill out of here. him. <laughs> I can't, bitch. Uh, uh, also, something something I repeatedly re relearned and then forgot is that when you're on the map screen, triangle or the the top face button brings up this like quick select thing, right? Um, and mm -hmm. if you hit square, it just goes round table. You don't have to find yeah. it or move the cursor. Anywhere you are, if you hit triangle and then square. It's lost table. And also you can favorite sites of grace. Yeah, you... I never did any favoriting. And if I was leaving the round table, I would scroll still every time, even mm -hmm. knowing about it. I mm -hmm. was just like, no, I want to go. The only the one I, well, I favorited round table before I realized, wait, you can just hit square. Um, but also uh, I favorited the place I would always go to grind when I was like, I'm close to a level. I'm just going to get some more runes. Um, but yeah, if you favorite one I by favorited clicking like... in the right stick, you hit triangle uh, for the list and then triangle again for your favorites. Yeah. I favorited like so. dungeons and caves that I hadn't finished where I was like, I'll come back here later. Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's useful. Anyway, get back to the tunnel. My grind spot was interesting. Yeah, it seems like I'm like one of the only people that used that as a grind spot. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only, the only people. You know, like it seems like I didn't discover the spot that everyone else used with the Alban arcs. Um, why do I keep going to that? Eh. All right, I'm back in the tunnel, Dan, and I used my. All right, my signs, Dan. I see it. I didn't want to rest. Damn it. <laughs> um, my you spot you was um, mm -hmm. I think the grace was called across the, the roots. It's right outside of Fia's champions battle, um, mm -hmm. beneath the air tree roots. Um. There's three of those big golem dudes that... Not golem dudes. Gargoyle dudes. They're stationary. They breathe fire. There's three of them that are literally within, like, 45 seconds of each other. And they each drop thousands of runes. So it was just, like, an extremely easy way to just, like, do a little loop and get a bunch of runes. So it was really quick. And if I had, um, like, increased runes, it just was real, real quick. It was easy. Easy, just like Margit. Also, the, you, it's like the only thing you could ever possibly fuck up would be the um, the the parkour because you have to use some double jumps to get to them all real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm making another fire pot. That did uh, some amount of damage, right? Fire pot. Yeah, let's go. The militia menu is basically like them. See, those guys are tough, and they fight back, and they're surprisingly beefy. Ow. Sir. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I keep missing. <laughs> no, I missed again. I'm just gonna hide in the corner. Got me on the back. He screen, got me on the dude. back. I thought I'd come in and punish him after he hit you. Woo. Nice. Throw him over the edge. Good day, sir. I want that. Ah, oh, fuck. I was like, right after this, I'm gonna heal. Uh, you wanna kill a dragon, Dan? <laughs> sure. I think you can do it without the dragon. I know we can. I oh, just, we can totally do it without I just don't wanna spend the next hour doing this. Give it, give it one more try. No, I'm Give one it one more, more try, no. and then you can try. One more. Come no. On, come on. No. I'm come leaving. On, one more. One, no. one more. One no. more. One more. No. Come on. No. Come on. No, I'm leaving. Come on. Eh. 
power stance it. What does that mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what if one more, Barry? One more. Just one more. Ow. More little. I've tried upward cut weapon on the weapon. Yeah, I don't really get it. Have you tried using up? He just kind of. You should probably see what it does, huh? Um. So on the weapon. Brace arm and step into a low stance to prevent recoil from most enemy attacks. Follow up with a strong attack for an upward strike. Oh. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Okay, fine, one more. Yeah! Signs that. Signs that. I use my yeah, stance. Dan, Dan wasn't at the dragon. Dan, Dan, you. Dan, you. Dan, you. I was, well, I'd, I'd have to run to I the dragon. Knew. I can't. Uh. Yep. I do have pants. Thanks to Dan, I got two pieces of armor. Yeah. And then I got two others. Mm -hmm. Dual wielding That's heavy weapons. Well, I'm dual wielding one. this so I can wield it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess we could travel to the Crystal Cave. And then just gun it from there. Right? I... Yeah. We could do that. That's a harder way. <laughs> we What's could the just easier run way? There. Just run just across to Kaled? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. We got him. This is the one. Hello. This is the try. Not the try. It's the do. Shit. Ow. Oh, fuck. I love that the visceral does the same amount of damage as Dan's one attack. I know. <laughs> I missed. Yeah. No. No, don't. Ba, 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 be, I'm stuck. Boop, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ow. I'm just gonna stay down. <laughs> yeah, you got him. Nice. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You sure are, ain't you? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Sir. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. So this is going great. Yay! We did it, Dan. No, he's still alive. Nope. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, oh the what places you? you'll go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the places you'll go. framed at the end of an 80s movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget about me. <laughs> this planet needs doom. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, we did it. We did it. When you walk up by. Wow, that was a lot of runes. For this level. Um, yeah. And I can be able to one hand. you call my name? Will you come on by? How many did I need? I think it was 18, right? Oh, yeah, you still need to go fight nope. a dragon now, Baron. <laughs> I mean, we could. 
it would be fun because, and cool. You know what else we could do? I could summon you, and now we can fight them again. <laughs> yeah, we could. <laughs> I didn't realize you hadn't I done. I won't force you if you don't want. Well, I just got uh, how like eight levels or something, so nice. Might nice. go slightly better. Uh, yeah, you can summon me. All right. I can also one hand it now, right? All right, now you just get to yeah. use the old uh. The finger, you know. I get to use the finger. You Go. get to use the finger. I'm putting it down in the hallway. Uh, my furled finger. Barry. I wrote with my finger on the ground. Lime Lord, that's you? That's me, Lime Grave. Lime Grave? Lime Grave. Who the fuck is Lime Lord? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, they're coming with, I guess. <laughs> I, I didn't summon them because I was like, wait a minute, I don't think that doesn't look like Barry. <laughs> Who the fuck was Lime Lord? Speak up, chat. I'm looking at you. You have a jellyfish shield and, and roses as your weapon. <laughs> a bundle of roses. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, so many limes out there. A lot of lime fans playing, mm. playing Elden Ring right now. The opposite of stream sniped. <laughs> It's me! <laughs> Stream bamboozled. It's me! Hello! Hello! Hey! I wish I had some prattling pates. You just. You coming? Or just. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'll, I'll just meet you a bit. I got really confused for. I was like, wait, have you not fought him? Hey, what do you mean? I, it, yeah. <laughs> I gotta tie my Come shoes. Come on, just just take it. Hold, hold, I gotta tie my shoes. Give me a sec. All right. Ah, these things are like buckled all the way up to the top. Jeez. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get half as many flasks as another down. There, no, I'm gonna be fine. No, I'm gonna be fine. You may now challenge the area boss. I'm still sitting. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I sure only do have two healing flasks. Now nah, we're good. Now nah, we're good. Ooh, it's nighttime. Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Margie. You and me. Upon a midnight something. What? <laughs> that was the quickest critical hit ever. <laughs> you made him vulnerable, and then I immediately entered into a fucking thing. Here he comes. I'm gonna. Oh, wait. wait. Hold on. In this pocket. Eh. Bleh. Ball. Ow. Oh, I didn't know that one was coming for me. Don't do that. Ow. Oh, he did a spin. It was a neat trick, and it worked. Piss! Yeah. Yo, we pissing? I Yo, piss we pissing. Die. I got him. Pissing. He's dead. You're welcome. Nice. I was out of healing flasks, so I was pretty much gonna get murdered. It has your healing flask, yeah. Uh, eh. Finger. Let's go fight a dragon. Oh, you wanna fight a dragon? Let's this. fight a dragon! Yeah, go. we, we, we gotta keep things interesting, right? Yeah. We can come so back and, um... and stomp them once we have a billion levels. Yeah, no, I'll we do. Down my, I'll put down my shit. So, where, when, how? You think- oh, I'm just, just gonna put down my shit and we'll see what happens. Here or somewhere else? Yep, right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't the best bet be to run across the bridge? And by the pumpkin way? head? Yeah, by the pumpkin head, yeah. So when I kicked you out earlier, where did it drop you? Where I put my sign down. Oof. Or where I was when I- So- Summoned. So we have to do the run twice. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we'll both get a shit ton of runes. Yeah, but if you do it twice, oh, you get a shit right. ton times two. That's yeah. also assuming we can go all that way. It might just... We will figure out <laughs> what the limits are. Yep. You can't go from one grave to Caleb with a friend. I believe that is what we discovered. When we first... We're going to see how far we can get. Is that we found that there was like a giant fog wall that surrounds the, the continent. But yeah, we'll go as far as we can. Yeah. Now using fast travel. So in multiplayer, you can't use torrent. You can't fast travel. You can't rest the side of grace when you have someone summoned. Which is unfortunate. Um, also, when I first got here, I went around the, the loop around the back of the castle before I yeah. did Margit. And I was like, oh shit, you can just not do any of this. I, I definitely found it after the castle, and I was like, wait a minute. Was this open? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this game lets you run without stamina when you're out of battle, and it's great. It's the best thing they ever did. I hope no oh, future yeah. from soft game has stamina inside of combat. You or outside. Use of a combat. golden pickle too. To Invaded by God over leveled. That sounds fun. <laughs> Hello. Wonder where they are. Hello. They'll have to find us first. He <laughs> he. Unless they're watching Probably the stream. Giant troll. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a Lord of the Rings. Yeah, just running across the continent on foot. We're going on an adventure! Adventure to the east! What if invaders could summon their torrent? That would be mean. <laughs> <laughs> you show showing compass for them. Oh. Uh oh. Oh god, this guy will. Up, dog! Run! Just keep running! Oh, okay. We're just running? Yeah, just run. Okay. Listen, we're faster than wolves. <laughs> Creatures that run on four legs, notoriously you know, slow. That's fair. You got a good point there. Yep. We're good. Who slugs? Slugs. Yo, that means smoldering butterflies, though. Let's go. Num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. Delicious. Oh, there's the invader. He caught up to us. Where? We can't catch if we keep running. <laughs> Shh, run! <laughs> Hello. You gonna bow? Not even gonna bow. Uh, no, no, no bows. Rude. Very rude. Have a kukri. Dodged it. The music is very good when you're invaded, though. I don't think you got gotcha. Whoa, you that's missed. a lot of madness build up. What are you using? <laughs> oh, well. This, those, this those bodes well for me staying alive. Yeah. Did yeah, you die it, twice? It, probably. This isn't Sekiro. Oh, cool. Yeah, th this guy this guy is, is, is purely being like, I want to ruin people's experience. Very cool. Always tell... Oh, no. Oh, the lag switch. Dual light spears. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. That's uh. Hmm. Yeah. One one of the oh, the lag. In game weapons. These dual wielding. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. You finally swing. <laughs> Oh, he backstepped into me. Cool. Couldn't finish it. Fuck. He still has more heals. How many did he have? I mean, no, he had probably 15. So, seven. Oh. Come on. Just kill me. Yeah, you doing your nonsense? I'm proud of you. Whew. 
Come on. Just kill me! Fuck. Oh, and the tea bag. Thanks. You know ah, we love the tea a, bag. What a good experience. What is this, Halo 2? <laughs> oh my God. Man, that's right. really cool. Let's try that again, Dan. <laughs> Alright, we're, uh, let's, um... Hey, put me at Margit. Put me at Margit. Let's go to, uh... Let's, let's do, like, the, the gate front. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, wait, no. Actually, actually, it's the shack. Let's Storm Mill shack. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Man, <clears throat> he was pretty fucking cool. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I, if I was better, I would have easily beaten him. I'm just not good at PvP. Um, I don't even eat the eat a thing. Hmm, finger. He's like, I like how I won't overlevel my character, but I will have someone drop in weapons from New Game Plus. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate. Someone end game the keeps to level load to stop new players. Gotcha. Uh, where is your sign? Uh, oh. it is near by the bridge. Who's this? I don't know. Oh, ooh, mm. oh, wow. That is quite a lime. On that noggin. Oh. That is new quite lime. a lime. New lime drops? Oh, that's lemon, lemon lad. <laughs> 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 the sworn enemy of, of lime girl. <laughs> sworn rival. Oh. Oh, you return to your world. Of lime, sworn enemy of lime lass lime is lass. lemon lad. Why'd you return to your world? It, uh, it booted me. Oh, let's try again. It's the power of lemon. <laughs> uh, I still have. Online up. Right. Mm -hmm. Going online opens you in evasions. Yes. That yeah, house correct. lime and house lemon. It's the war of the citrus. Yeah, I never got invaded except for the handful of times that I ran around with Dan. Because we we checked out multiplayer on the first day just to see how it worked, um, and then Dan summoned me to his world to try to figure out the um, <clears throat> was it erudition. Yeah. There's an optional thing that involves getting a, a, a gesture and using it, and Dan was trying to figure out if I could do it in his world to open it up. What the heck? Huh. You want want me to try summoning to your world? It's weird because it summons me and then I see you and then it immediately disconnects me. Yeah, that's what's happening to me too. Okay, get a blue ring. It's fine. Do you want to summon again, or do you want me to try? Uh, yeah, you you put a thing down, and we'll see we'll see how that works. Okay. Finger. Finger. Overloading the vitamin C buffers, and it'll get you. Um, why do we wait? Uh, Ludline, thanks for soup. Sakurai two thirty one, thanks for subbing. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes and happy subby Uh, Simon is thanks for nineteen months. Did I check what this link was? Oh, it was the it was it was the cats, right? Yeah. Uh Great Blakes, thanks for the prime. Rainy Mountains gifted the sub the kit is cat. Zorpak with 14 months. Yikes at the ballroom. Thanks for three. Give me that poo, baby. Enjoy your silver key. And via Swiris with a dollar ring. Do. Mm, thank you. Um Any luck, Dan? I it said summoned. Hmm. Let's try again. You're being summoned you to another restart world. Your PS5. I'm being summoned now. This yeah. isn't Nintendo. I know. I can reset the game if it's being sassy. Some scorbic allies. Your lime powers have weighed tarnished. Oh hi. Oh, is it working? Is it actually working? What's up, dog? Okay. Hi. Interesting. Let's go. Let us run. This time it's going to be great. Let us frolic through the field. <laughs> I'm, I'm skipping. <laughs> <laughs> We're skipping the Kaelid we are. <laughs> the Kaelid we go. 
Off to Kelly we go, we go. Off to Kelly we go. Oh my god! Did you hear what he said? <laughs> no. You he killed was like him. bad. <laughs> he was saying I was bad at the game. Yeah, he did. I heard Damn, it. dude. Oh, we're gonna kill a giant? Why not? Alright. He is here. Just minding his own business. Yeah. They fucked up, not the worst. You gonna stab his face? Nah. nah. I wanna disrespect his toes, not his face. Damn. <laughs> you got the fucking damn sound. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Does he drop oh, anything? I don't think so. Nah. Cool. I'm glad he's dead, though. Nice try, butthole. Nice. All right, here uh, we go. Oh, why? Why are we doing this in multiplayer? Let's go, Dan. Oh, I say I called you Dan. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Can you tell I play Souls games with Dan often? A lot of Dan Souls. <laughs> A lot of Dan Souls. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Don't look no. at me, chat. <laughs> totally understand. But yeah, when 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 um, Dan and I were messing with multiplayer to figure out the erudition thing, we just started just kind of running around and as we were talking, we were just like having a conversation, yeah. and just kind of like just doing this, and it was just <laughs> we like did nothing, and it was just so fun. Yeah, because I was like, well, I don't want to progress with Dan because I'm trying to play through the game solo. But we were just running around, and it was just really chill to just be like, oh, let's like kill this thing. We got invaded a couple times. It was just it was like weirdly nice. Yeah. Could have called you chat. That's fair, Viz. Hey, for the hydrate. Uh, I don't think we can go down this way. Yeah, Dan, you'd never do that, right? Never. I would never, never do that. Oh, man. You'd never call someone chat. You ever call your mom nope. chat? So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever call your teacher chat? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. I have the fucking worst grip on my controller right now. So I can be like running and camera and picking stuff up. Mm-hmm. Claw grip. It's like an advanced claw grip. I'm I'm love, basically love using grip. the uh, the right stick like like a like a like an arcade joystick. Like I'm using two fingers on it. Mm -hmm. It's two it's fingers. It's abysmal. I hate it. The two fingers. The two fingers. Like not using the three fingers. <laughs> uh, who would do that? That would be madness. Who would do that when every NPC is like, "Don't do this." <laughs> Nine hour hand really cramps. Mm -hmm. uh, th I think oh, we have to go south. I mean, Dan. What if we fall to our death? That's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> dot, can dot, dot, can oh, I pick wow. up uh, Sights of Grace as a as a lad or only the no. host? Only the host. Gotcha. Which is a, a bit of a bummer. Or oh, are these yeah. guys screaming? Uh, they only scream at is night this... mostly. Oh, okay. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now, I don't really use great swords that much. It's kind of nice. Creatures are life. You get, you get, you get good range. This one's not even that mm -hmm. big. Uh, okay, back this way. There's a cave over here that I did not find until stupid late in the game. It's like up against Sounds the wall right. here. Just didn't realize. There's even a statue right there that's like, hey, it's over there. Oh yeah, that's the. This one has the Uchi. Oh, there's one with the Uchi. Uh, that might be worth mm -hmm. grabbing. Okay, so how does how does this work? Can nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nope. Man. Yeah. What an experience. <laughs> it's seamless. <laughs> That's what we get. That's what we deserve. Is Alexander here? Probably. The man. Pot the friend. Oh, yeah, here he is. Pot friend. Pot friend. Oh, he's a see-through ghost for me. That's upsetting. That's foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand on him. <laughs> I can't stand it. No! Dan, no! What are you doing? No! 
You no! have to do this! Don't, no, you hurt! No! No, stop! Oh, the humanity! Oh! He's dead. <laughs> I, I love this because I did it with daggers. I can't hurt him. It's all you. <laughs> ah! Dragonfly! Uh, you wanna leave? No. Why are you killing Alexander? Because you made me. You, you made this happen, Barry. I had nothing to do with it. I killed a dragonfly. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> okay. No! We're having fun. We're having... Hey. Hey, listen to me. Goodbye. Listen, listen to me? Yeah, I'm listening. We're having fun. Hi. We're having fun. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Humanity, Humanity lost. lost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, I saw someone said that they met Alexander in the tunnels, which is wild. Yeah, oh. I one time I ran into him there and I was like, I didn't even know you could be here. Yeah, he's just hanging out. He's hanging out where where a boss is at the end of a tunnel, but you can enter from the other side, and it's really weird. Oh man, let me get it too. Yeah, you got it. Swoosh. We're gonna fight this guy. Run past him. Let's fight him. All right. Let's run past. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Fight him, Dan. He's running. Neat. He dropped a stone. Ooh. And he re-killed my ass. Hee hee, Kaelid. Hee hee. <laughs> We're off to, to Kaelid. We go. <laughs> We're off to see Radigan. Uh, Radon. The wonderful Radigan of us. The wonderful Radon of Kaelid. Oh wait, wait. We have to kill Sans the skeleton. Oh, we, we do. I can't help you with this. This has to be all you. Uh. Yep. I don't think you'll hear the voice line either, so... Oh, you're What's right. fun in that shit? Um, this, this merchant here, chat, uh, Dan showed me on, when he was streaming the other day. Uh, if you kill him, he's hard. He's not an easy fight. You shouldn't kill the merchants, probably. He dies, and he says a few things, and then goes, Uh... uh. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs, like Sans, and, that, and then it he dies. Not, we're not over-exaggerating. He really not, does a Sans it's laugh. It's 100% a Sans laugh, and it's the weirdest fucking so, thing. So you can do it? We, uh, we, oh, I can't. I wouldn't hear him. Because he's a ghost. The ghost? So you can do it when Barry's turn? When you do yeah, I'd again? rather not. But maybe. I killed all the merchants? Yeah, Th honestly, it's worth it. <laughs> That's the thing that sucks, is there's a couple merchants that are hard to get to, and like you're actually incentivized to kill them, because then they're just... Yep. You can just buy their stuff they're whenever. They're to get to. Yep. I was really Please. waiting for something to, like... Because my second playthrough, I was like... I'm killing every NPC. Let's see what happens. Mm hmm And I, they really, really didn't do anything about killing every yep. merchant. And when it's a merchant that, like, dies for plot reasons, it kind of removes this thing when it's like, oh, but you can just go buy their stuff at round table. Yeah. Want to kill a guy on a boat? We can kill a guy on a boat. Let's kill a guy on a boat. I adore these guys. They, they, they really I got in. Like, they were... <laughs> Trump stops and was like, we don't have enough bosses. And the guy showed up. He's like, I'm on a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a boat. I have an idea, guys. Skeleton on a boat. Clap, 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 clap. He's there over he to the north. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> you hit that I'm bone away. and the bone just went flying into my screen. <laughs> oh, good. See you soon, Bubbles. Oh, he's using his horn. Get him. Sounds like he's pretty horny. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's he's just a big bony guy. Yeah, the fucking boat slam. The first time he did, I was like, are you kidding me? It's amazing. It's so good. Oh. These guys are so great. Mm-hmm. It legit makes me think of like a uh, like a theme park water ride. Yep. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. No, it's gone. D. Oh.
Get him. He's, he's, he's trying to live. He's doing. <laughs> he's trying to live in death. Get him. That's a lot of skeletons. He's fun. Oh. oh, they're getting hurt by his nonsense. That's cool. Yeah, he, he, usually yeah. he kills more of a skeleton than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ow. Buddy. I missed somehow with my giant sword. No, no, ow. And good. We did it. See, that's when you teabag, is when you're dancing. Oh, well, goodbye, I guess. Oh, yeah, that happens. Hey, what's up <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, you defeat the boss. Hey, what's that over there? Huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna hop on horseback and meet you over there. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe at this, at Summon Water Village outskirts, I'll, I'll put my sign down. Okay. I could try to kill the merchant, but he'll probably kill me. He's a tough cookie. He's a tough cookie. Just, just look up Dan's VOD, the entire thing. I don't know if anyone clicked it. There's another, there's another lime. There's another lamb. They're following us. Lime Everywhere. Liaison. <laughs> Let me free Alexander real quick. Mm -hmm. It's important. And I'm going to not murder him. I'm going to not murder him. Sounds good. It's a weird strat I'm trying this playthrough. It involves getting really sad. Whoa. The fuck was that? Hello. Ow. Exalted flesh. Yeah, okay. Yum. I'll take that. Yummy. Mm-mm. See ya. Free him from limes. Hello. Hello. I'm still in combat, so let's do this quick. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you kill him? No. Well, yes, but not now. <laughs> wow. He takes a lot of, a lot of smacks, huh? I don't know what that is, Hugh. I don't even know what that is. Why is? Do I have to talk to him first? Is that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, talk to him yeah you have to talk to him first. <laughs> Shit. I'm just slapping his butt. I was like, this is taking longer than it should, huh? Yay! I did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He gave me more flesh! Yum. Mm. Ha, 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 ha. Weird, I didn't get flesh from him. Hmm. It's weird. Anyway, bye. I got a pot shard, though. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Those got are useful, right? On it. He likes it, don't worry. Yeah, when he shows up later in Liernia and he's, like, cracked from Radon, and you have to oil him up. I was like, if he dies right now, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> I actually thought he was gonna die. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's definitely one thing I, I I had to look up was where the fuck do I make oil pots? Oh, I just had them. Cause it's, it's the merchant who is like really obscure in uh, Seofra. That oh, you get the recipe from. yeah, I did find him uh, on my own, but I was just That's like, this nice. dude is fucking. Oh, yeah, there's there's there's, there's, the, there's the death has left. Its I found him here in my full playthrough at like hour 160. I was looping through and I was like, what? He's just <laughs> over here like, hey, someone died. And I was like, what? I, I think I found him on my second playthrough there. I, d I never saw that first interaction. All right, I got the Tibia Mariner, uh, Grace. I'm actually All gonna right. level up real quick. I got some oh, room. You know that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, more strength, more vigor. Well, I can only do one right now. Uh, eh. Eh. He's, he's a weird guy. 
He's something. All right. So, did you want to meet right here? Yeah, I got my sign down right there. Let's see if it works this time. Let her solo be. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> Eep, boop, 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 boop. Darian and Devon. <laughs> it would be kind of nice to do the seal for elevator for anyone that hasn't seen it, but... I imagine we can't do that in multiplayer. Um, let's not do the tibia again. All right. Let's go through the south. Let's go to the south. We could get the physic, too. Ooh. 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 A lovely physic. Lovely Back. day for physic. Get him. Get him. The, the skeletons are chasing us. <laughs> Dragonfly! Yeah! Oh, he's, he's a quick one. Yeah. Alright. Get him! Got him! There's another dragonfly! Shit! These guys are tough. They call, they call for reinforcements. There's two of them! Run! It's not worth it! Getting out of house. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, this way? Wow, there are two Hand of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. I farmed a lot of skeletons early game for a scythe that ends up being not that great. No. Yeah. I would definitely see messages from players being like, still no sword or whatever. I'm like, I guess this is... The enemy drops a thing and I'd be like, I don't care. I'm not gonna grind. And then I would get stuff and be like, I don't know if this is rare or not. It's great. Yeah, there, there was a, uh, in my... Level one run, I did a, do a little grinding for a bleed halberd, and then and then mm. chat helped me out. They were like, "I have two of this." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just sitting on like fifty of them. Like a one percent drop. Hey. Oh, is grave scythe good? Ah. Uh, 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 well, let's go. Uh, no frolicking in Kalid for us. You get the flask for you. You get the flask. Can we say hi to Alexander? He's rest right around here. Yeah, there he is, right there. Mm-hmm. There he is. Wow, he looks he, good. He looks bigger. Oh, I thought there was a regular man close to us, but he just keeps getting bigger. What's he looking for? Us. <laughs> He's looking for us. <laughs> Shit. Hello. He's got a sword. He's not using it though. Well, he's gonna try. Yeah. Bah. That has some AOE to it. That huh? sure do. Thank you. He fell down on him. Boom boom. Oh, him boom boom. Mm-hmm. Go way oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Uh, yeah, the entrance to the cave is over near... Forget where it is exactly. It came at it from a different angle. I think it's... Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, it is here. I doubt we can go into it, but... Yeah, Alexander hangs out in here. Break the glowing statues. Wait, oh. you can break them? Wait, what? You know the, the, the statues that have big cracks on them and they're glowing? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to have an enemy break them. So, like, I, giants I, I thought... and rune bears and dragons can break them. Yeah. What What, what happens? Uh, they it's break open like a... and they have a bunch of smithing stones inside and it's kind of mm -hmm. underwhelming. But it hey, took do you think me. You can survive this without torrent? No, I don't think you can. No, you won't be able to. And the activate when you're in charge. Oh shit, Dan lived. Suck it. <laughs> Huge plays. <laughs> well. Tally ho. Come on, Barry. Oh, Show no damage. This guy slide down. Oh, he just slide down. 
It's too much work Look, to break. Wolf. It's not really worth it, but I spent a lot of the game being like, how do you break them? And I got really thrown off because there was one outside Mount Gelmir where the giant bear jumps down from like a house. Um, and there were a bunch of messages saying seek beast. And I was like, oh, it must be an incantation from Garenk, the beast clergyman. And I was just convinced that there was an incantation that let you break them. And I was like, well, I'm doing a sorceries build, so I can't do incantations. And then uh, I don't remember how huh. I figured it out eventually, but I felt extremely dumb. I was like, well. And then I went back to, because I marked them all over my map, but I had to go back and do them all. And I was like, yep, smithing stones. They give you like five, so it's like worth doing if you're fighting something near one. Mm -hmm. But, yep. Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah. Let's eat. What do you drop? Some bones. Mmm, delicious bones. Oh god, I pissed them off. Can we drop down here? Uh, this looks a little bit high up. Looks like you got yourself there a little bit of a dog fight. A, little, a few dogs coming around. They're gonna get you. you this looks a little high, Dan. Oh, yeah, it's, that's a little high. It's a little steep. A little steep. They're all rainbow stone off. You'll make it. I don't have any. You can do this. You can do it right here. Oh. We face the head of a crab. Crab. Oh, there is a bear over there too. Oh, yeah. he's fine. Green bear. He's a big old bear. Big old bear. Big old man. I got. I killed several Earth Tree avatars before I ever found this. Yeah. What? Yeah. Same. It, it, it took me a while to find this one. <laughs> Shit. There's the lime lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> uh, nice. Got him. One swipe, one kitty. <laughs> Who's growing all these limes? Well, that's why it's called Lime Grave. My limes. Melon <laughs> Okay, here, what if we do this? What if we... Um, what if I just beat you at the the grace that's in, Caleb, the Rotview balcony, that, like, first one? Mm-hmm. I think I know the one just... you're talking about. It's, the, it's like, overlooking a crow. And the crow's, like, hanging on the... Crow. I'll probably find it. I remember we'll where most of them the are, I just the don't... Church. I don't, uh, remember the names of them all. Where are you going? To the oh. sea. <laughs> it's time to return to crab. It is time. Hello, little guy. Roast crab. Mm -hmm. Ow! What the fuck? You fighting a crab over here? Mm-hmm. How's it going? Whoa. Good. Crab died. What crab? I thought it was time for crab. Oh, it is. Oh, it sure is. Look at these guys. I like how they just hang Look out eating dirt go. all day. Look at them go. They're so good. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> no, this is worse than Alexander. Uh, I gotta run to the, the sea. I lost the tone. Yep. <laughs> Get out of the ocean. You're out of here. Highly dense water, huh? This is really dense. Damn. It's so dense. It's like air. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I forgot what button that's on. Dang, 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 dang. There it it's is. Not that one. Hello, Gordon. There, there, there it is. Not that one either. There it is. How is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Hoggers. No. There it is. Oh, oh no. There it is. <laughs> what you said? There it is. Nope. Ding, ding. There it is. Got it. They can't do that. Killing people is illegal. There it is. Nope. Uh, what, what, what did I fucking put it on? Oh, that would have taken me a while to do. It's so dense. Every single image so. has so many things going on. <laughs> oh, it's on the map. The the jail tunnel. That's where... Um. What's his face? Alexander hangs out. 
Mm -hmm. Gale Tunnel. Um, so it's in Kalid. If you continue taking yeah, so, that northern road over. Yeah, so go southern and, and follow that. Also, you want to hug the right side of when you're when you're the church is on your left that has the peak because there is an invasion there unless oh, you want to fight the invasion right i can take them in Good a God. fight right i believe i could grab that that talisman that i was talking about earlier it's over somewhere over here oh the turtle the turtle there it is Turtle. 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 Tur turtle. Beware the tarnished it. eater. His bite that chomps. His sword that slashes. Turtle. I kind of want to go to the peninsula just to get a torch. Or a lantern, rather. I constantly have it equipped. I'm not used to things being so dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do normally have... A torch. I don't think I have any. Hey, Barry, why don't you kill one of these turtles real quick? Why would I do that? What's in it for me? Besides feeling sad. We could probably get some like turtle legs, turning to stuff. Why? But why would I? Why would I do that? Think of how delicious. Think of that delicious turtle stew. <clears throat> Might drop a shield. It's the lie. Don't believe their lie. <laughs> I know where you get the shield. <laughs> I got the shield through very janky parkour, and then I later learned that you can just use the spirit spring to get up in there. Because so this is the shield. So so are the invasion. Mm -hmm. So just don't go over to the church, right? Yeah. And then where's the one that we're hanging out in? It should be like right in front of you once you follow this path. There's like the little broken town here. Yeah, here we go. Got it. I'll make it, Dan. My, my sign should be right there. I'm looking. It was shiny. God, I hope there's just like five fucking lemon and lime <laughs> summons right there. I don't want it. Uh, I still have my thing up. This is the right one, right? R uh, rot view balcony? Yeah, yeah. I don't see it. Is it right next to the grace? It is. It's, it's like a little next to it. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the the spot with sand. Hmm. Sand. And that's my nice Caleb. Well, there's like a little sandy spot right by the. Good colors place. here. I the fucking what if, sky. What if here. you rest at the grace real quick, Barry? Would that help? Oh well, maybe. I rested. Hmm. Hmm. I still hmm. have the icon. Can try using another one. Oh. Well, I'm I'm stupid. I thought the the icon of the ring of dots was the. Listen, I believe you. Don't worry about. It. <laughs> yeah. No. So um, before Elden Ring came out, um. I was at the office, I had streamed, ended my stream, was hanging out, working on stuff, and um, Gerard popped his head into the door and said, Elden Ring, and then left. Um, and I followed him, <laughs> and he had gotten an early copy, and was playing it with a couple other guys who he invited over, and um, at that point I was like, you know, I'll probably get Elden Ring, but I wasn't like super hyped for it. The mm -hmm. very same. Um, and as they were running around and, and doing stuff, they open up the transporter chest that sends you to Kalid, and they stepped outside in the fucking red sky and giant rot, and there's a huge skull off to the side, and I was like, okay, I'm buying this game. That was the <laughs> moment that convinced me to, to go pre-order it. It's a good moment. I was like, what the absolute fuck is this game? Dan, I'm you too slow. Here I am. Here I am. We're going on a journey. <laughs> Where are we going again? Are we are we to doing? A journey, we're gonna to kill a giant Braille dragon. Just yeah. to get a stupid number of runes. Hell yeah. It sounds good. <laughs> also, I watched uh, Gam do this ruin here and the boss, and for some reason, my brain went, "That was me," and I never came back to do it because <laughs> I I ran past it on my way through. I never actually did it. Um, mm -hmm. 
I think I entered Caleb through a weird way. Or rather, I came in through the Cilia Crystal Tunnel, so I think it took me much later to come in through the north, and then when I did, I just took the road and didn't go through the rune. But I, I was going through, I was like, did I not do this? I, th I remember it. I was confused, as I often am. This is Teleporter in Limgrave. Which one? Yeah, the chest. Oh, what? What? Good game. Hello. I just said connection error. That's probably fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. Huh. Um. Well, there's the closer Grace right here. We could meet up at. Or where, where, where are you? You're standing in a spot, and I'll find you. I'm just gonna go back to the Grace. That's right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what's it called? My favorite region, Siofra. Uh, Kalem Ruins. This is the one right here. Okay. Uh, Siofra is my favorite area, aesthetics-wise. And a lot of the gameplay. There's a lot of little things about that area I enjoy. Um, actually, I'm very close to a level. I want to see if I can kill a couple splody boys real quick. Kill some splody lads. Where are they? There you are. Oh, these guys are a lot beefier than, uh... When I came through here as like level five million, and they only dropped twenty-five runes. Fuck that. <laughs> Not worth it. Anyway. Twenty-five whole runes. Yeah. Uh. Do I need to pop another summon? No. Should. Are you still heading over here? Yeah, my sign is down there now. By the right by the. Oh. Case. There it is. I like Liernia. I like Liernia from above. I don't like being down in the swampy areas. But I love the first kind of view you get of like the low-lying swampland and the distant Rai Lucaria. It's really cool. I wish Liernia was split into two sections. Because it kind of is, but I wish there was a more harder divide between like the, the outskirts and that swamp where the Albanoric village is. Mm -hmm. And the water area and rare Lucaria. I wish there was more of a divide because otherwise it's just way too big. Yeah, it is just one giant block of the it's, map it's that just like, has a ton of stuff you in get, it. Yeah. And like the water area is really not fun to oh. explore because it's just flat and open. What's going on? I wonder if it's on your end or my end. I don't know. Well, I'm going to get murdered by maybe it's giant the, uh, dogs now. Maybe it's the platform you're on. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. I can just reset the game real quick. I've had it open a long time. The blueness. Raya Lucari itself was gorgeous. Big fan. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna reset my game. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Fucking jump, like jump scare audio. <laughs> Cut off. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Crossing into Dragon Barrel territory, but that we there would still be a wall. It wouldn't just kill the connection, you know. You just want to say hi, yeah. Appleton. Thank you for the soup. Did you get the invitation to test the new direct cheering? If so, do you have any thoughts? Do you be comfortable sharing on stream? I have not been invited to the beta yet. Um, my my two cents is that I'm not opposed. To the idea behind it, but I don't like the idea of it replacing cheering, um, mm -hmm. because uh, a couple reasons. Um, one is that like it's like no matter how you choose to support a streamer or any kind of content creator on the internet, there's always platforms taking their cut, right? If you tip someone through PayPal, PayPal's taking a cut out of the like dollar or five dollars, whatever you send. Um, same thing with subscribing. You know, it's like you put down five bucks, Twitch takes a cut and then passes along the what remainder savings of the split to, to the streamer um what was that Does they pass on the savings to you they pass the savings well they pass some of the profit on to you um where I, and and so it's like that that that's sort of calculation so i've had people ask me before like you know how do i best support you and it's like that's a very con considerate uh question and 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 a very kind thought for me it's just like anything that you want to do i appreciate um the thing that makes the most sense is really bits, because the way bits work is you buy them from Twitch, 
and there's a premium on top of it that goes to Twitch, once you have bits in your wallet or whatever, you can spend them. And it's one to one. So it's like if someone drops a hammy, that's 10 bucks that is going to me. Uh, because Twitch already made their cut of it when you bought them in the first place. So it's very easy to kind of do that equation, that calculus. Um, and the super cheering, direct cheering thing is more like a typical tip where um, there's sort of a cut being taken from it at the time that it happens. I'm not going to sit here complaining saying it's bad because it's like there's diff it, it, they make sense for different reasons and there's no platform that I know of that's just like 100% goes directly to the person when you're like supporting someone that way. Um, no. There's always a cut because those platforms works. need to continue to exist. It, it makes sense. But the issue is that with the current beta they've been running, the direct cheering replaces cheering with bits. You cannot cheer with bits. Um, and so it's like you're removing that option, and also you can't customize like, oh, if someone direct cheers $11, a fancy lure place. It's like it's set to these set increments of like 5, 10, 20 bucks, or whatever it is. They're if not I, getting if rid I of it. remember bits. right. It's just they're, they're the, running the, the, an experiment. Well, but they might be. <laughs> they, they might be. I mean, that, that seems to be what part of the experiment um, is about. If, if I remember right, uh, someone on Twitter uh, followed me. The journalist, I guess you could say. Um, he he did a breakdown of like the 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 cuts that streamers will get if you donate versus Twitch bits versus super cheer, and it's like if you're for for like if you're thinking between bits and direct. Oh my god, it's a rotten line. If you're thinking here. between like bits and just a, a PayPal tip or whatever, if it's like below ten dollars then Twitch bits are a better bet because, like, it's like... To, well, to well, put it like this, if, if you... PayPal's upfront cut is is ridiculous well, PayPal until has, it's over a certain amount. PayPal has a flat fee they charge on top of a percentage. So, yeah. if you're doing a small amount via PayPal, a very small amount of that actually goes through to the, the streamer. Um, yeah, like, if you, if you, if you, like tip like go through paypal one dollar to someone they're only gonna get like 48 cents <laughs> i think it's actually less than that but again i'm not gonna yeah, sit here complaining about that if someone wants to drop me a buck i'll be like cool thank you yeah exactly I appreciate it i'm not gonna yeah. be like you should do that through a different form of payment How because it's like you? i don't care i really appreciate it yeah, you. you do you if anything i want people to know so that they can decide what makes sense and realize that there are these different kind of factors at play but just just go mail physical currency you yep. know um but, yeah, so it's like, I, I don't know, if I get invited to the beta, I'll have to decide if I want to opt into it or not. I'm kind of tempted not to, though, because it's like, I don't know. The thing that I do like about it, though, is that the way it works is that you do it through the, the chat, like, you know, like subscribing or bits or whatever. And then if you do a direct cheer, uh, you pick an emote and then a set number of non-subscribers in chat get that emote for the rest of stream. And I actually like that. It's like, I like things like that that are like Twitch taking advantage that it's their platform. It, it'd be easy to just go, we took tipping streamers and just built it into the platform. That's like the, it's just like, okay, great, I guess. Like it doesn't, it, that's not very exciting, but but like re building it into the ecosystem and having it have these other benefits is like, I'm a fan of that. That makes me want to tip streamers I'm watching and be like, oh, like, this is a very, like, everyone's using this emote, so let me just give that emote to a bunch of people at random. Like, I, I like that idea. Um, so I'm a fan of it existing if it was, like, you can subscribe, you can cheer, and you can direct cheer. Of, like, these different things that overlap and benefit the streamer in different ways, and the community or whatever. Um, I don't like it replacing bits. Because of the way that the cut works out and all that stuff, and also because bits are any amount one to infinity. And it, a lot of streamers... Everyone in this call, a lot of like everyone I know, have custom alerts for certain amounts. Um, it gives a, mm -hmm. a, a really good opportunity for streamers to, you know, create their own kind of jokes and and uh, the community and that kind of stuff. Hi back. Hey, welcome back. I'm I'm hanging out back here um, at the Kalem ruins. And I that's got my you. sign down. Hopefully. There you are. There was a rotten line here before, so I wasn't sure if it was still them. Um, well, the thing is, like, I would presumably still be able to keep the hammies, because those are just 10 bucks, but I, I mentioned before, my plan with hammies has been when I eventually get around to making more. Um, I'm at a point now where there's, like, 
16 hammies or something. I don't want the RNG to just get more and more ridiculous. So I was like, well, I'll just take all the current ones and drop them down to like 900 bits and then keep new hammies at 1,000. Let's try this again, Dan. We want to, we want to try running again? Yeah, let's try it. And if it disconnects right. you again, then we know, like, just don't go this way, I guess. Also, these wolves get aggroed. I really want to stick away from them. Because they mean and they run forever. They do, they do like to run. I'm playing on PS5. Yep. Got there in the end, I see. Eh. Did it. <laughs> I'm used to just be on horseback and mashing triangle. Uh, what's up? Yeah. Nothing. I was definitely not watching. <laughs> <laughs> just. I want the skulls, damn it. Shit. Ah. Well. Hit. Something about this little corner. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just meet you there, I guess. All right. Just heading north yeah, across the little jump, right? Yeah, head north, and then there's the. Like... <laughs> I made the jump. I'm good. Barry. Holy shit. Barry. <laughs> that was. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck, Barry. Might not have. Get on uh, your horse. You know. Yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, a gold pickle? Yeah, no. increase your rune gain. Because it'll be I like, don't... instead of 70k, it'll be like 100k. I don't think so. Don't know where I would have gotten one. Who's this? Lady Lime Lingus! <laughs> Glad we got what a cult of limes Lady going. Lime Lingus? <laughs> I just cult use horse. Of limes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, there's one close to Waypoint Ruins. Where's that? Uh, where was the Waypoint Ruins? Did I. Did, uh -huh. Which one is that? You could go see Patches real quick. He has some. I haven't been to Patches. Patches drops the recipe book. If you want to kill him. I do want to kill him. We could do that. Do you want to do that, Dan? Yeah, you... you what are we doing? Do you, got the, do you want to kill you Patches the and place. then... Yeah, let's go kill Patches. Yeah, I got the grace here. Um, yeah, you got the grace here. So where so should we... Agil Lake North and then... That sounds good. All right. Let's head out from there. Patches is a friend. Is he? Tell me the patches is a friend. Okay. Yeah, all right. Just because he sells you things doesn't make him a friend. In fact, it's a very patches low bar to clear. Friend of mine. You need better friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've said it before. My my first real FromSoft game that I really got into and eventually beat was Dark Souls 3, and he's a jerk in that. He's a big old jerk. It's kind of My first was in Bloodborne, and he's a fucking spider in that. <laughs> it's even worse. Uh, it's this even worse. Like, this way. He got his redemption arc in this game, did he? That's another quest yeah. line that fizzled out for me, because I I spared him, and then he was like, okay, goodbye. I came back, and there was a, there was a transporter tra chest where I fought him. Um. And then I met him again. I eventually found him in the Volcano Manor after I killed Rykard, and he was like, Well, guess we're all leaving. I was like, How long have you been here? When did this happen? And so I bought all this stuff, and then I don't know where he went after that. So. So you didn't finish the the Limgrave quest, did you? What Limgrave quest? Kenneth? No, that's another one. Kenneth was like, Oh, meet me back at my castle. And he was there, and he was like, Well, I can't make you king of the castle. Goodbye. Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, did you? Oh, you give um, Nephili a bird thing? No, Nephili was at round table. And she's like, I gotta go, and then she that's left. And I didn't right. know where. I didn't know where Nephili went. That, it's a running theme where NPCs <laughs> fuck off, and she I'm like, they could be anywhere. Cool. They could be. Are we gonna kill these guys or just run through? Yeah, sure. Also, we got this invite invader to deal with. Mm -hmm. Invader? I hardly even know her. Yeah. <laughs> Get the dragonfly. God. I'm trying to backstab the dead skeleton. My, I was stuck in the animation. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Ow. Stop it. Yeah. She goes to the Albanark village, which I ran through. 
Never found her. She's just before the boss. Which boss? The beast hunter. No, boss no, the village. Marauder boss, not the witch boss. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the omen killer. I don't even remember where you fight him at Albanarks. Village. Huh. Yeah. The, the quest only got in a few months after release, if I remember right. Was it bugged? It, so the quest ended uh, much earlier at that point. Oh. It was just, it, they just didn't have it in the game. Gotcha. Oh. There was, there was well, a lot of NPC quest sense. lines that they added way after the fact. Hey, fuck you. I missed. I missed too. This guy messed he me up him. when I first met him. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay, this, free back. This was when I was like, oh, bleed's good in this game. Yeah. Yeah. Don't heal. Don't I heal. His, you son I of a bitch. His blade and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that. And I'll keep the kitchen knife too. Shit. What? How did he get what? healing after he drank and he had He no drank healing. and had an animation of no healing and then he magicked up another one. Someone this read, guy. Me, rated his message. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he's oh, here good, to help. Good timing. Good, great. <laughs> great timing. Really Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Thanks, Shabri Bri. <laughs> Thanks, Yura. He's not Shabriri yet. All right. Yet. Where's the cave? It's like it's uh. It's like back here, right? Right here somewhere, right? Yeah. This, so I missed this cave because I fought the invader, and he killed me, and then I came back to him later, and I didn't realize. Oh, back over here to the side, is a fucking cave. I was like, what? There's two caves in this. Hey, guess what, Dan? Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Do you want me to snap you out of the world? We could... Yeah, sure, just snap me out. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better way to do it. You're gonna have to fight the invader, yeah, I think. And you're in... Oh. Goodbye. I missed that. I could apparently sever my own finger. <laughs> sever your leg, sir. You know, sir. you shouldn't sever your own fingers, Dan. I already did it. <laughs> can't stop me. I can't play the game. <laughs> my fingers are bleeding. <laughs> How many fingers left? He healed because Shabriri showed up. We didn't need him. We were fine. <laughs> Shabriri. We didn't fucking need him. You can't summon inside caves. You can go into caves because friends because it's stupid. Yep. It is extremely stupid. Um, let me... Uh, strength. Let me be strong. Hmm. No. Mm. Oh, yeah. You don't have to two-hand your weapon anymore. Nope, but I still am because I don't have a shield. For some reason. Yeah. Funny that. Let me know when you get there, Dan. I'm gonna see if I can... I'm gonna try to head south. I kinda want... I wanna get a lantern. I wanna get a lantern. Ooh, getting a lantern, eh? I want a lantern. Mm. I don't like being in dark caves, and then on stream it's gonna be just a completely garbled mess. That's uh. what the people... Uh -oh. That's what the people want. want. It's what you uh, love, right, chat? Not being able to see what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Big nope. fans. What a dual wield weapon, though. Hmm. Didn't really mess with dual wielding much. I did. It was a lot of fun. I know. I watched. It looked fun. Eh. And then you get smacked around by stuff, and I was like, <laughs> I would have just blocked. As if that makes me the better player. <laughs> and then I fucking oh, eviscerated enemies in a single combo. Yep, because you'd be like, bleed, 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 and they explode. Bleed, 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 space monsters, and then they all wanted this planet for some reason, and they fucked with it a lot. Oh yeah, you did just get the weapon I, I've used for my entire run. Which weapon? The Reduvia Red Blade, Blood Blade. You used that your whole run? Dude. Yeah, I used whole, it's really fucking good. Mm -hmm. It's like the so best blood dagger. Thank you for the soup. 
apart from the one that you get at the beginning, which is just a kitchen knife. Hmm. Damn. Just gonna zoom through here real quick. Ow. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure nothing will shoot you. Yeah, I'm good. Yoink. I'm literally just oh, trying to speedrun getting down here so I can get to the merchant. See if I do it. Are you gonna talk to that woman who needs your help on the side of the road? Nah, she's fine. She doesn't need my help. I'm not doing Castle Morn. She's fine. Hey, ma'am. You good? She's good. She's good. How you doing, Dan? I'm good. I'm just uh, fighting this lad. Oh, the invader? Mm hmm. I want to see how far I can get by the time Dan's ready. <laughs> she can die without his help. <laughs> she doesn't need my help to die. It's true. Uh, it's so Ugh. true. Let's make it daytime real quick. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna fight him? No. You gonna fight him? No. Why not? No. Am I going the right Good. way? Where am I? Uh. -uh. uh Past that. Good morning. Good day, sir. Lands between his location of the Elden Ring, which is an artifact sent down by the Greater Will that seems to literally embody the laws of the universe. In order to properly anchor the Greater Will's power to the world, the vessel must be made of the Elden Ring, who becomes the god of the world, and they require a concert to help rule an Elden Lord. There you go. Use a finger remedy here. Is, the, the, is, is someone there waiting? Is someone here? Is there someone there? Is there anybody <laughs> out there? Is funny bit. <laughs> I is it the same person just changing their name? I I think so. <laughs> it's amazing. It's you never stop. You're amazing. Yeah, thank you. Ah oh, shit. Uh, I am I'm at the grace. Okay, I'm almost to the merchant ish, right? It's it's through past. Wait, do I have to go? I have to go this way. I don't know. I don't remember what merchant you're going to. It's the Doesn't one the near the one. First merchant have a lantern. I think he's a torch. Um, it's it's uh, uh the guy to the west of the peninsula near where the wandering mausoleum is. Dog. Dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. I think I think dog. I can get there real real soon, real quick. I'm zooming. Mm -hmm. Box chicken, Barry. I know. I sure didn't so pick up the map. It's not here. going very fast. Listen, I speed ran the first boss. What do you want me to do? I jumped off Marika a cliff is like the current lord, and her current lord is Radigan, and they pissed off the greater will because Marika shattered the Elden Ring after becoming demoralized from the stagnation of the world. Radigan tried to put it back together, and so to stop anyone from changing anything, sealed the earth tree, the source of life in the lands between. Mm hmm. Yeah, this sounds about right. Mm hmm. Other than the weird thing with the statue, is there any kind of, like, tease in game about Radagon America being like the same because I was well, extremely isn't, confused isn't, doesn't like gold mask quest do something about that uh, yeah I think gold mask does something with gold it I, the only thing I knew was the statue yeah I didn't even do I the statue I found the statue I, uh, it's just the most obscure fucking quest yeah Melna says some yeah. things oh yeah the turtle pipe probably says some things too well, the Turtle Pope is the one that's like, oh, there's a, a guy who made a um, a statue of Radican, and when he learned the, the skeleton in his closet, he, he put it in the statue. And I was like, what? The fuck does that mean? I am almost to the merchant. The dog's ringing his bell. It's time for dinner. Yep. I love the mausoleum so much. Yeah. Big dog. Big, big dog. I love the one that you have to, like, parkour on top of. Hello. Well, it's been a How can I May I have? I can't. <laughs> uh, you don't have enough money. Uh, I got some runes. Uh, I picked up you a few. Just, just sell them to him. Nah, just eat the runes. Marker had a previous Elden Lord who was a barbaric warrior, Horalu. Chief of the Badlands. Who was named Godfrey. Godfrey was no uh, the uh, the one who Horton hears. All right. Uh, oh, good. Godfrey was the first Elden Lord Mark because Waters. he helped Marika subjugate the various races of the land between. 
And when it came time to rule the world, he took the beast Sarosh onto his back to literally contain his bestial spirit. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm at Murkwater. Are you here, Dan? Are you here? Yes, my sign should be down. I don't, Dan I don't see it. Me. I don't see it, Dan. Is it right by the grace? Yes. I don't see it. Pop it again. Bubba doo Um. Do you have one popped? Oh, I hear one. Is this Dan or is it a lime? It's Dan. <gasps> Can we get a why do they call it an oven from Dan but in Turtle Pope's voice? How, what's Turtle Pope? He's he's kind of like. What's he sound like? Yeah, I think he's just like. Oh, oh what are we doing? Hello. Why, why do they call it an oven when you? I'm the Turtle the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> why do they call it oven? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I got a lantern, Dan. Oh, wow. You're a beacon of light. Light also, and hope. you have a lantern. You also have a lantern? No, I was I was trying to be nice because I like, oh. get it. You're a, a beacon of light. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a million dudes here. here. Oh, poison. They, they take like two hits. They Three do hits. just charge a million dudes, though. That's because you fucking ran right into the trap. Well... We is a strong word. I didn't say we, I said you. <laughs> I like the trap. Ring a ling a ling. Uh, is there anything in this little side room? I forgot. I think yeah, this is the side is. room. Oh. Wait, where'd you go? The side room. No, oh, this one. Uh... Oh my goodness. Treasure! Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Why is it always mushroom? <laughs> Visions of mushroom. Praise the mushroom. Behold mushroom. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> you ready to murder patches? Let's do it! Are, what, yeah, what are we doing? That's are murdering. We, are we murdering? Yeah. Okay. Get him. I don't need a gesture to help me beg. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh. Guess there's no boss. that real quick. Well, well, well. <gasps> it's not nice. He'll never, no, he'll never see me. Hello, Patches. <laughs> this is immensely satisfying. <laughs> Just completely chew him up. Oh, I can't, I can't finish him. Oh. Now I can. <laughs> he popped back into reality. <laughs> Up back to reality. See a oh, patch. patches. A bell bearing. Oh, good thing I did do round table then. A single golden rune. <laughs> oh, he gave me two. Two level one golden runes. Goodbye, Dan. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Oh. Nate. There you go. Um. Now I don't need to return hey, to the entrance. Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah, he's been here for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Scott's a trip. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's up, dude? How you doing? I just smoked that shit that made the Elden Ring. You know what I'm saying? Bam. <laughs> Damn, son. Uh, Damn. Bummer. Boop, 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 boop. How you doing, man? I'm okay. I got a milkshake. Ooh, what Ooh. flavor? What flavor? Vanilla. <gasps> oh. mm. Gold pickled mm, foul. It's, nice. it's good Classic. when you. It's good when you like milkshakes like every day. Yeah. I do love milkshakes. I mm. buy that. Uh. Yeah. I I buy that. Uh. I'm that guy that goes to the grocery store and gets like the like the two gallon ice cream tub that has the handle. And I put that in my freezer, so it can last me like a month. A month of milkshakes. It's good shit. Um, Dan, I'm gonna um, meet you somewhere. Yeah, what do we want to do? What do you uh, I'm I I got the Dragon Barrel West Grace. If you want to meet me there. 
Unless there's a smarter way to approach Grail. Dragon Barrel it's West, the one. It's the one that we were heading towards. Where you jump across the little gap. Okay, okay. I I will put my sign there. So, uh, you guys, what cover? What topics did you guys cover? Uh, we didn't really go topic by topic. We just kind of randomly mentioned a whole bunch of shit, which is sort of how okay. my brain works. Um, but I went through my screenshots, which covered very roughly the whole game, and now Dan and I have started new characters, and we just kind of run through a little bit. You just took a picture of every spot in the game. Every spot. No, I just took pictures of you know, haha, funny messages. Oh, okay. And it was like, oh yeah, that reminds me that this area was neat. Remember that meme that went on for like three months of like, welcome to Jacksonville, Florida or something, and it would be like, you know, this A place. picture of Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Caleb. Yeah. That was a good one. That kind of lasted as long as <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> it's like, fuck. So there's, there's Dan, which is <laughs> let her solo me, and then... Lime her solo me. Lime her solo me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it looks like the green giant. <laughs> so stoic. Radioactive Captain Planet. We've had a bit of a lime. That is a very Captain Planet haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Planet. Captain Planet, I don't think has a haircut. I, I think that's like the shape of his head. He, yeah. He has like like yeah. a mullet, but like it's it's like I think he, it's he all was skull. growing a mullet. <laughs> But they were doing like a. He asked for a military haircut, but they stopped halfway through. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I'm in the military, but I also like to party. Um. So what's the best way to Grail that's not going to get us murdered on the way? Just as the crow flies. Okay. Crows go this way, right? No, they go right towards this big dragon. I do kind of want the map. That would. Gotta get the map. That would help my gotta brain. Gotta get that map. So, so, okay. It's, a, what are it's some... like a gauntlet. We mm -hmm. gotta make it through. Wait, we're what going through the hot... dragons? Hell yeah. Hot takes? Oh, the dragons. What are some hot takes? So, Barry, do you hate anything that everyone else likes? Or vice versa? Does anybody, um... like, hate something but everyone else is fine with it? You know, those are usually shields. Hot. For me, it's, it's actually a fair amount of I <laughs> like or don't mind things that everyone seems to hate. Who uses shields? Like, I you, I love shields. Right? I live behind a shield. You know there's a dodge button, right? <laughs> you can what? You can like, if they're going to hit you, you can just get out of the way. There's no phone booth boss fight. There's, like, you, can, <laughs> you have room. You can go around. I learned that... That would be hilarious. Like, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. <laughs> he's like a centimeter away from you. <laughs> <laughs> And just slap fights. You can't raise your sword. <laughs> I learned that the, uh, nice, the the speed tech is to crouch walk. That recovers your stamina very quickly. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, the very complicated yeah, tech. Yeah, we'll do that. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna grab the grace back here. Yeah, oh. the shields are cool. You know, it's, I'm not saying it's just like you know. There are. Hey, look at this cool shield. log. It's a neat log. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I uh, I shielded my way through my first Dark Souls one playthrough with a uh, like the Eagle Shield and the Heater Shield. I but, used um, the brass one, I think. I always just tried to get something that was like at least ninety eight percent defense or something. Hmm. Because a lot of them just would be like fifty or something, and then you would still get hit from half the damage or whatever. You know, you guys know yeah. how shields work. Yeah, you want a hundred percent. Who is here? Who is this? Who's waiting for us here? Slimey like wimey. <laughs> Son? Thank you. Son. From behind the tree? Mm -hmm. My boy. Um, All right, so do you have a bleed weapon, Barry? Sure don't. How I'm about... just surprised this many people have PS5s. How... <laughs> yes, you do have a bleed weapon, Barry. The bleed dagger. Oh, you do? You silly oh, goose. Reduvia. I can't silly hold it. Goose. A bloody dagger. I don't have with Dex or Arcane. Okay, well, how about... How about I just... I just put this on the ground. And can you use it? What'd you put on there? Uh, do you have a gold pickled foot? Because I got a spare. I Let's do, do have it. Yeah, can you use that? Uh, nope. Don't have the dex. I can try. Try dual it, wielding it. What's this debuff on us? Oh. It's the Is dragon it? roared at us. Oh. Um. Rude. Nah. What about... Do you have anything bleed? 
I sure you did don't have pick. A, you don't have a morning star? Uh, I have a flail I can't use. <laughs> how about, okay, uh, how about. Oh, yeah, down there. It only affects strength. Mm hmm, mm hmm. How about. What if I just punch it? Just punch it to death. Wait. Is yeah. the idea that without yeah. bleed, it's going to take even longer? Yeah, bleed yes. is not possible, basically. Hmm. It should still be build bleed, wouldn't it? You just can't. It just won't deal a lot of damage. Well, in that no, case, like, you you do need the bleed hemorrhage to go off. Can you can you can you equip this berry? Yeah. Uh, morning star. So, what's everyone's uh, favorite weapon? I can. Hey. Reduvia blood dagger. Really? Yep, yeah, I'm that you guy. Also, you also like the Uchi Katana in Dark Souls One? <laughs> no, I I never played Dark Souls One. Well, if you played it, you'd like the Uchi Katana. I probably would. You probably would. No, my. But Damn. Everyone does. I, mean, I like it. <laughs> but I like. There's a finger in this game. You guys like the finger? Oh, I have the finger hammer. That's my secondary weapon. I love. Yeah, that. it does. It does a big flick. Yeah, I, I, I love the big purple bulbous finger with the ring on it. I like how you waited until you had help before attacking the oh, dragon. Oh, I've got to fight back. Actually, wait. Okay, yeah. Eh. Well, when I did this in my solo Very, playthrough, you used it one-handed. You goon. Is one handed gonna be better for this? Because you can get faster DPS, and what you're really trying oh. to do is bleed dicks. Right. Hey, so there the bleed, we go. The bleed bar increases faster. Um, when I did this in my solo playthrough, I killed the dragons around it, and after my second dragon, I was like, "Wait, is each dragon lowering its health?" So I thought that that was the only way to kill it, because I never just tried running up and hitting it in the side for an hour, because. Why would I do that? <laughs> yeah, I hit it in the face over and over, and then when I was done, I saw somebody on a different stream hit the tail like this, and I was like, ah, because there's a bunch of dragons covering the face. So mm -hmm. I would go in on my horse, get one hit in, and then go back, and then do that for like. This so, is like what I literally did. I just hid in its tank. <laughs> no, I just I killed. I was like, oh, it's got a health bar. What if I use bleed on it? <laughs> I just killed the dragons, and every dragon you kill takes out a chunk of its health, so I just did it till it was really low, and then I bopped Wait, it on the face. Oh, you, that's cool. I didn't know You that. did pop yeah. the golden thing, right? No. We're, we'll, we'll do it when, it, we'll do when it's it. low. Okay. Yeah. Do it. I'm not hitting it. Oh, well, then hit it. <laughs> I need to be, like, right on the spot. Why is it not so, attacking back? Because it's too big to move, and its face is way over there. Yeah, I was going to I don't know why I don't do that. Like a fool. I just I want to state for the record that I didn't even know. <laughs> I got this one there. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um, no, but going back to weapons bubbles like you talked about, my, my thing was like, I really wanted to mess with the ashes of war. I didn't fully get it. I think we should pop them. Um, I didn't fully get how it worked, but every weapon I used didn't let me use ashes of war. So I basically never used them the entire game. It made me sad. Damn. I used uh, specifically Beast Roar, and I did a Wolverine playthrough, so he'd like just roared like Hugh Jackman likes to do, and I had the claws, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I got the wolf mask from that guy's set. Ooh. That sounds neat. You can get Blade? 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 Blade. Blade. Or something like that. Anyway, it's been a while since I heard somebody in the game pronounce his name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. I'm, so, I'm time. so happy that they took a voice actor to actually pronounce his name correctly. Because you knew that there would be like one nerd online that was like, guys, it's actually pronounced Blade. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and like now, like they say it all the time in the game, so now they, you know. Neat. It's like in Final Fantasy VII, they only call Red like Nanaki once. So, like. Hey, Barry. Good fight. You remember to pop the thing? Yeah, I popped the thing. Okay. Still active. What's uh, everyone's favorite boss? Someone asked me earlier, and I'm still not sure. I know I mine, but I'll maybe say maybe Radon. But I, I'm trying to think if there's any other boss that I liked more than Radon. I feel like I just need to look at like a fucking tier list just to like see them all. Make a tier Here, list. I'll get one up. Could, we could we could do a fucking tier list. Why does oh, somebody else's list. opinion of what a good boss is? Yeah. There's still a summon let's, here. Let's go. Tier Cower for lime. The big battle boss. <laughs> My favorite boss is whenever I walk into a room and there's just a big fucking metal sphere and it slowly rolls towards me. Those are great. Um, maybe, maybe, Mo maybe true Mog for me. I don't know. 
you got, make a, you got make a, a tier list for like for all the calves in the games to see who, which NPC has the best pair of calves. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm looking at this one. There is an Elden Ring Smashal Pass. That's Ooh. good. Um, Elden Ring Bosses Tier List Maker. It has 107 poop emoji rankings. So that it, seems good. Some of them, you need to make sure, like, because there's Remembrance Bosses, and then there's some that don't have all the bosses. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's a good one. Here's, it has the names underneath them as well. That's handy. I think I found the same one. Battle Mage Hughes? I don't remember him. You know, Hughes. <laughs> hmm. You get off whole list in front of you, Bear? I, is this what we're doing now? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> telling you to make a tier list. And pick a, just pick a favorite. Mm -hmm. There's so many the of them, though. Like... There's so many. Uh... Honestly, like, I think the fucking spectacle of Godric was, like, one of my favorite instances of the game was just like mm -hmm. wait this is a dragon list. head off you actually like, have an oh that's cool yeah i don't think i'm gonna actually rank them all i just want to see who i'm like that's i i adore the burial watchdogs <laughs> um i do like how the biggest word on here is patches somebody in chat was like patches, patches zest here and i was like oh is patches on this oh he obviously <laughs> like it's <laughs> It's like finding patches on here took me point one seconds. This <laughs> fuck. Um. Yeah, I I really enjoyed the the burial watchdogs. They became a little bit obnoxious when they just start showing up like three at a time in certain catacombs later on. But I did like them. Oh, falling star beast. The triple crystal yes. enemy sucks too. The, the oh, triple that's, crystal that's dancer. Really favorite. The crystal. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck the, them. Fuck the triple crystal fight. The the triple, triple crystal, crystal fight dancers. was rough. Um. The duos, I didn't mind as much. Um, oh, you actually going to rank these? No. I no, just, he's not going to do it. He's no. just sees a list. I'm just going to grab the ones that I'm like, I really like that fight. Falling Star Beast fucked me up real bad. Oh, that is a cool one visually. A, yeah. Such a fun It looks fight. like a Zelda boss. It felt like a Monster yeah. Hunter fight. It did kind of have the that way monster. Just kind of monster like, Hunter is very, like, they have a lot of colors and neon and in a lot of the current Monster Hunter games. I can see why you feel that way. Mm hmm. My mm. favorite guy. Mm -hmm. My favorite boss, because of the joke, um, yeah, sure. is uh, where is he? I don't know if he's on this list. It's Makar. Where is oh, he? Oh, he's got to be here. Um, Dude, where's Makar? Exactly, because when the boss fight starts, he's behind a pillar. Yep. So every time I started the fight on stream, I would say, Dude, where's Makar? Mm -hmm. where and is that's he? why he's my favorite. Where's Makar? Dude, where's Makar? Dude, where's Makar? I don't think he's on this list. He's got to be That's a perfect here. time to say it, though. Yeah. He's not here so he can do the joke. That's yeah. how good he is. I really like Makar. Well, He'll I don't be red. <laughs> so, yeah. if you want to look for the color red. I, I don't think he's on here. Huh. Only yeah, Magma Worm is there? Where's Magma Worm? That's close enough. Because Ma Makar is just like a named Magma Worm. Yes, the first magma Next worm. Well, Moog. you could fight another. You could fight a different one first. Where was Moog? <laughs> it's like every time I see something, I lose it. Uh, next to Moog. Yeah, but where's Moog? Oh my God! It's alphabetically. It's alphabetically ordered. It's alph. I just, I just noticed. That took me. A Except mag that it magma. isn't, because the ones at the very end aren't in alphabetical order. Oh, they, these are like ones they it's, forgot. It's, those are like <laughs> it's like B to Z to A. You know, mm -hmm. it's like the 150 Pokemon, and at the end they just put Mewtwo. And... Oh, yeah, I think they just did magma yeah. worm for Makar, so. There he is. Yeah. Um. Oh my God! It just this is like fucking when Frodo is just sitting down. And he solves the riddle on the door. Speak, friend, and enter. Speak, friend. <laughs> like um, it's all I like spit up my coffee. It's all mm -hmm. I I would put the Dragonkin soldiers at like a D tier. I did not enjoy yeah, fighting. I didn't enjoy fighting them, and every time I saw one, I was like, ah, fuck. Especially the Lake of Rot one, but all of them, I was like, ugh. It, it, they were like the epitome of giant boss, so lock on is garbage. Hits really fast and really hard, and you're just like. Damn. Trying to figure out, like who my favorite would be if it was just gameplay and they all didn't have names. I think Mimic Tear is a classic throwback to just doppelganger in an RPG game, mm -hmm. and it's been too mm -hmm. long on, since we've had a, a doppelganger fight, like a Dark yeah. Link in a Zelda. Too and, long. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Dark Link copied. Castlevania, but we won't talk about that. I forgot that there was a Red Wolf fight that was like a named boss. I yeah, remember seeing yeah, them showing up. One of, mm -hmm. the, the 
Actually, wasn't there like a Link on Link fight in Zelda 2 side scroller? I think so. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was the first where Dark Link yeah. came That's the one from. we were talking about. Dark yeah. Link. Okay, that's where the first Dark Link was. I thought it was like yeah. the first one was in the 3Ds, but whatever. No, Dark um, Link was the final boss. Above. Oh, it is Zelda 2. I mean, mm -hmm. that shows how, you know, I don't play bad games, you know? Uh, I mean, I love Zelda 2, but Ocarina you're not wrong. <laughs> I watched Ocarina of Time. <laughs> there you go. Spear Call Snail is S tier. Go. S Snail tier. That's up there. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually surprised. I'm I thought I would be like, oh, definitely like, this one I've was my favorite. Them, it's just like... Remember them. <laughs> A lot of these fights, I'm just like, whew, all right. I can't believe fucking it. Tree Sentinel gets to be on here, but not Makar. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's like, not even a boss Tree Sentinel. Do they even have the other there. Tree oh, Sentinel? Tibia Mana. Tibia Mana, up to S2. Put it up on S2. You can, you can be up there. You oh, also, I'm like, I'm big up. fuck the fire giant. I hate that shit. Yeah, that I was, that, 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 that fight I'm was glad my I got first it first try. Game, that like, I'll, put him as a, I'll put him as a B. My thing with Fire Giant is I took him down, I think, second try, and I, if I didn't, I'd probably hate him. Instead, I just yeah, found him that, awkward that and exact, annoying, but not well. that bad. He, he fucking sucks. Yeah, probably. It, it's, it's one of the things, too, like, there's so many instances of him where it's totally against the, like, FromSoft, FromSoft boss design. Because either A, half the time, you can't see anything he's fucking doing. Mm -hmm. The hitboxes make no sense on most of his attacks. And then half the time, he just runs away. Yep. And it's like, okay. Yeah, fine. he just, he's like, I'm going to roll uh, over my shoulder, which means I'm now incredibly far away. Um, That fight felt and like if you, them if you saying... only have, like, melee two in mm -hmm. phase two, it's a pain in the ass of, like, hit the eye. For, and it's like, I, don't, I can't. <laughs> you could summon Torrent for that fight, right? Yes. Yeah, so that that fight felt to me... Hey, a story boy. Welcome! We're talking Elden Ring. I got the game running over here. We're just doing a weird, awkward, not tier list right now. Oh, we're talking about Elden Ring. Um, Thanks, Ass Terry. Ass Terry. <laughs> um, I feel like Fire Giant was very much like, I, you better be good at hopping on and off of Torrent. Because a lot of it was like, hop on Torrent, chase him down, do some damage to his ankles, and then hop on Torrent and zip away. Um, yeah. because you would never be fast enough on foot, and if you were on Torrent the whole time, he'd probably punish you. You'd be, like, stuck in an animation and not able to break out of it. Um, for aesthetics, I would put Ranala pretty high up. I keep, I keep Ranala's wanting to beautiful. say, yeah, like, I keep wanting to, point. like, pick a favorite here, but it's all based on, like, visuals. Like, every time I think of, like, Loretta or, uh, or Godskin Apostle or something, mm -hmm. like, I loved how Godskin was, like, they felt like the, uh, the the big bad guy team in Space Jam, <laughs> the, the, the fucking monsters. Yeah, because they could like <laughs> bounce and warp their themselves yeah. and move weirdly fast yeah, for their size. I, like... I I get it now. I I see what you're saying and I hate it. So thank you. Yeah, I couldn't remember the monsters. Couldn't remember that name. No, that's all right. Sorry, sorry. I'm not a fucking <laughs> Space Jam Wikipedia. Yep. I think pure gameplay wise. The first phase of Horaloo, like the true God re Godfrey fight, might be my favorite thing in the game. Like, yeah, only the one. first phase. Ho Horaloo's phase sucks ass. <laughs> I don't mind Horaloo that much. Just some of his grapples are just really weird. Um, did, did did you you said you first tried him though? Yeah. No, I didn't first try him. I misspoke. I I did. Oh, okay. I beat him uh, without summoning, uh, like ringing the bell or. or or I, I could summon in Shabriri because I was on the Frenzied Flame path, and I didn't. I just wanted to one of you on him. I, I just I noticed Abductor Virgins yep. at the bottom. I, I didn't, didn't know even... those were a thing until after it's... I was looking stuff up near the end, and I was like, what? I didn't I didn't know that was the name of them. Yeah. Yep. What I, that, that, like, reminds me of every literal abductor in the world. It's <laughs> just... Damn. <laughs> just... All that, uh... all the child abductors out there. Valiant Gargoyle is a hard F tier. They're missing an S at the end there. I didn't even mind fighting it. It's just the fact that it's like a second one and poison over a wide the, area. The, the poison makes it spray garbage. is horseshit. It's, Without that, it covers, yeah. like, even the two of them at once, I'd be like, okay, this is stupid but manageable. The poison is like, fuck you. Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> I that, hate poison fights. That was so one of those yeah. fights that I tried a couple times and went, fuck this, I'm coming back when I'm overleveled. Because I was just like, this is not anything I can learn to get good through. It's just like, 
And at that point, I wasn't able to craft um, boluses for poison. I spent most of the game not being able to heal poison because I never met the merchant down at the beach right where you start. Feels good. It's, it's good something game. about those, uh, something about those huge bosses that move really fast unexpectedly. I kind of like that, but it's like, and then you fight fire giant and he's slow, and mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody's different. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about the tree spirits bubbles? Yeah, those are a bit repetitive, um, but they're not. They don't all do the same attacks. No, they have a bunch of different attacks, but they're fast yeah. as fuck and they're huge. They're pretty quick. Uh, they're pretty good. You would think that a horse would be better, but they do a lot of their worst attacks when you're on a horse. Mm -hmm. um, like, if you want to like stay close and dodge roll, that's probably safer because the, he does this, or they do this like fucking multi-laser homing beam attack where they all fly in the sky and they come at you. It's almost worse for any of the environments. And that one sucks, but any of and some of them are just like, you know, really small health bar, and some have like an incredibly large one that I just put a marker on, and I'm like, okay, I'll come back to you when I'm level ninety. Mm -hmm. And it's so at least they're not all the same. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I was I was referring to the the tree spirits, not the uh, the air tree avatars. Oh, what's the tree spirit? The tree spirits are the giant fuck you snake serpent dudes that the show up at the end of a couple catacombs and stuff. Things. Oh, the ones that are like undodgeable. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the ones that, yeah. What are you talking about? I mean, they're dodgeable. They, they're they're dodge. just, they, they cover your whole screen in, the, in their yes. attack. Yes. That's like, so easy you'll, to you'll target they lock them, but it looks... They're super not easy to dodge. Their hitboxes <laughs> like, make zero you don't Like, if you lock onto them, you don't even know what you're looking at. Yes. Yeah. When you lock, That's like, why you don't lock on. It's, like, connected right. to their, like, throat. You know where it is. <laughs> if the tree spirits on. were smaller, they'd probably be a lot more interesting to fight, but instead it's just like, yeah. I'm just gonna spin around and... Yeah, and they move around. Do nonsense. Like the, I like will the say, caterpillar from uh, fucking uh, Alice in Wonderland. Most of mm. the time, I feel like the problem is when they force you to fight them, they force you to fight them in tiny rooms where it's like, this oh, is impossible wait. for me to fucking fight this problem. Yep. It's like fucking, uh, it's like fucking uh, the bad, the asshole from Monsters, Inc. Randall. <laughs> <laughs> they move, he moves around like Randall. Those he moves like move they do. Like he moves like this. Fucking Randall from. I love the 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 epiphany you had. You're like, it's Randall. <laughs> it's Randall. It's alphabetical. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. Oh, rune bears suck ass. Rune bears. Yeah, rune bear avoid them. Yeah, I don't like the rune bears still, that much. Every bears. time I fight that boss, I'm going to call him Randall now. Mm -hmm. Fucking Randall again. Go to the Randall convention at the end of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm sticking with, with what I got here. We got Spirit Collar, Snail, Fallen Star Beast, and Tibia Mariner. This is all pretty about... solid. Yeah. Um just the, the fucking t snail fight where Redon's you're like, Oh my god, a summon. List. Oh my god, another yeah, boss. Oh my god, a third fucking thing, and then a snail shows up and you're like, Oh, this got to kill snail. I do like that the, the, the health bar comes up for the snail though. Yeah. <laughs> that is that yeah. is great. You're like, Oh my god, a snail. Yeah, my I favorite looking at the boss source, might Madonna's be the Lord of uh, really the, the, the the Snake Lord, the oh uh, Rikard. Yeah, because it's like every boss yes. can still be killed in like ten seconds. So you, it's like every time I think of any of these guys, I'm like, no, they got cool attacks, but I never see them because they die fast, like Radon. Mm -hmm. And everybody just, you know, maybe not everybody kills all these guys fast because they just don't level up enough and stuff. But I, I feel like I, you know, I, I've played a few of these before I played this one. So I knew to like do all the side missions. If I see a cave, do it, you know, mm -hmm. just, and then by the time you find a boss, you were already done all the side missions already and shit. So just dunk on them in two hits. I mean, so you do get really familiar if you don't level. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Sense. Yeah, I, I, it, yeah, it feels like yeah. a, a good half of the, maybe not half, maybe more like a third, but it feels like a good third of these. I either first tried or like second or third tried and never really yeah. learned them. So it's just like, oh yeah, I remember them. But then there's a couple where it's like, oh, I spent like an hour and a half on this one dude and learned every yeah, single tail and move. It's yeah, like, like Rune Bear at the That's bottom. That's kind of why left. I like Radon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Radon, like, you no one's gonna, Rune Bear. No one's going to S tier Rune Bear unless they're just really like bears. Like, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. It's like, I've, I, like, I, I do know all the Rune Bear's like moves, bears. and I still fucking hate it. That mm -hmm. fucking guy doesn't have a solar beam or something. It's just a bear. It's just, it's just a big bear. Just a big bear. Fucking I mean, bear. same thing with, with the, the, the Miranda knows. the Blighted Bloom, which this was one that I did when I was doing my, like, almost post-game cleanup. I was like, oh, I missed this cave. 
that has Which a flower as the boss. <laughs> I was like, I've killed like hundreds of these out in the world. I didn't know that the game locked one behind a fog door. That's hilarious. Like, I'm not sure it's F tier, oh, yeah, but I, just, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just funny. Because there's a lot of bosses that show up later as regular enemies. I always called it, mm -hmm. it's just like the Doom move. It's like, oh no, a big enemy, and then Doom's just like, okay, now it's just regular. It's a regular enemy, it's not a boss anymore. But sometimes it's like, oh shit, it's this guy again, and then it's like a flower in a room. Soldier of Godric's S tier. S tier, yeah. where is he? I don't know if he's on this list. What the fuck? Soldier, there he is. He's got a giant there he is. Figure yeah. out if I like any of these. Bam. So I think uh, Renala's really sweet because she's two phases. They're very yeah. different Renala's phases too. Phase yeah, it's not just like oh, the second phase is the same as the first. In the but the second like, phase, she can like summon dragons, like specter, spectral dragons, and spectral giants to fight you yeah. and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. and it's just uh, a gorgeous. You can kill fight. her pretty quick because she's like as weak as like Gwendolyn and Dark Souls One. You know, just like yeah, mm -hmm. as long as you don't have magic. <laughs> If you do her yeah. magic, she's a very That's one of those builds fight. where you don't mm. want to have a shield and a big weapon because it's not one of those enemies you want to, like, let... Th it's not like, okay, you play your cards and then I'll play my... You want to fucking just get her as soon as possible when mm -hmm. you're in that second phase. It's not one of those mm -hmm. things where you pulled your shield up. Well, I've seen so many casual players, like, go like, okay, phase two, what's going to happen? And they just sit and wait for her to do something and then react. That's the phase where you got to, like, take action. If you react, yeah. you're dead because she's going to summon a dragon. Why do you but have if Commander? You can hit her, then, you know. Why do you have Commander Niall and fuck this shit? Commander Niall's not that bad. I didn't think he was that bad. I, 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 he was hard, but I think he's a good fight. Yeah. Are they only allowed to use these six descriptors? <laughs> yep. <laughs> his gimmick is stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. His gimmick? What's his gimmick? Well, he just like rallies his troops and waves a big flag around. Yeah, but he doesn't summon multiple. You just kill the two right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You fight him under leveled. Well, that's true of everything. That's why a lot of times I reach a fight, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this later. Because then when I fight, I'm like, oh, I feel like, you know, I'm getting punished, but not two shot. Oh, my God. Who put Mimic Tier on F? Wait. Mimic Tier's is, great. It, who, wait, who did this? Are they in the chat? Can we show them? Yeah, this them? is Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bryce, you fucking moron. All right. <laughs> So, you, you to... earlier in the thing said you liked the mimic. <laughs> I'm just making fun of Bray. <laughs> yeah, ancestor spirits are great. I for the fight, I would put ancestor spirit lower for the aesthetic. S plus S S S S S. Same. So high. You didn't even put the bear in the B slot. It's B for bear. Rune bear goes to B. B for bear. B is for bear. Rune bear goes to R. Rune bear. Make fun of me too. See, they like it, Barry. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'll make fun of everybody. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the whole I'll, list, but hold, yeah, hold no, I, I, I legit think Falling Star Beast might be one of my favorite fights. Also, there's only two in the whole game. It's not one of those fights where like this was really cool, and now I fought seven of them, and now it's not magical anymore. Like that's how I felt about the um, uh, the 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 fucking Watchdogs. Like the first time you fight oh, one as a boss, it's like it's like what the fuck. Is this thing? It's like a weird yeah, automaton, and it's like a robot cat dog thing, and it's slamming down. I'm like what? And then they just keep throwing a million at you, and it's like, okay, well. Can you real quick put the Earth tree bearer watchdog in F tier for me? Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna put that in like a B tier for me because I like them. N fuck you. Yep. Fuck correct. I will you. say, I, I do you. think mimic tier tier is cool, but yeah. you can just take off all your clothes before the boss starts, and then but I love mimic that. Tears. I love that's that shit. That's fantastic. It's, that's such a fucking smart thing that's in the game that they just respect. It's not like, here's your character in like some in the same armor, but they have like all these moves. It's like, it's literally built around how your character is set up. So it's like, it's perfect. I, yeah. the, the things that and work best about these games, it's, it's, it's no perfectly logical. Know. It's just, it makes, it's like, that's, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, but what if like there was some Easter egg thing where if you did figure that out and you're like, oh, what if I strip naked? And then there were like 10 naked mimics fighting you back. <laughs> You know, instead of just one. And they would did you, that. Would you rather fight one clothed mimic a, or ten naked mimics? And so the it's, real it's, trick so the real trick is just to leave like your gauntlets on or something and then like so shit. like so you don't break it, so you don't get greedy. No, it's it's an it's an inverse law where every for every like free space you have in your inventory for like a slot that's empty, you get an extra mimic is summoned for the fight. Exactly. So if you were wearing nothing and have no weapons out, there's like twenty fucking mimics. Uh huh. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Game's supposed to be hard. Oh, Dan, you're still in my in my world. Yeah, I'm still here. I, <laughs> yeah, I only just, just been, came back. You know, 
fighting everyone. Totally but not I, lying. Hello. It's it, it goes down to like an A or a B for me because it's just not hard. Like I wish it was harder. All the other doppelganger boss fights in like RPGs are usually like pretty fucking like rough. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can go ahead and post it, Zarugus, if it's YouTube. <laughs> hey, Dan. How's it going? <laughs> just been sitting here. Yeah. This is a good view. It's the lovely view of the rot. From up here. Do you want your mace backs? Sure. Would you look at that rot? Look at that rot. Isn't it gross? Well, there's your problem. You got uh, some rot all over here. <laughs> oh, wait. I just rewatched Breaking Bad. And he was, like, underneath the house. <laughs> Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I I literally just finished that episode too. Skylar, <laughs> there's rot. It's <laughs> Skylar, <laughs> there's rot. It's it's leave. Are you going not, to work today, Walt? Discard, right? <laughs> it's leave. Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Looks hey. at her like she's the biggest idiot ever. Like, <laughs> did you not hear me earlier? There's rot down. <laughs> oh, I like completely <laughs> forgot that was like in the down in the show. lake of rot. <laughs> Yeah, it's also neat how they spawn in players for like the the Fia fight, and uh, that one was cool. The the summons for the giant jar in Northern Kaelin. That one sucks. Yeah, I used everybody for Radon. I used everybody for Radon. You kidding me? I, I used everybody. all the help I could I was get. like, I was like, you help me, you help me, you help. Yep. Me. And then when I was done summoning, I was like, all right, let's go fight Radon. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that was not my my experience. Was that okay. Was I summoned everyone, and all my summons are dead. Well, I got in like one hit, and I was like, "What's fun?" So it wasn't really much of like a learn his phases and stuff. I was like, "Let's start this fight," and so I hit him once, and then, and then everyone else distracts him, and then I was like, "Well, I didn't really fight him one on one. <laughs> Just mm. kind of fucking teamed up on this guy, ganked him." It's kind You'll of the point of the fight, jump. though. I killed him before he did his it. space jump travel. There's a dragon stomping before he around your butt. There is. I hear one. Where is he? Um. Yeah, when I did the uh, the Vine Tower here, and there's that um, very trolly ride down to the bottom, where it's constantly like, oh, you fell into the thing, and then it broke, and then you fall farther. It was like, happens like three times. Um, and then there's that Godskin fight at the bottom, which was fucking brutal for me. But then I learned all of his moves. So then when they kept throwing them at me later, I was like, all right. It, yeah, that, that first fight with him is, like, really tough, and then you see Godskin Duo later, and it's like, oh, well, this isn't that bad, because I've already... I, I still hold true that if, like, if Godskin Duo was the first time you ever get to see those dudes, it would have been a much more impactful fight. We're so dead, Dan. Well, what don't you, you fight... He's, he's got, we got him on the ropes. <laughs> don't you fight just the fat guy first? Like, in a room by himself? Oh. Uh, you, you can't... Yeah, yeah, there are a lot the of first fat guy I fought was on the bridge to a divine... Tower. Same. So that was after oh. the Godskin duo fight? There is no, a that's way that we duo. That's off the oh, okay. land, though. Yeah. You don't go bleed him, Bear? Uh, I, don't, I gave my mace back to them. <laughs> Dan can bleed him. Oh, I can't. I don't have a bleed weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We'll just keep staggering him. Yeah. He just keeps getting staggered. My fucking ankle. Ow. No, guys, stop it. That's my bad ankle. First you kill my parent, and now this. We did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Barry, did you... Oh, I was going to say, you might want to level up. Um, yeah, I do have a thousand rooms at, like, level eight. <laughs> this we is a this. terrible idea, Dan. We got this. This is a terrible idea. If we survive this, I'm kicking you out so I could level up. <laughs> Dan's nearly dead. Now he's fine. I love her. What's this guy thinking right now? He's like, all right, when I get back up, you guys are so dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> so get... dead. All right, here I come. Oh, I fell again. Oh, I fell again. And guess what, Dan? <laughs> I'm just all fingers. Hey, Barry. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> that, um... That went well, huh? Yeah, no, it was going pretty good. <laughs> yeah? That probably was what he was thinking. When I get up, you guys are so dead. 
It's fine. Oh, it's hey, fine. man, I have 100,000 souls. I should I'll be spend back those. Pro 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 spend those. I'll huh? spend those. Spend them. Hate to die with all those out there, huh? Anyway. Um, it's going to be fine. Have you even played Elden Ring if you haven't died with a fucking stupid number of runes? Have you even? Oh, if you have, like, this anxiety of losing a bunch of runes, just lose all the runes and then you won't be worried about it anymore. Yeah, see? You're free. Free. Yoink. See you later. That's the cool thing. It's like speedrunning or SL1 runs or something. It's just like... If you die, it doesn't really matter if you lose those runes and so level one or something, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. Unless you're trying to, like, just upgrade your weapon, but, you know, you can just use the boss soul or something once and do it all completely that way, but, exactly. you know. All you need souls for in soul level one runs is just, you know, Shopping. upgrades. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. when I was doing, um, all the paintings, there's one that's kind of not too far from here, actually. That's, like, the, the painting of Radon's castle and stuff in the distance, and, um, you have to, like, drop down some very awkward routes, and I died several times in different places, and I had a lot of runes on me, um, and so I kept having to drop down and, like, not fuck it up, and, uh, be like, okay, I got my runes back, and then I would miss the jump again. I finally got to the bottom, and there's an extremely tough golem at the bottom, and I rolled off the cliff and died fighting him, so I had to get down there again and get my runes. I just was like, this is a comedy of errors. This is just a, a non-stop back-to-back fuck-ups that I should probably just, you know, level up and not deal with this. Um, yeah. Let's just do a fuck ton of strength. Holy fuck. <laughs> Have you guys ever, like, in your first levels. playthrough, when you were going through Kaled, and you looked down at one of the uh, cracks on the earth? I don't really know if crack would maybe just gorge. Looking mm -hmm. down at the gorge, the large gorge, and uh, you see the uh, the large pot man, large jaw fe jar oh, fellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long did you guys like? I spent probably like four or five hours trying to like find a way down there from Kalid, but mm -hmm. it's it's not definitely you can't get there from there. Mm -hmm. You can, it's just a kill box, even if you like can safely find a way down, and the camera distorts, so it's like. You would need to do some glitches if you want to get down there and survive and stuff, but it is possible from up here, but, uh, like, theoretically. Mm -hmm. I, I tried so long to get into Radon's arena before I knew it was a fight. I was like, there's stuff down on that beach. I'm going yeah. to get there. Oh. I was like, I bet I can drop down from here. I just, like, I, I, I didn't I even. died so many times just goofing, trying like, to... Like, maybe um, if I just land there. Maybe I did it wrong, you know? Like, you're always telling mm -hmm, yourself something, mm -hmm. like, every time you fail. So I'm not going down there right now because I don't want to deal with the air tree avatar. But, um, You'll die. I will die. Uh, there's that little, uh, there's that jar right there, and there's like that bit of like man-made cliff. If you drop down from there with the right angle, and I think you have to roll, you can land on that route, and then you can work your way down onto that little platform that's down there. Um, and there, yeah, you can just maybe barely see there's some glowing nonsense down there. There's a giant fuck you golem. Um, I don't even think he drops anything you need. But uh, that's I think where, there's a painting picture spot over yeah. there. That's where the, one of the paintings is. So I wanted to do all the paintings, and uh, I realized that that's where it was, and I was like, how do I get down there? Or up there, because I was on the beach. And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, so, in these games, they try to make it seem like if it's possible, it's intended. Like, that just... Oh. If, it, if it's possible to do it, then mm -hmm. then they want you to do it. Like, yep. <laughs> And there's so many people that play games these days that are like, where's the big red arrow? Where's the mission marker pointing down there? It's like... Mm -hmm. You yeah, know. there's a there's a spirit spring right here that if you're on horseback you can, which I could just be. Uh, no, I just don't want to go down there because the Eritrea avatar is gonna spawn. It's gonna fucking obliterate me because I'm still quite low level for here. But yeah, if you just drop down anywhere there's a spirit spring, you can drop down fr if you're on torrent. Um, you don't have to just oh, yeah. jump up. Um, but yeah, you can hop yeah. down there. Believe I me, I did that. this run like 16 times, just running down there and dying over and over. So. Yeah, I really like that you can just land on those like it's a... Like it's a big it's a cushion. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you... What, what, is there something else we should do, Dan? What do you want to do? What, yeah. What, what should, have you guys not done? Should we... Take requests. Um... <laughs> We've not done most things. We haven't gone into the castle. I guess we go could fight try a, doing, like, Go the, fight that dungeon. beautiful... Well, we have to kill Margit for you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's do uh, that. Renala. That's exactly what I was Renala. trying to say. We could not, get to Renala. Renala. But, uh, I mean... The one on the castle, what's her name? 
um, with the with the horse and the bow. Loretta. 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 That's a carry a manor. That's pretty far. I you take, can get though. You can get what the heck? That's pretty far. Just go around. Well, we could go around and then just ride north through the swamp for an hour. Yeah. You um, know how to hold B. I sure do. Are you in the in the tunnel, Dan? I'm in the tunnel. All right. Let me put down my sign. Within the next ten minutes, you could have her killed easily. Easy, easy fight. Easily. I'm On my foot too. You, without even riding your horse there, I bet you could kill her in ten minutes. Easy flat. The lobster snipers. Yeah, the lobster snipers will get us before we get there. <laughs> I really, Fucking I'm lobster. so happy that there's finally another game with lobster representation. Like it's been a long time. I can't mm -hmm. remember the last lobster in a game. Like, uh, Animal Crossing. Like I, uh, is there lobsters in that game? But that's no. not a game, also. That's, no. <laughs> Jesus, Bubbles. Yeah. I put down my summon sign. Please respond. I, I'm looking for it. Oh. Right next to the uh, gate, Castle Ward Tunnel. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the hydrant. Hey, it just showed up. Okay. Sometimes it just takes a sec. Yeah, I just yeah. made chat mad. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Animal Crossing's not a game. If you could literally well, say not. blank is not a game about any game, I'd be like, hey. It's fucking, it's a it's Farmville. It's a mobile game on your Switch. Yeah. Fuck you. Doesn't mean it's not a game. <laughs> Hello. I like Farmville. Hello. All right. This is going to go great. Let's do it. I'm just going to go perfectly. Let her solo me. Fuck sewer like lobsters. Game of the year. I actually didn't have it that is. much trouble with the sewer lobsters. I, I, I forgot they had a long range, so I stayed up on the, the fucking uh, wooden beams up high and was like, I'll just long range them, fuck them. And then immediately got shot from a distance and went flying off and dead immediately. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot they have a long range. I love how the devs were like, so what do the lobsters do if the enemy is far away? And it's like, well, lobsters don't really do anything to predators if they're too far away. <laughs> and then one guy sits up out of his chair. What if a spear came out of the lobster's mouth? Hear me at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, they, oh boy. You get close to the lobster and they do some snip snip, like classic lobster attacks. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then when you, when you get far away, it's like, what you gonna do, lobster bitch? You can't attack. And then it's just fucking lasers you with a yeah. spear. Lobsters have that lasers. Mouth. Always have. <laughs> That was like super unexpected at time. Yeah, sir. No, you don't need to do those. Yeah. Yeah. What if he does though? This guy's take me a while. Is this new game plus plus or something? Plus plus plus. No. no. That Ow. What's this deco? What? How does this guy oh, sleep? Uh, careful. What, what kind of bed could be ergonomically suitable for that body shape? It's not. He's just got a, a, a bed that's like a perfect outline of his body, you know? Mm hmm. It's like a shovel knight door. Goodbye, Dan. Goodbye. I'll miss you. Wait for me. Oh. It's like the end of Time Traveler's Wife. He sleeps in a bathtub like Daredevil? Shit. Yeah, just... He puts the right amount of salt in there so he floats. <laughs> uh. Um... Kato Cam, thanks for 10 months. I would like to keep keys, please. You got it. Appleton, thanks for a soup. Uh, Outbound Ghost. Scratch the thousand year door itch for me. Highly recommend. I played the demo of it on stream a while ago. Back. <laughs> yeah, and you, I'm actually the dev. I did. Okay, I'm so actually is... the dev. And it went great. You can go around uh, this castle on the right. Yeah. I think I did you could that. have gone around the guy earlier, too. I mean, oh, Didn't you already think... went through Lobsterville? Then why the fuck did no, you kill that guy for? Not not today. I mean, I, I in, in my first playthrough, oh. I went around the castle and was like, what? And then was just like, oh. Well, that is so irrelevant. That is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's semi-relevant. If I ask if you ate anything, I'm not talking about Thanksgiving four years ago. Wait, where does this go? 
Why not, Bubbles? It was a momentous <laughs> occasion for me. <laughs> you didn't specify, Bubbles, if you're talking about now or Thanksgiving. You didn't specify. I don't remember grabbing this. Okay. Huh. Oh, oh, no, I remember this now. So how many bosses away are you from, uh... Like five or six Carrier bosses. Manor. Well, technically, we None. could probably you go could to carry right, right now. now. That's way okay. too heavy. I can't carry a manor. A whole manor. <laughs> oh. Dude, where's my car? Dude, dude, that's what I'm saying. Where is he? Where could he be? Where could he be? It would be Where great if, know? like, they just patched it one day and just made him never spawn in during the fight. So every player around the world had to say, dude, where's my car? And then just they just facepalm and then turn off the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's like PT. He doesn't spawn unless you say, dudes, where's my car? <laughs> he falls from the roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love that this is, like, clearly the first major dungeon. Everything's pointing you to come here. And you can just be like, nah. I'm just going to go around the outside and go. Uh, I need to yeah. uh, use the restroom real quick. Okay. Don't worry, we How's got this. Sound? How's that sound? I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves, I guess. Goodbye. Goodbye. I miss you. Goodbye. So, smash or pass, we're done. Yes. Smash. With the horse? Or? With the horse. Well, he's already smashing that horse. Yeah. That horse is... You can Leonard's, in. Leonard's a big smash. Like, he would have fallen off that horse unless he was strapped in there somehow. So. Yeah. we has got a strap. Yeah. Um. Uh. Smash or pass uh, the green giant. Mm. Like just like the the vegetable mascot. The vegetable mascot. Smash. Yeah, smash. We don't know what his lower right. half looks like. Doesn't he have like a bush for a? <laughs> like, yeah, he's got like a, a leaf <laughs> dress. <laughs> like he's got like a leaf dress. But I wonder if that's just all pubes. Is that all? Because he's like. Could be plant pubes. Could be like his hair, you know, and that's why he's you know. I got a lot of questions about the sky now. <laughs> okay, okay. Smash or pass Valiant Gargoyles? Um, smash the, uh, the, the, the the one with the axe and the dual blade, and then, and then pass on the other one. I'd pass on both. I'm not really sexually attracted to either. Dan, I don't know what's wrong with you. It, well, the, the weapons are cool. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Smash or pass Rykard? Oh, shit. Raid. Howdy, Raiders. Thanks Hello. to the raid Barry's, party of um, sex. Bar Barry's uh, taking a shit right now, so we're doing smash or pass on Elden Ring. Barry will be back in like two minutes and then give you the attention that oh, you know, hi. you're obligated oh, for. Oh, hi, Barry. I missed the raid. What's up? <laughs> Gotta love smash or, smash or pass Lucifilly fella. Who? Lucif the Raider. I don't know them. <laughs> smash. <laughs> <laughs> we smash yeah. all the raiders around here. <laughs> uh, how's it going? We're, we're tying all the ring spoilers and running around and having a time. Uh, thank you. I right, appreciate it. Um, so oh, yeah, just I'm, I'm curious here. So I passed I passed the little little talky lad, uh, whatever, Gostock. Oh, yeah. And um, put my sign Come over right there, by the, the little, like, Summon sign looking thing. The summon that's, pool? That's right outside. Yeah, I put it right by there. Uh, oh, there you are. Come over here, would you? Oops. Smash pass Radon? <laughs> Get smashed that poor by. Poor person you over there? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's how you identified the person in the room. Like. But what are you talking about, Bubbles? There's somebody in your chat. I thought they were quoting you. Oh, that poor person. How mean of you. Oh, no. Do you Did you walk in that room and say, is it that poor person? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this this poor. We don't speak to the poor. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Okay, um, smash or pass mm -hmm. the two fingers. I love how you're like, guys, shut up. Let's get back on topic here. Pass. Smash or we pass. We get back on topic. <laughs> Smash or pass the two fingers? Uh, two fingers, no, three fingers, yes. Is it smashing if they smash you? Yes. Yes. Okay. This looks fine. 
more importantly, smash or pass finger crone reader. Oh, pass. I don't know, I don't know what that smash. is. Smash. I don't like her attitude. It's the old ladies of the next to the, the the two fingers. Oh, there's two. Where's, where's there's a bird around here, right? Oh, it's literally in the tree. I threw a knife at it. Nice. Redeemed, ignore this Barry. Well, Barry has to ignore it, but we don't. Ex that's how it works. I, you know, the fun thing is I didn't even know that it happened. That's how good I was at ignoring it. How, what happened? You fucking exactly. failure. <laughs> you just acknowledged it. Well, I can acknowledge <laughs> it. 8,000 points down the, down the drain. Down the toilet. That's what I use channel points for. I trick people into <laughs> throwing them in the garbage. Okay, very that's important moment. Channel points for. We have to interrupt the this guy from me. playing him to... Him, do in him do. He's gonna do the dude. Get him. Get him. Fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> I love interrupting yeah. it. It's my favorite thing. It's real oh, good. There's a, a pull going on. What's the pull? Hey, check. Can you pee? We're getting back to that. Hi, Nicole. Yeah. Blame Viz. Viz is the one who redeemed the pole. I I assumed it was <laughs> Nicole. That sounds <laughs> like hey, a Viz. ritual. Who redeemed the pole? Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I forgot about the fire dude up there. I have the speaking stick. Hello. Ah. Bra. We don't need to go downstairs. What about that XP? He wants to say hi. He's fine. What is a... What's the factor here of the speed of the pee? Is it how fast does it take to start once you're like standing in front of the spot? No, no, the, the, it's like the idea you is you know when you, you're you're yeah. peeing and then all of a sudden you have you you you're on a tight timer and you gotta pee faster. So how strong can you get your pee pressure to be? That's not the it's not the question is not how fast the question is not how strong is your pressure the question is when you're peeing do you occasionally go oh I need to pee faster. And then you pee faster. Uh, well, I sometimes think about that, where it's like, if I rush, it's gonna take just as long anyway. You know? I'm just kind of foreign right. to the entire concept. Is like, if I'm I at. relax even harder, if I fo if I if I get to a further, if I get to a deeper state of zen, that actually makes me do the whole pee faster. Hmm. Because mm -hmm. I'm because then everything relaxes, and then it just comes out like you're, you know. It's like when you pour the bottle just right, so there's still a little a bit of air that can go in, you know? It's almost like that kind of sensation. You know, when I you're just, like, you, you, get, you gotta pour oh, out- Oh, hey, you gotta, me with you. Oh, you have to nice. pour out bottles, like, you know, sideways, so there's still a little bit of air that goes in. Because if you, like, take a beer bottle upside down completely, it goes like, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Bubbles, yeah. if your penis is going good glug, good glug, good glug, you need to- Yeah, I've got, I've got some stones in there, probably. <laughs> oh, <stones>. no. <laughs> Um, yeah, how fast do you guys shoot your stones out? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, I'd be hitting target practice in there. Yeah, you know, like... I want it to sound like an old-timey <laughs> western <laughs> spittoon in a saloon where it's like, yeah, yeah. Say, it's like a fucking spittoon. Just like... You guys know how like some some college kids have like those basketball hoops above their trash can? I'm gonna put like a little basketball hoop above my toilet, so it's like, so all my kidney stones can have a nice backboard. Mm, there you go. That's good. That's real good. Um, Yo, pass the stone. <laughs> Uh, oh. I forgot where we go. Uh, oh, that's is good. it down here? So we, we got the key there, and now we can open this door. <laughs> that's what it is. There's a shiny. Ooh, dagger. Ooh. Got the shiny bear. This is gonna be great when we die, and then we have to do it again. Hell yeah. Because, well, you have to, well... Yeah, we're gonna have to do it again for you. Hell Unless yeah. we first try Godric. Then we have to do it again anyway. Almost forgot to jump. Yeah, how about that seamless multiplayer mode, huh? Yeah, I really, really do want to yeah. give that a go. Yeah. But yeah. I would need to buy the game again and also have a much better computer. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where are you, Dan? I also didn't jump. <laughs> oh, I did jump. I just almost forgot to. Oh, oh hey. I forgot to. What's up? Um. It was this way, right? And then out no. over here? No? This way. This way? I forgot. It's been a minute. Oh. You're good. Thank you. Yeah, and this guy. I remember. Mm-hmm. Need yeah, to finish this game. Mm -hmm. Uh, you do it. What console or what platform you got it on, Nicole? 
Maybe we can help. Nicole, 99.5% okay. of your work is about piss. She's the piss award winner. It comes with the That's territory. True. But I mean, there's there's a profit for piss. There's a market out there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Are we going to kill this guy or are we just fucking off? Hell yeah. Okay. All right. I was ready to fuck off. Sup? Okay. Okay. Back to important <laughs> business. Let's see Smash or pass those giant hands in the carrion manner. Pass. Big smash. Uh, that's like the same question <laughs> as the finger thing. What's a so big smash? smash? How does a big, big smash, smash differ like, from regular? Yes, please. It's like a like a super <laughs> like on whatever dating app it is. Yeah, it's the right. they they have to pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> These gross finger hands will know. You, you, you're running aggro. <laughs> they know. Fuck. They know I want that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, there's a summon here. Yeah. Who is this? Oh. You beat Big Lad on a tiny horse. Nice. On PC. Oh. <laughs> Dan broke my heart is the name of the summon. And they're, they're wearing, wearing a an fucking cloak now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's following Barry around? <laughs> Couple people. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you want to fight some birds? Yeah, let's fight some birds. I'm, right. so I'm sorry, random tarnished. I didn't mean to. But, eh. Fuck. Got him. Nice. Wait, let me re-equip different throwing knives I got. <laughs> yeah, fuck that bird. He's just like, I'm gonna fly up and kill you, and then gets fucking blown Here up. Here I by go. Ah. Get him. Um, are we going down the bullshit path? We're we going down the critical path. There's a bullshit path. Yeah, when you drop down and then you fall through the thing, and there's like a little garden down there with the guy that's really tough. Crucible Knight. Yeah, it's a Crucible Knight. Really cool. Do it. Did you do now this, Dan? Did you not know this is here? Yeah, of course I did it. Have no, you? I've never done this. What? Is I feel this... like you should do it then. I... Where's... Wait, where are you guys? I don't know if I've been here because you're looking at a wall. Um, where we, we <laughs> just went outside from the grace where the birds are. Rampart Tower <laughs> out, birds. And then... Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, over here. There's a Crucible Knight over here? I think so. You fall down all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, this doesn't feel idea. familiar. Maybe during the boss fight, I'll, you know. I'll it's remember. not a boss fight. It's he's just a guy. Oh, it's just a guy. But he's real fucking tough. Yeah, there's a wooden shield here. Uh, this is the part that's fun. Do you want to go first? Or is it no? It's after this. I have done this. Where's the part that's gotcha? Uh, it's not this bit. It's it's a rock that you fall on. Mhm. Mm it's a it's big after rock this. platform. It, it's it's obvious. You'll see it. Is it after this? You'll look at it and go, yeah, that's that's not gonna. Th is that the one? I think that might be the one. Be wary of down and short betrayal. Oh betrayal. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> hey Dan. Anyway, there's, uh, there's okay, a... Okay, okay. There's a Crucible Knight up ahead right here. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, they, they just let you fall when there's stuff like that. Uh, there he is. Hello. Alright, alright. I allowed. I haven't been here. This unlocks a but shortcut. I mean, I don't need to, because you guys are right here, you know? Mm -hmm. This is like me being here and I can eat food instead. That's what I'm doing. No. No oh, food. I know, right? Oh, you eat Australian food, so you're having a little mm. bit. Well, no, at the moment I'm eating egg fried rice. Oh. A little north of the border, huh? Bubbles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that got me. Oh, he got me with the backswing. Oh, Shit. Cool. Why don't you guys say that over there? How what? Why don't you guys say that over there, you know? No, unlike no, Australian crime ch are the unlike on Australian crime shows, are they like like ah oh, no, he's oh. gone by now. He's got a twelve hour nice. lead on us. He's definitely in India now. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Did bubbles, you get the Did bubbles. you get the aspects of the Crucible? You, you do know that we no. are a country no. that it has no surrounding countries, right? They got boats, bro. 
<laughs> Ever heard I... of boats? <laughs> <laughs> there was a good we have a very robust customs fucking <laughs> system. Hey, put a little cheeky little crucible right here. <laughs> a little crucible right. Here's a tree. I imagine Australia has a giant 55 foot fence just surrounding the entire island of Australia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you want to get, if you want to touch the water, you got to speak to us. Uh, I spent a lot yeah, of New time. New Zealand are a country, but there's still an ocean between us. I spent a lot of time being like, man, how do I get there? And mm -hmm. I didn't realize that that's where yeah. you start the game. <laughs> yeah, there same. is actually a way to I get back there until later, the but yeah. it took me way longer than I'd care to admit to be like, oh, that's where you first spawn in, and that's where you fight the guy who spawn. Yep. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Um. Anyway, yeah. So if you uh, come down here and fight that crisp knight, you get a an ashwar and a thing. And there's a flower. Yippee. It's like yippee, I did it. Yippee. Yahoo. And yippee. then this unlocks the elevator in the middle of that tower that you were like, huh? There's a big old shaft okay. here. That I did yep. do this. I don't really recall doing it, but I did. You probably just ran through in like five seconds. And then this is where we just killed that dude. Whoop. And this is the top. What? Mm -hmm. another one, another one. There's can, probably somebody in like a hospital right now that we're in the we're in the big cast body like Squidward did in the jellyfishing episode. And, th and then they're like really happy because you're doing this because you're streaming this. They're probably just watching this right now and they're like, I can't play Elden Ring right now because all my bones in my body are broken. But all my bones. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that this man could show up here. I did. I think I killed him pretty quick after I died a few times in Lost Runes. And then I was like, oh, if you kill him, you get all your shit back. And then I got a bunch of levels out of it. It was great. Hmm. Seems to be higher in the distance. That's fucking awful. No, I just noticed that I kept dying and I was losing a lot of my runes. And I was like, what? And I googled it and they're like, yeah, he steals your runes if you die here. And if you don't kill him before you beat Godric, they're just gone. I never noticed. I just kept dying, like, with close to a level. And then... I would get my runes back and be like, wait, I was way closer to level before. So. Lime me. Ooh, woo. No. no. Um, if you keep him alive, he does give you a really good upgrade material. Oh, does he? Well, I have no regrets. Uh. So, Dan. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I'm running through Stormvale. <laughs> I assumed... <laughs> Well, if you want to meet me at the rampart side, rampart tower, good day. Hey, Rio. I'm at, I'm at Godric. <laughs> I'm at God Godric's dead. I mean, I can run past the birds if you want me to. I'm at the Godric. I'm at the dragon. I'm at the combination the Godric combination dragon. Combination Godric. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rhinoplasty Law. Thanks for A little the bit rain. of grafted humor for you. Hello. <laughs> grafted humor. We decided not to skip the castle. I mean, we could skip the castle. I just figured in the time it would take us to run all the way to Karia. And then we'd have to do it. Well, in all likelihood, Dan and I would just use our torrents and just meet up there. It'd be mm -hmm. way faster. But then we would also be quite under level <laughs> for that whole area. Even with the gray old levels. I don't know. It's not too late. We could say fuck the castle and just see how far north we can get. You want to fight Makar? No. <laughs> no. Was, yeah, fight Makar. I was thinking, like, how how far can we get? Well, if we took the tunnel, we could get up to Altus. Uh, okay, so which which one do you have? I'm, I have lift side chamber. I'm at rampart. So, uh, okay. Oh, you you got the how the fuck did you get the lift side? I just went through the main gate. Oh. I'm gonna go through the main gate. <laughs> well, I mean, you do have to run a lot. Yeah, but... there's a lot of enemies. I'll make it. Alright. I, I found Dragon Fist to be a lot easier than Dragon Fist Jr. Mash pass, Dragon Fist. Yeah. Oh, that sentence sounded like there was another half to it. Like, just coming up like you thought... Dragon Fist or Dragon Fist? <laughs> like, the, the inflection Ooh. of which you ended made it sound like you were just gonna... Say okay. more words. 
Open the gates. I never went through this way, so this is gonna be fun. All right, so you're gonna hug Stop the right wall, and you want to get behind that 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 brazier. Oh. So you don't uh, get because you're about to get hit by crossbows. So that the, the crossbows <laughs> I just got hit by. <laughs> yeah. 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 Watch yeah, out, some crossbows. Mm-hmm. Right, watch out. They're uh, well defended. Now I'm good. Just do what I did and kill them from behind. Now I'm good. Okay, so now you go through that gate, and there's going to be a crossbow that shoots you from the left, and then one behind you that shoots you. So you just mm. you just got to know the timing. Just keep zooming. Ow. Yeah, watch out for the big lion. Too. There's the one in front. And then there's also one from behind. There's one from behind here. That's fun. You're getting fucked. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the amazing... fucking grace? <laughs> I mean, just keep going up. All right. <laughs> I hate that area so much. That's yeah. exactly how I played it. Oh, shit, it's three to the right. Okay. And then, I didn't go down this go path at all until, line. like, I was in the Altus Plateau, and then I realized, like, I could just fucking... And there's the big like, boy. Come back here and get all these items well, and I'm shit gonna I fucking avoid. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just had to memorize the roll Ow. order. I was like, roll here, here, wait, 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 mm. here, here. <laughs> boy, that is much quicker than doing an entire castle. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> pretty fast. Okay, let me rest so that man doesn't murder us. And, uh, hey, you want to put that a summer? <laughs> My sign is down. Uh, I don't see it. Do I have... It's right by the... Because you should... haven't used a thing. should probably use a thing. Ugh. Who would win, Army of Defenses or one leggy boy? Leggy, leggy, leggy. And that is that is hilarious. Leggy, Having, leggy. This is what I love to do in the in a new game plus though, or like a second playthrough. It's like I tiptoe through the castle, killing people one by one. Second playthrough, just run through the front gate. Skip the through. whole thing. Fuck it. It's too sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how they make fun of uh, Skyrim enemies all the time. Like when you stealth a Skyrim enemy with your arrow, hits them in the head, and they'll go like, "What was that?" And then they'll. Is and they'll have the arrow still in their head, and they'll be like, it must have been the wind. <laughs> and, the, and so, but in this game, you just go through a doorway, rest at the bonfire, and, like, the knights are like, oh, he's in there now. We, he, we can't get him. <laughs> it's like, that's, it's like, it's also equally dumb. There's, like, yet to be, like, an RPG game where they just don't stop fucking chasing you. Mm-hmm. Should we just run past I, the giant and grab the ones. grace past them? Like, yeah, Witcher, Witcher yeah. is almost like that. Witcher, they get pretty <laughs> Yeah, but that's the witch one. Enemy leashes on really Hello. popular RPGs are like 20 feet sometimes. Alright, so rest at the thing and then immediately go through the fog wall. <laughs> oh, just like I, grab I, it I and run? Rest it. Fair yeah. enough. Get into the side room. You're not gonna go see oh. Nephili? Nope. There's a, there's a summon here. I gotta check it. Want big sword? Thank you. <laughs> Effort! So this castle has a Ow. big variety of guards. Like different species of things mm -hmm. guarding. There was a giant, a bird, many regular just ghouly guys. A lot of ghouly um, guys. But it makes me think, because all of those enemies are also out in the open overworld. I, it is hilarious to me being a Godric this quickly. <laughs> it's, you're, you're so early. I know. We just ran through the whole thing. Also, I never put together my physics. Dance at half health. And I probably could have leveled. Me. <laughs> God, his theme is so good. Godric goes for the ground stuff. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Dan goes for the finish. Nah. Boom, shakalaka. Shit. You know what? I fucking love games with, like, commentary like what? that. One of my Can't favorite things buy about a Ratchet and Clank games. I still hear the giant yelling. NBA Jam is the best one. Emmy Jam was you ever classic. played uh, Ratchet Deadlock? No, but I I know the commentary. They they have like the dude on the intercom do. I like yeah. uh, yeah, like, uh, Greg Greg Proopst from uh, Who's Line, and he did the announcing mm. on uh, on the the pod race in a uh, episode remember, yeah. one. Yeah. And so he I love his voice whenever he does uh, that kind of stuff. Probably the biggest Who's Line fan in existence. I've seen. That's all I watch. Oh yeah? Name uh, the episode where they do the thing and say the funny thing. Hmm? Yeah. I don't think the episodes have names, but... <laughs> <laughs> the tapioca episode. So 55? Very much like a number. 
Tapioca! Season 24. Nope, nope. <laughs> Tapioca! Yeah, it was funny the first time. Yeah, I don't have to feel like I'm just gonna yeah. stand on this thing till I heal back. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> oh, and then Ryan always, uh, whenever they do show-stopping number, Ryan's joke, his punchline in every show-stopping number is you always live? a reference to something that happened earlier in the show. Nah. Mm -hmm. Every single show-stopping number is ever. Is I had a pixel! Right. It's easy comedy. I crack up when I hear tap. It works. So, uh, smash or pass, Godric. I can't uh, which part of since them. you touched my piece. <laughs> when nope. the music. Nope. Oh, nope. <laughs> He's kneeling. No, 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 no. That's bad. No, I'm good. Okay, that's bad. I'm out of heals. Dragon handy. If Godric, okay. Would it be a handy though? Because that dragon is a full-on. You, you've already asked Smasher Pass. This is dragon. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but like. Now you're just asking on the whole thing, like not just well, the, fist, no, the whole package. Well, well I'm, I'm asking specifically, like, would it be a hand job or would it be technically a blow job? Now, fuck. Mm. Yeah, see, you have to think about it for a second. It's like, hang on. Mm. I think blowjob implies some sort of sucking going on. It's, I don't think a mm. dragon can suck. It, it's like a cat, you know, they gotta lick, or, you know, a dog, they gotta lick the bowl out of the, lick the water out of the bowl. Mm. They can't, you know, they can't just, like, put their lips around it. Mm. I think if you can't, Ooh. you know, inhale, like, I almost suck, died. you can't, you can't <laughs> Although, the Good dragon shit, is blowing fire sure. out, so... Ooh. What's up, dog? Maybe you can, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then next time anyone gets a blowjob and it's just like, ooh, like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was supposed to blow. I thought. <laughs> oh, I right. follow, oh. followed all the rules here. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Whew. I literally almost got got by his fire right at the end there. <laughs> like, as you were getting the last hit. It was, was great. very close. Tiny dragon weapon? No, I never messed with any dragon stuff, because they all needed arcane and faith and shit, which I didn't... I didn't have my build in there. Cool. 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 Uh... Eh. Well done. Yeah, so Good I never... Fight. I never did this in my game, because, uh, Gestalt was... was dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's doing, a, and it's great because they actually patched it so his shop opens now, or you can still access his shop because normally he would. This was the end of his quest line. Oh, so you're like, well, guess that's it. But you could kill him to yep. get the bell bearing. Well, I guess actually, I don't know. If you, you probably could, yeah. But yeah, normally you could just talk to him here. He wouldn't give you a shop, and that was the end of his quest line until they patched it. Hmm. Yeah, the Draconic stuff seems super neat. I just... My entire playthrough was spent going, Wow, what a cool incantation. I wish I could use it. Oh. And this it is sad. really floppy. This He's is a little bit of a floppy guy. Was... Godric. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't His arms really can't be that long unless they're dislocated uh, at each <laughs> joint. Wrist, elbow, and shoulder dislocation. All three. He's got mm -hmm. going on right there. Let's look at that face. Does it look the like length of that humor is quite humorous. Over? Dude looks like he's eating a lime. <laughs> I kind of like this idea of Gam just ask me any who's line question, and I feel like I'll know. Like the biggest, <clears throat> hardest trivia ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to, <clears throat> like, if there was like an expert Jeopardy on this, I want my skills, to, I want my knowledge to matter at some point. So, so there's a, I don't, I don't know if there's an American equivalent, because I know America every country steals each other countries like quiz shows and every country but, steals the like, other countries mm -hmm. just, <laughs> yeah, what'd you just say well, just let's, say? let's be honest every country steals countries every country that. um <laughs> well you know how like american mind, idol Peru. started in america like like started in britain as like what was it pop idol or something and then every country has like blank idol now yeah um mm -hmm. uh X we have a, we have a quiz now. show called hard quiz here where 
you you come on with like a real specialty subject and what a name that was. everyone gets questions on it yeah i know right <laughs> tough um, trivia it's, it's like <laughs> Would, would that would, would your fucking like specialty subject just be fucking whose line is it anyway yeah 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 um, yeah, <laughs> yeah would, if that was the premise of that show like someone was like a, a a niche expert in an incredibly specific field oh yeah hang on it's Let almost to the point where i can someone, quote lines someone... of of what like of what they say when they have conversations with each other on whose line like between the games like um <clears throat> sometimes i can like know like like, uh, what they're saying before they introduce them, like, uh, come as at will, Wayne Brady, come as you are, Chip Eston. You know, like, the, sometimes I know how, mm. like, those per episodes, but that's, that's yeah, yeah. next. Mm. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you some of the, the, the special subjects. So one episode had, uh, so it's always four contestants. The, uh, special subjects for this one were Jake Gyllenhaal, Egyptian Pharaoh Tutankhamun, Mr. Ed, and Feet. <clears throat> so someone's special subject was just feet. <laughs> oh, feet. so pe people are on a quiz show, and each column is like their own specialty. <clears throat> yeah, e each one is. So like you their have the chance to take brought. someone else's question if you know it. and yeah, they don't. Exactly. Oh, so the goal cool. is to like have something oh, super specific, but not so broad. Um, yeah. Another one was uh, Agatha Christie, Adolf Hitler, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Fortnite. So there's like one esports legend on the crew, and there's like one like World War II historian, <laughs> like that knows all about the Holocaust, and I'm just like. Uh, uh, oh god. And then the yeah, Holocaust expert, very... the the Hitler expert, is just like beep. Uh, what is Chug Jug? Just like... what is Chug Jug? the fuck is happening right now i uh, i don't i lo i got lost i lost the thread a while ago <laughs> um, just like, i'm just looking at you with the face and i was like <laughs> i don't gonna know be a video Barry, daily Barry double just doesn't know what i doing. don't know what's <laughs> happening i just got to lear and i'm like that's a neat view that's a good view there, there are so many points of interest from here it's quite it's crazy it's really great it's really good <laughs> the sentence makes no sense if you just come back like consciously <laughs> Yes, Hitler expert. What is Chug Chug? <laughs> just a normal Rosh Hashanah, exactly. It's a normal one. Yeah. Yeah, also, it's extremely mean that they're like, oh, wow, look at all that stuff up there. You can't go there. Yep. Not for you a long go, time. Uh, Not for a very long Not time. Not for a very long time. No. Nope. Um, I feel like this. I feel like beating Godric's probably a good place to be like, yeah, we did it. I, I was going to say, I I need to go soon. So. Sure. <laughs> I was like. This sounds good. Oh, Curious if you wanted I realized I never showed off oh, very, extremely quickly. I realized I never showed off my messages I wrote in my oh, regular gosh, character. The message. That'll take an hour. Doesn't really matter, but it'll take three seconds. Um, but uh, mm. yeah, uh, <laughs> D and D tomorrow. By the way, chat over at Dan Jones's channel. D and D. Um, Dan Jones and dragons. And also dragons. That's, there will also be dragons. He did have the secret. He had it. <laughs> um, right, I was here. Um. More of my messages. I just imagined Guy Fieri going like, Welcome back to Dan's, Dragons, and Dungeons. <laughs> like, in the cadence of Diner Strivens and Dives. Oh my god. Like, is, wait, is there, a, is there an AI uh, file for Guy Fieri's boys? <laughs> oh, hang on. Shit. Like he pulls um, up in the Corvette and he points at the oh, camera yeah. while saying it. So, I, would, I would have that as an intro in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yep. Like if he did like cameos, you would pay for it, yeah. <laughs> I just want to run through these in, in five seconds. I, so when all those birds, where we where, where we just were with all the birds, down the edge of that area, there's a corner and another bird jumps out. So I left a message saying, why is it always bird? I don't believe it. Which got 96 thumbs ups. My most upvoted message was me pointing at a flower or bowing to a flower and saying, ah, flower in a catacomb. Oh, flower. And that got 102 good. There's probably like an algorithm to make, like sometimes your message might appear more often, you know? I don't know. Because uh, it's not like every message is appearing for everyone all the time. No, absolutely not. Um, so there must be some system where you get lucky sometimes. This is my favorite message I left. There's um, a dead person sitting up on a cliff up above the Siofra River. It's kind of where the Dragonkin soldier is hanging. It's like that higher area that's not the... It says Nokron Eternal City, but I haven't actually been to Nokron yet. And there's a guy, and he's dead, and he's got a shiny on him. The shiny is an egg. 
And so I left a message that said, could this be a bird? And I was proud of myself for that. I was like, that's <laughs> good content. Um, I pointed at a flower, and I was like, there's a flower over there, and people like that for some reason. Uh, behind EG, <laughs> I said, praise the giant rump, oh rump. Um, I said, no <laughs> trap ahead somewhere in Riley Lucaria. I pointed, Why did you do any of these things? I don't Why know. Did you do? What are the... Somewhere in Carrying Fun Study Hall, I pointed. Oh, I probably pointed to a hand and was like, friend? So, where he was going to drop you down. Um, turn back and see Cave. I don't remember where the fuck that is. That was just like, there's a thing behind you. Uh, turn back then Item. I think that's when you're heading to the Mimic tier fight. That's in Siofa, right? Mm -hmm. Right before the, the, the fog wall. You like drop down and there's an item that you can only see if you turn around right there. So I did this thing. And then I tried to warn people in Fair Missoula and no one cared. I did it. <laughs> Most of my messages were like, oh, let me help you out, and they would never get any any attention. Yeah, helpful so. messages make sense, like, look out in your left or hidden item ahead. I had but it's tons like... of those, and I would delete them when I was like, well, I want to write a new message, but all my slots are gone. Yeah. But whenever I walk around and I just see a fucking message that's like, bird, question mark, and then it's like some guy <clears> pointing <throat> an arrow, like pointing a finger forward, mm -hmm. all I think is like, who fucking put this here? Like, who put the, who, who's uh, on drugs here? That's a lot of my favorite messages are when they point at a tree and go tree. It's that kind of shit. That, it's like, you're so <laughs> deep in the game. You're like, surely people are no longer just like, look, like there'd be a spot of grass in like an otherwise dead area. And there'd be like eight messages saying grass. That's it. And it's like... <laughs> It's like a hundred hours into the game, and everyone's like, "Oh, look!" It's extremely <laughs> stupid. But yeah, well, yeah, I do have markers still on my map because there's like some stuff I just didn't didn't do. I was like, I don't fucking care. Did you like, get all the death beds? Uh, I think most of them. I didn't do it. The, these two are um, what the fuck are they called? The the dudes on horseback that show up at night. I think these are both two Wait. of them. Are they there? I just don't. Yeah. I just don't think that everybody oh. that's putting those messages down is intentionally trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people who were just like, "All right, message. Yeah, some grass right here. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool." <laughs> just did. like, tell me to touch grass. I'll tell them where the grass is. Fucking did it. <laughs> it's like there's some grass right here. All right, the journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> My work is done. My work yeah. here is done. So you gotta they do more stuff. That <laughs> you have to meet with Millicent elsewhere for her to show up here. I'm assuming. So you need to show up. Uh, oh shit! You have to you have to do like a summon for her. It's it's by oh. the like Scarlet Rot Lake that's near this room. Oh, up above. Yeah, it's like. Ugh. Where the one where I think you can look down into it? Yeah, where that. Jesus no thanks. Them. That whole area sucks. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna get caught up alerts and then call it for uh, Eve. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about that's like deep Elden Ring spoilers? I don't want to talk about it in a deep. different stream. You know. It's where the tree um, spears before this. I fucking ran away from that dude. Fuck that. Yeah. Hate that. Uh, yeah, you have to kill the tree spirit. Ugh. But he's in the, he's in long? the slow goop. How long was your first playthrough, Barry? But how long do you think it would be if you didn't, if you weren't making a video about it? You know, if you weren't a content creator and you were just playing the game, um, if it wasn't going to be content for you, how long do you think your playthrough would have been? The same length, because the the parts of the game that became content were a separate save file I made, and I ran around into grab capture. So I didn't I didn't do anything because of the video. I did everything because I wanted to. I was enjoying the game. So I just but like, did you do research for the video on your first save? No. No. Okay. No, I don't think so. You fucking liar, but okay. No, if anything, my, my save file... So my, my, my final time was just under 200 hours. Um, I kind of wish the game didn't track when you were just, like, at a grace on your phone for an hour and a half because you forgot you left the game running. And you got distracted. Yeah, my, uh, a yeah, lot my, my hours in a lot of games are crazy because just leave the game on for a Yeah, minute. Yeah, this was definitely inflated by that. Um, but even if it was, like, 160 or 70 or something, it was still, like... A lot and at most maybe like half an hour that would have been like oh this could be in the video you know did you find the final boss underwhelming and not like like the character building wasn't really there it didn't really feel like a finally we meet you 100 percent. it just the final boss was just like like who the fuck is this guy okay now yeah. he's like a big 
It's I, like turtle without a shell? I, okay. I, for one, thought I was missing something, and I was supposed to know who the Elden Beast was already. And then for two, when the credits started rolling, I was like, oh. I, I thought up until the last second, and when, like, the cutscene was playing, I was like, there's got to be, like, another something, right? Also, at the time, yeah. I was still, like, not... I didn't realize what had happened in the Radigan cutscene. I didn't realize they were like, oh, Merica and Radigan are the same person-ish. And I was like... Maybe I still have to fight Merica, or maybe, like, the Elden Ring will be reforged, and then something? I was just like, I don't... It just kind of felt like it sort of ended. Yeah. Um, and maybe, it's like maybe when DLC you, will yeah. fit into that a bit, but... Yeah, when, when you watch, like, a crime show or something, like a crime movie, Denzel Washington or something, for example, yeah. and they're trying to figure out who the murderer is, and they're, like, they're like an hour and a half into this two-hour-long movie... And so you come to realize, like, wait a minute, the murderer is definitely going to be somebody we already know, mm -hmm. because they're not going to introduce a character in the last ten minutes of the movie, like. And then they're bam. Not gonna do... <laughs> and, but that's what Elden Ring did. Yeah. So we get to the final boss, and it's like, oh, you've never met this well, guy before. To be fair, you have kind of been like, it's like people have been talking about it the whole you've time. You've been educated like, you, about this guy, but he needs to. You, be you there. haven't he had any experience. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not the sort even. of thing of like, you, like you walk up and you're like, oh, your reign of terror ends, and he's like, who the fuck are you? It's like, I don't know who yeah. the fuck you are. I mean, it's, it's like, imagine even... if the end of Dark Souls, you fight Andre. Like, he's Gwyn, you know? Andre 3000. Mm -hmm. the, the the blacksmith. In the Patches <laughs> quest line, he spends an hour explaining lore and you missed it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't miss that. But then I would make the argument that maybe you should have more places for lore than deep into... You have one. a whole fucking character dedicated to teaching you about this. In yeah, but Gideon idiot. doesn't know shit. That's his art. But he doesn't t tell you anything. It's he like... doesn't know anything. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it's it, it it My frustration stem from, like, I don't like the idea that they can make a game like this knowing that the internet's just going to be filled with all the little things you missed. Um... So it just, it's like, I like when things are secret and hidden and you're like, oh, that that's so cool. I got, was rewarded for paying attention and for, you know, reading gauntlet descriptions. You know, I spent a lot of time just being like, oh, I got a new thing. Let me, let me see what the fucking description is for that. And I learned a lot about the world doing that. Um, mm -hmm. But then uh, when it's like, oh, the, the final boss of the game, you're like, who is this? <laughs> that just feels, it feels weird. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just weird. Yeah, but uh, I see Waker's 140 in the chat says that none of the Souls bosses have been like that, and that's kind of true. I just kind of thought about that. He might where, just be uh, trained with them. Where, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean they, none of the Souls bosses have been like that? Like, if you, you go you to the, the final boss in Dark Souls doesn't really seem to have, or in most Souls games, doesn't seem to have, uh, like, what is the best way to word this? Like, more significance over all the other bosses. Dark you know? Souls 3 felt like, like that to me. Gwyn, okay, well, one, I Gwyn, like Gwyn was, is, you know. from the bat, you know he is the end. Like, he, he is the Lord Supreme. He's the one who's linking the fire. No, he was a, a, a pretty long time ago, like, uh, and just, he had just as much power at that current time as Seath did, you know? And so it's kind of weird how, like, and, like, a lot of other people had power, too, um... Nisandro, uh, you can figure out if you actually put together what's happening in the plot. Yeah, right? it's the same thing with the Elden Ring boss in this game. If you do the gold mask quest line, it makes sense. But I mean, you sh no one's kinda. So it's like they gotta, they gotta realize that they gotta make it not like a, like every boss does kind of make sense. You can find out a way for it too. But mm -hmm. it's. Uh, I I just feel like I'm fine with gold mask being a gate for like more information, but. It seems strange to me that you, like you never hear anyone say Elden Beast. I mean, maybe it's just like people just don't know it's there. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then fucking Moon Presence at the end of Bloodborne is like, oh, what a weird enemy. It just. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, I guess that was the final enemy of the game. I just remember when I wow. played Dark Souls three, it Moon, was Moon Presence. I feel like fits because we know there is like an unknown in the equation, and at least they like tie it in with. Uh, Gearman. And well, plus also the entire point of Bloodborne is that you, you're you not, like, like it's all unknown and you're not making an impact on this world. Like, this this is this is something completely out of your control and, you like, you're not going to be able to make any sort of, like, you're being puppeted throughout the whole fucking thing. So yeah. it's mm -hmm. like, it, it makes sense that it's like, who is this? I have no idea. It's like, because this isn't your story. Right. It's all, it was also, like... Uh, fucking like Lovecraftian and stuff like that, where it's like, 
oh there there's this unknown thing whereas this is like here's a high fantasy setting and it's like here's game of thrones and then the last episode here's a new guy he's the he's the real bad guy yeah he's mm -hmm. derek he's he's actually the one been telling everyone behind like when this character went off screen and then came back and killed someone that's because of derek yeah i just it's been a long time since i played dark souls 3 but i just remember when i played through it at the time i wasn't like who the fuck is this guy the the lord of cinder mm -hmm. did i beat her lord of cinder uh, a while ago like not, more, not more of a i just it was more of a here. nod to the players <laughs> It, 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 the Lord of Sender, but it's like not only just the final boss, but like the whole area and the run up to the final boss. Just every part of it felt like this is the final area. Everything was like mm -hmm. super dramatic and over the top. Uh, it felt like there's no mistaking that run up to be like, this is the end of the game. Um, so that was why it was like, I, I, I didn't have the same feeling I got from playing this, where it's just like, oh, it's over. Like, I was like, okay, I did it. Now the game is over. Like, I had that feeling, which we're talking about earlier with the Elden Beast. It's like, you don't feel triumphant when you beat it. You're just like, fuck, it's done. Jesus. Yeah. I did feel that way with Laura Sender. Yeah, there Soul there are some that are... Wait, whoa, that's the Christmas gift. What? You just drank from the Christmas gift. Oh, oh, yeah. The the Twitch partner bottle. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you I talking about? I drank out of that today, too. It's a good <laughs> bottle. I actually like it. It's not. It's um, actually durable. It shit. is. It keeps your water cold. Um, it does. I mean, yeah, no, he definitely just shows up, but it's like, it makes sense. Like, and also, like, from what you know of the plot in Dark Souls 3, when a person shows up and it's like, I'm the Lord of Cinder, you, like, understand just from the yeah. name what's going on. You're like, okay, I got it. The Elden Beast is just kind of like, I'm we're, we're inside the air tree. I see infinite air trees around me. Clearly, it's just some sort of cosmic being connected to the idea of it then you get the remembrance and it's like it's a vassal of the greater will and you're like okay but when you kill it, it says god killed or whatever so it's like i guess this was a god even though it was a vassal but it just feels weird it feels like it makes more sense in retrospect when i want in that moment to feel like i know what i'm doing and why instead yeah. of just yeah. like i killed it because it, it was a boss and then later i'm like oh i watched five minute five videos and now i understand why and it's like I, I was paying attention throughout the game. I wasn't, like, mashing through and then, like, okay, now what's the plot? I was trying to piece it together as I went. That's part of what's fun about these games is, like, the little individual bits coming together in this tapestry. Um, yeah. I honestly think they could have ended it on Radagon and I would have been just as happy. I yeah, it needs happier. happier. Yeah. <laughs> it needs, the final boss just needs somebody with enough character development. Gwyn had enough. I was honestly... Um, Nishandra just didn't. Who I was think the fucking did. Because Nishandra and Ventric have a whole lot of shit. The first time do. I saw the word Nishandra was when her boss appeared, like the when she just appeared in the room. You it was meet like, her on the critical path. What is that? What even is the critical path? What even so, like, is that? You go, you go through the fucking Dranglet Castle. What even is that? <laughs> what the fuck is the Dranglet Castle? Who the fuck are we talking about? I forgot oh wait, that's about. the that's the one with the little guys that are stronger than they look. Yeah, that's the. And they run kind of quick. You beat her once across a pit, like every other NPC. <laughs> oh, you only met this person once that foreshadowed the main area of the game. Mm hmm. Yeah, Rad Radagon is, I... is built up the entire game, basically. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, feel like exactly. the Elden Beast should have been something that, like, it, it should have been like Bloodborne, where it did, doesn't appear unless you put the work in to basically like you you like you obtain basically the knowledge you of it the fight, you, you find out like that you obtain the knowledge secret. of it and yeah. and that's how you fight that's it the true it's like is otherwise like, you're just like what the fuck is this whereas like, like if you fight everything you get a better idea of like okay there's something going on there's stuff with gods and like outer gods and mm -hmm. shit like this so there's yeah. something go like there should it should have been like bloodborne where this is like quote unquote optional and but they had to because they wanted to go with like cookie cutter abc ending you couldn't really do that i guess but i guess you still could have i don't know mm -hmm. I think, yeah like i definitely think they could have had elden beast be an optional thing of like hey if you figured out this and you if used you this got specific all item of them and or whatever you ate all the umbilical cords you know mm -hmm. <laughs> um Yummy. And, I, and i think i would have been more mm -hmm. satisfied with the elden beast oh. in that instance yeah, I think it's just such a big sticking point because it is the final boss of the game, so that's, like, yeah. the the feeling that carries with you once you're done with it. 
you know? The very beginning and the very end are the most important things of, like, any piece of media. Because uh, that's what mm -hmm. sticks with you. Um, as I said, mm -hmm. I didn't hate yeah, Elden it... Beast. It was not my least favorite fight. But it's just, like, it is a weird thing way, way for things to wrap up. And then it does leave me wondering, yeah. like, what are they going to do with DLC? Because that could go anywhere, really. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's like, the reason why it, it feels so out of place to me is because it, like, it does sort of... It, when, you, when you fight it, 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 it sort of is meant to be, like, a... Oh shit, what's this? I guess this was controlling it all along or whatever, or like this is the embodiment of something where it's like, if you're not already looking for that, like if you're not already sort of invested in the story and the characters, mm -hmm. and like you just basically went from A to Z, immediately ignored a hyper side areas and shit, and went straight to the end, mm -hmm. like you would be like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. And then it's like, oh great, now I have to fight this on top of like Radigan, and the fight doesn't have any investment, it doesn't have any build up. And because of the way the fight is, it's very frustrating to a lot of people. So I was like, I understand why a lot of people are like, fuck the Elden Beast. They fucking hate it. It's like, <laughs> I don't care about it. And it's an, an annoying fight. It's like, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I think that's 100% on the devs. All, all it really has going for it is an amazing aesthetic, which is not enough yeah, to carry which, it. And like, I love the story implications of it, but that's oh, because same. At, yeah. by yeah. the end of it, I got really invested in the story. So it's like people who did don't care about the story or like, the metaphysical existence of the Elden Beast shouldn't have to fight it, in my opinion. I think it would have been a stronger ending. And and it also, if it was optional, it's like, that. I think that's why people are like, fuck the fire giant, fuck Elden Beast. And people are like, Millennia's fucking hard, but no one's like, well, you can be have complaints about her fight, um, but she's optional. So that immediately yeah, yeah. just hand waves away a lot of the frustration of just like, you're doing this because you want to. No one is forcing mm -hmm. you to beat Millennia, uh, but you have to beat the Fire Giant. You have to beat the Elden Beast. So that changes the, the stakes a bit. Yep. Because um, you can complain about every individual fight, right? But um, anyway, uh, real quick, let me just rapid fire, get caught up here. Um, uh, Bayo Teddy sticks for 19 months. Hi, I'm Jared. Dimashi Alpha, thanks for five months. Can I take the ominous broom closet? It's cozy. You got it. Thank you for all those raids earlier. And Damashi Alpha, thanks for gifting a sub to Aura Zero. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, if I like Eyes of the Beast, I have to beat them. I'm the same way, but I'm not going to be like, I have to beat them right now. I'll be like, I can come back later and, and kill them then when I'm stronger. But with Elden Beast, it's like, well, time to get good. But I like this game. I think it's neat. <laughs> it's... um. I haven't played that many FromSoft games, but it's my favorite now. I feel the like cool one. it's 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 kind of like what I said before when I was talking to Gerard. And he's like, "Oh yeah, if you go and do this thing and you talk to this guy and do his quest, you get warped to a blood zone." I was like, "What? Like, there's so much shit in this game that feels like you're being rewarded for paying attention and for exploring, and that is everything I want from open world game. I'm so sick of open world games." that don't respect you and they don't trust that your curiosity will drive you to see things. So they're constantly yeah. just flooding you with maps and information and guide points going, here's where you need to go. And you're not using your brain to explore the space and be like, I want to go here. I want to do that. It's just like, well, I'm going to check off some of these boxes for a little bit. It's not that kind of game. Um, and it's so much better for it. Uh, I wish the NPCs had some kind of better or any kind of tracking whatsoever in the game. Because they just kind of fuck off, and then you're like, I don't know where they are. But, like, in terms of the main content of, like, going around doing dungeons and catacombs and fighting dudes, it's just, like, th there's just stuff everywhere. Yeah. And knowing that you're usually rewarded for checking out weird corners and stuff, even if it's just crafting materials, it's still just, like, it's rewarding. They added markers for NPCs, but you still have to get near them or interact with them from the up here. So if an NPC is like, you... I'm gone, then they just are gone. You can't find them until you get to them again. I almost asked if you did this all today, but I realized this is a different save file. This is my actual save file I played through the game that has yeah, 200 hours like, on it. Yeah, did you do all this today? Yeah, <laughs> we're busy today. I want to talk, talk to the Turtle Pope. He's the game of the year. I mean, you say game of the year, but Trombone Champ just did come out, so... You know, it's going to be tough. Madman. It's, it's a close one. 
Uh, 07 to the Limesome Citrus Seducer for joining us today. Shouts to anyone who made a lime character and followed us around. <laughs> it, was, it was a good bit. It was a good bit. <laughs> it's also how fucking weird this game is. You run it and there's just a turtle pope. It's just like, thank you. Good. More of this, please. I love, I love the magic realism of like, everyone's just like, yep, this is the world we live in. There's just a turtle pope here. It's good. Yep. Nothing weird. It's a good dog. Greetings. I have a prayer book. Here you go. Mmm, delicious heresy. Anyway, uh, uh, who, do you, do you want someone you want to raid, Dan? You gonna... Some... Uh, who's, uh, going? who's going? Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, chat. See if there's someone playing Elden Ring. What? That's Elden no Ring. No one would stream Elden Ring. Oh, Bath is playing Faz. I am biased and always a fan of raiding my fiance. Oh, I, I, other Dan is playing Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, Dan looks like he just got uh, affiliate. Ooh, like. well, maybe we should say hi to Dan and celebrate the affiliate. How's that sound? That sounds lovely. Let's do that, and then we can hang out with D and D tomorrow. Hell yeah! Um, that's gonna be on Dan's channel, not here. Um, but yeah, Dan, Dan Floyd. Of the, the play frame and uh, other channel, new frame plus. New frame plus. <laughs> thank you. Uh, his stuff is excellent. Uh, he started streaming recently. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he got affiliate because I saw people using emotes and I was like, when did that happen? He's got emotes already. Damn. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, yeah, he's got stuff. It's awesome. So uh, well, I don't know what array messages. Um. I'm always a fan of, of, of... What, what is Chug Chug? <laughs> <laughs> what is Chug Chug? <laughs> Damn it. Sure. What is Chug Chug? about limes? Oh, limes would be on, on brand. Be like, uh... How close is, is Dan Floyd to finishing Elden Ring? Dude, not. where's my car? <laughs> would be a good one. Yeah, also, yeah, everyone in chat, do not spoil anything yeah. Elden Ring. Nothing Elden Ring. Do not spoil not. any he's Elden Ring. He's playing through Elden it on Ring. his channel, and he's having a great time, so don't mention anything. where's my car is not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler, <laughs> but I'd rather just not. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck, get limed. It's good. Get, get limed. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, have a good one, D&D uh, &D tomorrow, and I'll be streaming on Tuesday. Bye. 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 No. Shit. No. Wait. Fuck. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Well, let's see what they say in this chat. Um, Vod Watchers, thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. I'm gonna give you another hey. 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 Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to say anything, Vod Watchers? Yeah. Yeah, I just. I... One more. Get a life. Damn. Get well, limed. Get limed. One more. Game, one more. Get limed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>